Hello, welcome in everyone. How are we all doing today? Hello, hello. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Pickle Rick, welcome in. Uh, sapling, enjoy your sap. Hi everyone. Hi teeny tiny teacup. Pickle Rick, congrats on being the first to arrive. Hello honking. Hello Ninka. Hello Frazzle. Hello Onion. Hello Surrounded Inside. Hi Crafty. Pig Flight, congrats on your 10 stream streak. Hi, Just Luna. Hello, Farland. Hello, No Sock. I might have said that already. <laughs> Definitely be sticking around. This is like spoiler hell. Yes, I should make sure that's very clear, everyone. We are going to be going through every new stackable item in Stardew. I might have missed a few, and there's a few I'm not 100% sure about. But we're going to look at them all regardless, and we'll talk about them. Yeah, Luna, I think you're right. I think that was a Spirit Fair song. I think we have moved on to... I think this is Moonstone Island. Oh no, it's uh, Slime Rancher now. Good music, though. Sapling, congrats on your 10th stream streak as well. Hi, Dan. Thank you for the shout-out, Onion, in my own channel. Frazzle's also an awesome streamer. You should check them out. And Onion's an awesome streamer, too. Check out Onion. Do it. Do it. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll try and keep the, um, well... Unfortunately, there's going to be major spoilers, because we're not only going to be talking about the new items that we're going to get, but also how we're going to get them, which involves talking about pretty much every new aspect of the game. Yeah. Really can't avoid it, unfortunately. Hi, Seven Espresso. Welcome in. Yeah, I've looked through a lot of things. I have, um... I have Smappy open already. We're going to be going through. I've laid out a farm with all the new items on it. We're going to just talk about how we're going to get each one and which what they are. Things like that. <sighs> Nothing wrong with thinking about Q Onion. We're also going to be recording a video. Actually, two today? I think we're recording two videos today, which is kind of insane. Two in the same day? Ava's going to be so busy. <laughs> I've seen a lot myself. Okay. There's... I can assure you, you're going to see something new today. <laughs> there, there has been some things that have been sent to me and I've discovered. Almost certainly everyone here is going to see something new that they didn't know about today. Sucker for spreadsheets, yeah. Everyone is. Alright, let me just lay out a quick thing for the video here, just so I know what to be talking about in what order. So, new stacks. How to get them. new strats for old stacks. Oh, I just wrote a word by hand and I was like, why isn't spell check picking that up? <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Uh, <laughs> equally, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I think that's equally. No, it isn't. I just saw the Q Ollie. I think it's Zarkly. Zarkly? Welcome in. Yeah, um, I wouldn't do it yet. We're probably gonna have to make changes to it, Johnny. I'm not 100% sure on all these things. I've only had a week less. <laughs> but we're gonna try. Oh, what did uh, Teeny Tiny Teacup say? Sorry, I missed the comment that Farland's responding to here. It's okay. Sapling, I literally said hi first. Hi, Johnny. This is gonna be so fun. You just messaged like a second ago. Okay, I see it now. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on here, okay? Forgive me. I got a voucher? Did you? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, exclamation mark. Book voucher? Book something? Yeah, I mean, you have a ticket. I've been very bad about it. Book club, there it is. Strawberry, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome back to the stack. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. I'm bad at telling things to people. Hi, Salty. Welcome in. Yeah, click that link, and you can find uh, the winners there, and we can figure those out soon. Nineteen months. Dang, Strawberry. Good morning. I didn't know I won. Sorry, I've been very bad about explaining it. 
I should probably have like a list somewhere and post on Discord. Actually, Onion, could you post the list of winners on Discord as an announcement? Please use Notification Squad, not everyone. And then maybe I can remember to message people later. I still have to send stuff out. Ugh, I've been too lazy this week. Well, I've been too busy this week between work and 1.6. It's about all I've been doing. It has been a week since the party. So I do have to get those out. I think that's a tomorrow job. All right, everyone. Are you guys ready? Because I'm not. Okay, first thing we have to do is run a three minute ad break so you guys don't get interrupted by ads when we're talking about this. Oh, this person. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Knight. Welcome in. Hi, Jay. Welcome in as well. Just kidding, not ready. I'm gonna just run this ad break really quick. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna run it. <laughs> Sorry, we'll chat for three more minutes with people who can hear me, and then we will start it. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll have an hour with no ads, which is the important thing here. So how's everyone doing today? Hope we're doing well. This first part will probably take an hour. The spreadsheet updating, I have no long idea how long that's going to take. That's going to take forever. Is there a new item that's really difficult to get? There's more than one, Sunset. There's more than one. Hey, Cat. Welcome in. Did you win? You might have won. I don't know, Cat. Exclamation mark book club to pick your victories. This would be a good time to pick one because uh, in about three or four minutes, we're going to get started on the video and I can't get interrupted during that. A few things that are a bit rough. Yeah, that might be a good way to put it. Speedrun claiming you are mermaid or hi mermaid welcome in I thought you already claimed a speedrun mermaid I am okay I thought you already did that did we not there you are okay I guess not all right Speed run of your choice. It's the last one. Did I spell that right? Sure, we did. We're gonna go with D Mermaid to distinguish you from all the other mermaids. Stardew challenge of my choice. Sure thing, sapling. Sapling. Where is it? I don't even know where all my stuff is. There we go. There we go. I would like handwritten quote. Ooh, okay. All right. I'll send it separately from the other one, cat. I think that's a fair way to do that. Because otherwise, it just, if I send them together, that just feels wrong. Uh, Alright, where is Cat? Wait, where are you, Cat? Oh, here you are. Yep. Got it. Statue of Blessing is one of the tough ones. Save a stamp? Nah, I'll send them both. It'll be fine. Hi, robot. Welcome in. Cuckoo Cat Lady, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you're doing super well today. Did you know what you wanted yet, Farland? Hello in. Hello in. Welcome in, Raiders. Hello in. <laughs> I hope you do well. <laughs> hi, Kaya. hi, Cuckoo Cat Lady. I hope you had a wonderful stream. We're going to be recording a video here shortly. In fact, it's time. Stop the music because Ava will add music. I want to make you read a book. 
Okay, Onion. That's actually a good one. I'm surprised no one's used that one yet. It's pretty powerful. Wait, what was your selection before, Onion? So I can move you. I don't see you anywhere. I don't think I put you down yet, did I? <laughs> uh, I didn't put you down yet, so that's perfect. Okay. So you want me to read a book. Oh, I see what you're saying, because it's in a different area. Yeah, that's fine. What book? Uh, well, actually, you can tell me that later. I just got to put you in there. There you go. I've been looking for a book anyways. Yeah. I see what they meant. Okay, that's all set and dealt with. Here for it. Got my sheet loaded and my tissues out for crying, whichever pain or joy. <laughs> Uh, it'll be fun regardless. Hi, Magnolia. Welcome in. Well, first of all, Cuckoo Cat Lady is a lovely streamer here on Twitch, and so is Magnolia. They're both awesome. You should definitely check both of them out. Hi, Audrey. Welcome in. Let's see, make sure I didn't miss anyone here. Okay, here's our list, and here is our Stardew. How are you coping? CCGG. I am coping. Cope. Bye, Farland. Yep, here comes the spoilers. We haven't started the video yet, but I'm going to start. Uh... So yeah, immediately some spoilers here. <laughs> My favorite is the froggy. Look at my froggy. Hi, Claire. Yep, new stack time. How did you get the prismatic frog? Well, I guess we're in full spoiler mode now. Video's not started yet, but we can um, mention it beforehand. Uh, you get a... First of all, this is all cheated, so don't worry about this inventory. Uh, you get a slot here when you complete... What do you call it? Mastery for combat. So you choose the path of combat. You get a trinket slot here. And one of the trinkets you can get is a frog egg. Rainbow froggy. Yeah, combat mastery. There we go. <clears throat> Let me get some water ready. I'm going to need that. One of the trinkets is the frog egg, and it can be a variety of colors, but one of them is the prismatic frog egg. And he switches colors. He also eats monsters. Not, not chickens, luckily. Also, my chicken names are so cute on this farm. Gravy and potatoes. I've ignored them horribly, but they're cute. <laughs> Does he follow you around? Yeah, they follow you around. Good cat name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my test farm, so I uh, I did quite a lot here. Yeah, here, let's make it so we can see everything nicely. Alright. So let's make sure I can easily jump between things here. Yep, here's our list of new stackable items. And here is our farm. Are you excited to get another 5k dragon's teeth? I have fish ponds. I'm not worried about it. Fish ponds that can be doubled. And double-double occasionally, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, it'll be easier. Hello and welcome everyone to another video about the 999 challenge. So we have entered 1.6 and as a result we have a whole bunch of new stackable items to figure out everything we can about. Yeah, we're just going to start over anyways. Let's get sneakers on my head first because somehow Mermaid didn't call it per first. I'll let Ava choose a take, so we'll go again. Hello and welcome everyone to a new Stardew 999 challenge video where today we're going to go through and look at all of the new stackable items that came in this update. 
Now, I've only had about five days myself to go through all the items, so I might miss a few. I'm getting photobombed by a chicken right now. Uh, but we're going to go through everything I know so far. We're going to see all the new items. We're going to talk about strategies that we're going to use to be stacking those items. And then we're going to go back through all of our old items that we haven't finished stacking yet and talk about any new strategies that we can use now that 1.6 is out. Okay, and without further ado, let's go ahead and start by looking at a spreadsheet. Who could have guessed? Okay, so I have made a spreadsheet for all this new stackable items. And I think we all want to know this number at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and start out with that. Yes, it is a long list. 289 minus the one for the beginning there. So there are 288 new stackable items that I am currently aware of. Um, I might be off by like three or four. I'm not entirely sure on a few items that are stackable. It could go down by one or up by three, I think. But uh, we're going to go through those inconsistencies as well as we are figuring this all out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start all the way at the top. And our first one all the way up here are the aged, the new aged rows. Now, in general, row wasn't exactly um, added to any new fish except for one. But because of how a new item interacts with fishing, we got access to a few more rows that we could not before. So let's go ahead and start with this chest here, which has all of the new aged rows. And it also has the new fish and the other new fish that was already a fish <laughs> and also has pain as Mervain has so nicely pointed out. All right, so let's talk about the new fish first. The new fish is the goby. The goby can be found by fishing at the new waterfall area uh, near the hat mouse. So between two waterfalls is a hint Willy gives you uh, and that is that area down there. Um, with the new smoker, which we'll talk about a little later, you can smoke goby. It actually maintains its quality as well. Uh, with the new bait maker, we can make goby bait. Since we have a fish and it can be placed in the fish pond, we can get goby row and goby aged row from all of that. So that is five brand new stacks right there. <laughs> now, uh, the love doesn't stop there, as we're actually going to jump on down to the clam. Because the clam got the fish tag. So you might have remembered from 1.5, but the clam didn't used to actually count as a fish. Uh, and it always felt a little weird to me that it didn't, so I'm actually glad to see that fixed here. Uh, but we already have a stack of clams. This is just here to mark it. But we can make smoked clam now, which actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> Unlike a lot of the other things in this update, taste-wise. Uh, we can make clam bait. We can make clam row now. They can go into a fish pond. In fact, uh, you can't really see it, but there's a fish pond off to the side here that has clam in it. And clam aged row as well. So this is a crab pot fish, so it's going to take a while to get these, uh, but there are upgrades to the, I might as well talk about that now actually. The fish ponds have gotten a little better. First of all, there's a chance, I don't know how big the chance is, but it seems like it's 5%. There's a 5% chance to double any product that comes from a fish pond, just overall I think. Um, and now also you can use something called a golden animal cracker on a fish pond to double the output of any fish pond permanently. So if you hit the double-double, you actually get four things uh, if you would normally only have gotten one, which is really cool. The Golden Animal Cracker, uh, which is permanent, I believe, uh, lasts on the fish pond forever. And uh, yeah, you can get a lot out of that. Yes, they do work on fish ponds. In fact, uh, a little aside for the video here, but we got right here two farm warp totems. You can see the little golden box here when you use it. So that makes a huge difference on the fish ponds. It literally doubles the output. Okay. All right, let's talk about the less good things <laughs> about this update. And it's, it's kind of nice we're starting here. Yes, you can stack the animal crackers. It's kind of nice that we're starting here. Uh, this is probably the hardest new stack in the game. So we already did have the legendary fish. Now we need twice as many of those. So I kind of glossed over the implications of the smoker over here, but we basically need double the amount of fish we needed before. And not only double, but because of how the bait maker works, we need about 100 to 200 more 
of each fish as well. But I can use any quality fish for that. Well, I guess I could use any quality fish for these as well. But that's how you produce bait. You can also buy bait from Willy. The, uh, it's random what you get every day. I don't know how viable that would be if I go to Willy every day and just buy bait. You get like 10 to 15 or something. I'll have to look into it a little more closely. But I'll probably be buying that bait just to save myself some effort here. Uh, is the bait maker like the seed maker and how it puts out? Kind of. It's a lot quicker. Um, basically, you can get bait within one in-game tick. It's like every tick you get the bait. Um, also, it puts out a lot more bait. It's like 10 to 20. No, no, it's 5 to 10 bait per fish. Sorry. I mixed that up with something. Okay. And uh, the other thing here is the row. Now, you might say, wait, you can't push th put these into ponds. This one, this one, all of these fish, and including um, the squid, which you can put into ponds, but you don't normally get row from them. Why are these row items here? These existed in Smappy before, but there was no way to legitimately get them before. But now there is, because there's a new book. Ignore this giant chest here as we look at it. Uh, there's a new book called The Jewels of the Sea. And when you read this book, you have a chance... Well, it doesn't show it on here because I've already read it. Actually, I can just go here and look at it. Oh, I guess we haven't done everything yet. Uh, when you read this book, you have a chance of treasure chests from the fish you caught yielding row. It looks like it's like one to three. And yeah, oof is right. Um, it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, I'm also just noticing that I missed a few books in here. Hold on. Quick on the on the uh, nose thinking here. There's that one. Cool. And uh, we're also missing the artifact one. Oh. I didn't mean to glitch for that. That's okay, though. <laughs> okay, now we got all the books in there. All right, let's go back to over here. So, basically what that means is to get this row and aged row, we need two stacks of the row. And we only get them from catching the fish and also getting a treasure chest and hitting a chance to get the row from that treasure chest. The row from that treasure chest can be anywhere from one to three of the row, I believe. Um, basically, we have to catch a lot of Miss Anglers, which, uh, in, one, in some ways is very nice. Yeah, we did, uh, get an achievement <laughs> on accident there. Surprised I didn't get any already from making this testing file. Yeah, there's an achievement for reading every book. Uh, it's also true for the squid in the Midnight Squid. The squid should be pretty easy, though, especially with the new Squid Fest, um, the new Squid Fest one. Festival? The new Squid Fest Festival. That's why I couldn't say it. Squid Fest Festival allows you to get a lot of squid. Now, Midnight Squid is be a little harder. I guess I'm just going to have to go to the... I guess I'm just going to have to go to the submarine and use the Midnight Squid bait um, to get as much of that as possible. Yeah, we'll talk about the books in a little bit and how we can get a stack of them. So basically, yeah, that is the solution to those, which are not very fun. Uh, magic bait won't be worth it. I'd much rather be able to use the midnight squid bait. The targeted bait is actually super nice for catching fish. Like, using this for these legendaries is going to make my life so much easier. It basically increases the chance of catching, like, the radioactive carp from, like, 10% to, like, 50%. It's kind of ridiculous how strong it can be for that. Uh, same with, like, all these other legendary fish as well. Okay. 999 of every book will cost a lot. Don't worry, we'll get to the books. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the other fishies. So, I've made a huge, like, thing of all this. But basically, all this is, is it's... Every fish smoked and with bait. Every fish smoked and with bait. So basically we need another stack of every single fish in the game. 
and we need another like 200 to 300 of every fish in the game to get all the bait probably more because it's going to be a lot easier to catch them uh, if we have the bait <sighs> and now here is the very scary thing that i'm thinking about doing with the new bait catching the fish becomes a lot easier like a lot easier part of the reason why i didn't want to catch the fish before was I, it was annoying to just catch other fish when you're trying to catch the one fish you're working on. And considering that fish now maintain quality, or maintain quality when they're smoked, I wonder if it might be a good idea to not use fish ponds to get all of these fish, and instead uh, catch them all. <laughs> Which would mean catching two stacks of every fish of iridium quality. Now, that does sound like a bad idea, but that is something we might do. We'll see, we'll see where the world takes us. Alright, and then in this chest over here, we have all of the... Oh, I guess I put the night market fish up here as well. But then also, outside of the uh, midnight squid. And then also we have all of the... Oh, I guess I didn't make these iridium quality, even though they could be. But this is all the crab pot fish, basically. Some of these you can get iridium quality for. Any of the ones you can find on the beach, you can. All the other ones um, cannot get iridium quality. So it would just be these top ones here. Oh, wait. They literally have iridium quality. I was looking at it and I didn't see. <laughs> Amazing. I can catch an octopus, don't worry. Oh, I forgot to tell you the other thing that makes this easier. You ready? Welcome to the advanced iridium rod. Achieved with Fishing Mastery. You get two bobbers now. <laughs> so getting Iridium Quality just means plugging a quality bobber into one of those slots. Yes, you get two bobber slots now with this rod. So explaining this is kind of hard because there's a lot of information I've crammed into my brain and trying to remember like why I'm able to do the things I'm able to do now makes things a lot easier but yes we now have two spots for bobbers in this iridium rod unfortunately unlike the other iridium rods you can only ever get one of these so i can't really have <laughs> multiple enchantments i'd have to change it whenever i'd want to so this one's probably always just gonna be my master one so i can't use preserving or anything like that i'm gonna do the legendary ones first yep ocean welcome in by the way ocean i know you've been here for a minute but Hi, Melly. Welcome in as well. Is it worth doing the focus bait since you need everything anyways, defeating the point? Well, I can use the ones that I get lower quality of, or my older ones that have lower quality to make the bait, mermaid. Because I already have a bunch of fish. Hi, Strawberry. Oh, you've been here, Strawberry. All right, let's talk about the other ocean-related things here. Uh, there are two other baits added to the game. The first one is the deluxe bait. So the deluxe bait can come from two different places. Either it can come from a deluxe worm bin, which is something that got added in this update, which we'll talk about in a minute. Or, actually, it's three different places. You can craft it for a moss and five bait, I think. Uh, or you can buy it from Willy from 100 gold each. For 100 gold each. Okay. And then we have the challenge bait, which I have forgotten how to craft. So let me check really quick. Okay. Oh, and you get five for this. Oh, it's two moss and five bait for the deluxe bait. And then for the challenge bait, it's five bone fragments and two moss for every five challenge bait. Now, the very cool thing about the challenge bait is that for a perfect catch, you get triple the fish. So for some fish, it might be worth it to use this, like the lower level fish that I can perfect catch every single time. Uh, that can allow me to very quickly get stacks of that fish because you get three for each one you catch. However, you can't use the targeted bait on that. So because the baits are exclusive, right? You can only have one bait. I wouldn't be able to focus on a fish using this. So it might be good in just like the ocean for every fish I catch if I can perfect them. I get a bunch of uh, iridium qualities of those fish. 
Uh, Deluxe Bait does not double the size of the fishing bar. It increases it as if you had, like, one higher level in fishing, I think, Johnny. But it does not double the size of the fish bar. It increases it slightly. Yep. Okay. So those are the two baits. Um, we're going to keep talking about artisan goods a little bit here. So let's head on down to the other new artisan goods. The vegetables. So here are the new vegetables in the game. We have broccoli, carrot, and summer squash. And each one of them has seeds that we need to collect. So that is some of the stacks right there. Uh, the seeds, they can be put in the seed maker. So even though you have to find the seeds initially in kind of an annoying way, once you have seed makers, you can get the seeds very quickly. So I'm not too worried about it on that front. Uh, and then each one of them has a a uh, keg product and a jar product. So in this case, juice and pickles for each one of them. Okay. And then that is all the new vegetables in the game. Uh, onion, you have a question. Is the magnet bobber worth it for legendary rogue grinding? I'm going to have to do some testing for that onion. I'm not sure. I'm going to say it probably might be, actually. <laughs> oh, the magnet's not a bobber, onion. Sorry. It's a um, it's a bait, which makes it a lot harder of a decision to make. Are you going to replace your chest array with big ones? Yes. I'm probably not going to make it that much smaller, though. <laughs> Are you missing the new winter ones? The winter ones are not a vegetable. We will get to the fruit in here. So let's look at the new fruits or the new products for fruits. Okay. So new item, dehydrator. For the dehydrator, if you place five items in it, they can be either fruits or mushrooms. If you place five items in them, you get one item back. And it is called the dehydrated version of that item. So for ancient fruit, if you take five Aphid ancient fruit and put them in the dehydrator, you get dried ancient fruit. Oh, and if you're wondering why I can see the money here, there's a new book that allows you to see how much everything is worth when you would sell it. So same with apples, same with every single fruit in the game. Grapes turn into raisins, which is just dried grapes. So it's just a special version of that. Now, I'm going to go over this, and then you're going to scream when you see one of these things. Oh, look, it's that one. <laughs> so dried Q fruits are also now possible, which means that uh, essentially we can end up in a situation where we need to <laughs> get 5,000 Q fruit to make five, uh, 999 dried Q fruit. <laughs> it's okay. It won't be too bad to do that. Yeah, it's just kind of funny. And then if we head on down here, da, 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 all the fruits here. And then we have our new fruit in the game, which is the powder melon. And so the powder melon stacks, the power, powder melon seeds oh, stack. Hi, Amanda Rose. Thank you so much for the follow. And now we have powder melon, pelon, now we have powder melon wine, powder melon jelly, which I love how that looks, by the way. It's just like white jelly <laughs> and dried powder melons. So we'll need quite a few powder melons for this. That would be pretty funny, Scribble, wouldn't it? Uh, do you know if the dried Q fruit will disappear? It will not. Nope. It's just like um, it's just like any other artisan good would be made from Q fruit. They stick around after the quest. All right, and we're not done. It gets worse. Don't worry. Oh, by the way, I haven't really described all of these things yet. So um, it might be a good thing to kind of talk through them before we learn what they are in a minute here. But over here is the bait maker. You place one fish in, you get five to ten bait back. This is the fish smoker. You put in a fish with a piece of coal, and it doubles the sell price of that fish. This is the heavy furnace. You put in 25 ore and three coal, and you get back five to six bars. Um, this is the mushroom stump. If, as you can see, if we scoot over here, I've got a bunch of mushroom stumps next to another new tree. Uh, and it produces mushrooms based on the tree that's nearby. This is the dehydrator, which we've already talked about. This is the anvil, which lets you re-roll trinkets. Well, I want the prismatic egg, but you can turn it into different colors, um, different colored frog eggs, for instance. So instead of prismatic, we can get a green frog. Uh, this is the mini forge which we can use to do reforging just at home we don't have to go all the way to the volcano 
Uh, and then these two are special statues. This first one is the statue of the Dwarf King, which gets you two random buffs each day. You get to pick from. You have to pick from them. Uh, this one is the best. There's, there's like, no comparison. Um, we actually got the two, probably two of the best ones here, but this one is by far the best. It's not really uh, comparable at all. And this Statue of Blessings gives us a random buff. So you can't see it because I've got my thing kind of cut off here. Oh, you can see it a little bit. But uh, this is the Blessing of Friendship. I get more friendship from speaking with people. Which, that's one of the worst ones. There's a few good ones for sure. Uh, yes, and now let's go ahead and talk about the new Forgeables. What were the uh, buffs? I can't read well on my second monitor. Ah, okay. The two buffs that I could choose from were Ladders Spawn More Often and 1 Plus Ore from Breaking Ore Rocks. Okay. Now let's look at the Forgeables. So, every Forgeable can now be placed... Well, not every single Forgeable, sorry. That's important. Every Forgeable that has positive... It's kind of weird. Every forgeable that has positive energy and is not a flower can be placed in the jars and the dehydrators now. So we've got leeks, which can be placed in the... the Oh, I'm sorry. The kegs, the jar... The kegs in the jars, sorry. The mushrooms can be placed in the dehydrator. So every forgeable can now be placed in the kegs in the jars, except mushrooms, which can be placed in the kegs in the dehydrators. Sorry. I keep misspeaking. There's so many artisan things right now. Let's start that from the beginning. So every forgeable that isn't a mushroom can be placed in the kegs in the jars. And every mushroom can be placed in the jars and the dehydrators. So the leek, for instance which can be placed in the keg and the jars, can make leek juice and pickled leek. And that's true for a large number of these forges, including spring onions, which this is very funny, by the way. <laughs> I noticed this uh, earlier today when I was getting this set up. But the spring onion, notice the sell price. It sells for 40. Spring onion juice sells for 25. It's not a bug. I looked into it. Uh, and basically how it works is because we have a certain power, specifically this one, spring onions are worth five times as much. But this doesn't apply to the artisan goods made from spring onions. So basically, this is worth five times as much as it normally would. So when this multiplies by three, it chooses the original price number and then multiplies by three. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's not like anyone's going to be doing that to uh, spring onions. You also don't get that benefit until like year two. Yeah, we're not really going to be selling them. All right, then cave carrots. Ginger, unfortunately. Ginger is actually a bit of a tough one to get a lot of. Uh, I think I have enough, but maybe not because we do need two extra stacks of it. Uh, and then uh, the mushrooms now. So every mushroom can be one mushroom that gets placed in a jar to become a pickled mushroom. Gross. Very, very gross, by the way. Or it can be placed in the dehydrator, five of them can be, to make the dried mushrooms. And most of these aren't too bad, because you can now farm them with the mushroom stumps. So morels, which were giving me so much trouble before, uh, we now have mushroom stumps. And if you place them next to, a, it's either oak or maple, I don't know, remember which one it is. But if you place mushroom stumps near an oak or, oak, oak or maple tree, I'm pretty sure it's oak, actually, uh, you can get morels from that. And you can get like lots of morels sometimes like it'll sometimes give you up to five and it can be iridium quality as well so it's kind of crazy uh and that's true for all of these mushrooms except for magma caps so magma caps as far as i can tell and please someone correct me if i'm wrong there is no way to farm magma caps in the game um you have to get them from the volcano still there's and and or the uh stingray fish ponds um but we're probably going to be using stingray fish ponds because we're going to be using them anyways for an item that's coming up later. So getting these shouldn't be too bad, but it is pretty significant. Okay. And now uh, down here, this is just to show off all of the new items. So these are the new large chests. Uh, you can color these any color that you'd like. Uh, what is the base color? That one? That one, yep. Okay. Same with this guy here. So just like the previous chests. 
Also, new cool thing that you can do. If there's a chest uh, on the ground here that has items in it, you can take a previous chest or chest in your inventory and replace that chest. It's kind of very funny if you do it like this because it's the same one. But yeah, it lets you change what the chest is, which is going to make my life a lot easier for replacing these later on. You can even do it like over here. Of course, I don't want to do that because I want to keep that orange. But uh, yeah, that's the general idea. Yeah, it's very useful. It's a really nice quality of life thing. All right, and we're going to go in order of difficult to more difficult. So we're actually going to start up here. Okay, so up top here, we have a bunch of new items. I decided to combine a few together here just because these are kind of like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we're good. I'm sorry. I know where we are. Okay. So here are the new geodes, the mystery boxes, and the golden mystery boxes. I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Just suffering on the inside. <laughs> difficult to more difficult. Yeah, that might be a good way to put it. Is that how I put it? Yeah. So the mystery boxes drop at random from a bunch of places. There's a lot of places where you can get these mystery boxes. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And golden mystery boxes you start getting after you unlock forging mastery, I believe. Uh, and both of these aren't too bad to get a stack of, I don't think. From what I've seen so far, they drop from so many places. I'll just get it over time. Unfortunately, their drop tables aren't super good for the challenge. They're really nice early on. So if you get mystery boxes early on, uh, they're definitely worth opening. But for the things I need for the challenge, they don't really help all that much. I might be missing some things in the drop table. I might still be opening them occasionally for things, but I don't think there's that much outside of one thing from mystery boxes that we need. Unfortunately, that one thing is going to make it so we have to open a lot of mystery boxes. Oh, mermaid. Let me know. Because I wasn't sure. I wasn't able to get a full drop table list. So uh, what are the things that they have in them that I need? Because it might be helpful, actually, if it's something that I'm thinking of. Because I couldn't find it. Nat, thank you so much for the follow. Gold the animal crackers. Uh, you can get those from monster drops. So I think that'll be easier. We'll talk about that when we get there. Drop table. Like uh, the things that can drop from these boxes. I haven't seen a full one yet. I asked around, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Will you be creating a new farm? I will be using the existing one, Sashar. Welcome in, by the way. Uh, I will be playing that later, Amanda, if I still want to. <laughs> After uh, I've updated the spreadsheet and everything. Uh, and then we have the new fish items. You can get magic rock candy for mystery boxes just as we finished it, Mermaid. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about a few of the things that we finished that are now significantly easier. Anyways, the new jelly items, you can get these randomly from fishing, but luckily there's a lot easier way to get them. Uh, they drop from fish ponds, certain fish. I believe the flounder gives the sea jelly. Um, I know that the lava eel gives the cave jelly. I do not remember what gives the river jelly. There is something, though. I know that. So these are now in fish pond tables for one fish each. Yeah. <laughs> Calling it trivial is one thing, but yes, um, it's a lot easier. And I think they drop in, like, threes, which if doubled will be sixes. So it'll be very nice. You can also get them just by randomly fishing in these areas. So anytime in the cave, um, anywhere in fresh water and anywhere in salt water you can get from fishing which we'll probably get a lot from just that they're also using a crafting recipe all three of them in the same crafting recipe for the fish smoker uh, so we would need two stacks of them but i'm not too worried about them overall yeah fish ponds are pretty dang good now <laughs> they, they were very useful before and now they're even more useful for this challenge all right moss soup and moss in general so moss is a crafting thing um hold on let me let me check my notes here mm. Moss is a brand new crafting resource. And according to my calculations, which I think are a little bit off for the moment, we need 373, I guess 374 stacks of moss. Oh, it's a person. Which is about 373,000 stacks of moss. I mean, uh, 373,000 moss for all the crafting recipes. Yeah. Um, this was not a good update for resources. <laughs> yes, 333 of those stacks are for a single item, which we'll talk about later. <laughs> okay. Uh, but moss is luckily very easy to farm. 
Uh, you can just set up a bunch of trees, um, sleep a few days, and then just harvest it all. It's not too bad. And I think the amount of moss you get scales with your forging level. It's possible we could eat forging food and go from two to three moss. I'd have to look into that. But I was getting one moss, and then I hit forging five, and then I was getting two. So it's possible if we can hit forging like 15, you can get four. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how that works. I'll have to uh, look into that. All right. And then we have Mystic Syrup. Mystic Syrup is a new syrup item that sells for quite a lot. So it sells for a thousand base price. It also gives you a lot of energy and health from eating it. Um, this might be the only reason you'd ever take that profession that increases the sell price of uh, tapped, good, tapped goods. Uh, and it's also used in two recipes, which we'll talk about when we get to. But it's pretty straightforward because you just have to tap these mystic trees. So we've got them here. They're blue trees. They're really, really pretty looking. Uh, these do not drop their seeds, though, so we'll have to craft those seeds. And we'll talk about that actually right now because they are also in here. So the mystic tree seed, we'll, we'll come back to the mossy seeds in a minute. The mystic tree seeds are crafted by, I don't want to get this wrong. There we go. You have to get forging um, mastery, and then these become unlocked. And you need five of every other seed besides mossy to craft them so they are um going to be very annoying uh the way that you get these seeds though i just have to make my farm into a giant tree farm <laughs> and basically go through and harvest seeds every single day and then it will go pretty quick but basically just like that <laughs> We need five stacks of every other seed in the game to make our mystic uh, tree seeds. It'll be annoying to do, but it's definitely very doable. And then the mossy seeds, they first I think the first time the mossy seeds drop is the first green rain. Uh, but then you can grow them on your farm, just like these other just like other trees drop um, seeds. I'm pretty sure mossy trees, or they're kind of like called ancient trees, I don't know exactly. Um, wild trees, there we go. It says it in the description will drop mossy seeds and we can use that to get more mossy seeds pretty quickly and getting a stack of these won't be too bad i don't think okay uh oh wood skip fish ponds i didn't even think of that mermaid that might be a really good thing i'll look into the difference there i need a huge tree farm anyways for the moss so uh we might want to do that anyways just for the combination but that's a good point on wood skip fish ponds i didn't think about that all right Mixed flower seeds. You cannot craft these. You can only find them, just like mixed seeds. Um, but they drop often enough that I will get a stack of these eventually. They just drop from, what do you call those things? Weeds. <laughs> just random weeds throughout. So they're just basically exactly the same as uh, mixed seeds. But they can also give, they give flowers instead. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I enjoyed Sunset, the mixed flower seeds, quite a lot on my playthrough. I didn't realize how nice it was to not have to buy flowers because <laughs> I only need to grow a few flowers for a perfection challenge. So just being able to plant those and getting like an even spread basically of all the flowers, it was pretty nice. Yeah. All right. Speaking of tickets, let's open the second worst, worst chest in the game. Are you all ready? Are you all ready for this? Okay, here we go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you might immediately see some pretty terrible things here, but let's go in the order that the alphabet has decided, which is not actually how the alphabet works, but it's the order that CA has decided that we're going to talk about these. Okay, let's start with the golden animal crackers. So these are amazing. I really like these as a feature. They double the output of farm animals and fish ponds, um, and we're going to use a lot of these as well as uh, stacking them. So we're going to use a bunch as we're getting them because it's going to make my golden chickens twice as effective at making me money for free. Which is actually incredible. Uh, additionally, my fish ponds, which is probably even more important. They're going to double the output of my fish ponds. Uh, so we're going to be using these most of the time. Uh, and then eventually we'll stack them. Now, luckily... They drop from monsters in the harder mines and the harder skull caverns. So I'm going to get a lot just from doing that, I think. Yes, they do work on fish ponds, Kurt Murp. They're very strong. I think they're one of my favorite things in this update. 
they don't work on pigs, which I honestly think they probably could have worked on pigs and still been fine, but they don't work on pigs. And, um, so basically, we're going to get them from monster drops. They also drop from golden fishing chests and probably also golden mystery boxes, although I haven't seen that yet. I know they drop from golden fishing chests, which is another fishing mastery upgrade. But basically, I think we're going to get most of them from monster kills, kind of like how we got most of our um, galaxy souls from monster kills as well. Pigs are already OP. I wouldn't call them OP, but yeah, it would be very funny to see so many truffles from that. Yeah, you're right, Sandor. It is very nice to get like the other farm animals getting a buff from this. This makes rabbits like really good too. All right, butterfly power, powder. You can buy this from Krobus, and basically what it does is it allows you to get rid of a pet. <laughs> so you sprinkle it on your pet, and the pet goes bye bye. So this is just kind of an answer. If you get too many pets, you can get rid of them. It turns them into a butterfly, and you can't undo it. <laughs> That's a nice item. <laughs> you can buy it from Krobus. I think it's like twenty thousand per, which will definitely add up very quickly. But I can just buy it. There's no limit to how many you can buy either, which just makes life a little easier. Okay. Now, this item is a massive spoiler. So if you would like not to be spoiled, please scroll forward in the video a little bit here. Um, so there is a Easter egg in the game that allows you to get a sword from Terraria named Meow Mir, which is a really cute sword and a very cool reference. But the basic idea on how it works is you have to take, whoops, an ancient doll and drop it into the lava floors on the mines. So you go to the mines level 100 and you drop it in there. Yes, yeah, mermaids already got the gears turning here. So we need 999 ancient dolls to drop in there. Uh, into the lava floor of the mines to get 999 faraway stones. And each one you use can get you another Meow Mir as well, but the Meow Mir is a weapon, so it does not stack. So then you take this item and you go to the wizard's basement and you can get Meow Mir. <laughs> uh, what's with the frog? The frog is a trinket, so we talked about this a while back, but uh, the frog is a trinket that you get from Combat Mastery. The frog will eat monsters nearby. You don't get the drops or the experience, I don't think, from them. But it's it's nice when you don't care about those things. Because it just, like, absolutely kills monsters instantly. It's very funny. Also, he or she, or she <laughs> switches colors, which is really cute. No XP either? Okay. Thank you, Blade. Alright. Uh, now we're going to go in a row with some of the worst things in the world. Okay. Starting with Golden Tags. Uh, golden Tags drop from a very specific festival called the Trout Derby that takes place toward the end of summer. Um, basically, you can turn these in for prizes. The prizes, for me, aren't very much worth it, but I do need to stack the Golden Tags. There's a few prizes I might want. I want the hat. It's actually the hat I'm wearing right now. This bucket hat comes from those prizes. But um, basically, every every Rainbow Trout you catch has, like a, I think it's like a 30, 25 to 33% chance of dropping a golden tag. And basically you can stack those golden tags and turn them in for prizes, or you can stack them to stack them. <laughs> Vibe check, what are your favorite books? Like books from behind me or books in the game, Christian Autumn Lady? Welcome in, by the way. Uh, I've really loved, for IRL books, I've been addicted to World War Z, Project Hail Mary. I'm a big sci-fi fan. Those have been some of the books that I've really liked lately. Uh, I just read through the entire Ender's Game series, and I find it I found it pretty good. I still love the first book the best. The books in the game, yes. Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick is hilariously funny. I love that book. <laughs> I cannot believe <laughs> that, that CA put that book in the game. All right, moving on from the golden tags. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be catching a billion rainbow trout. With the bait, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, we'll probably have to do it over several years to get 999, though. I think I tried it over two days and I got like 50 tags. So yeah, we'll probably have to do it a lot, unfortunately. But that's a way to get 999 uh, Rainbow Trout as well, pretty much. All right, prize ticket. So the prize ticket is um, <laughs> going to be very fun. <laughs> uh, 
But I've noticed something, or I found out something. You can buy these from the festival. You can buy these from a festival. So technically speaking, I can just sleep for them. Uh, so that's the first thing. I think it's the the Stardew Valley Fair. You can trade in points for prize tickets. I don't know how many you can get, though. Maybe five? But I can just buy them then. But also the way you get them is from doing tasks. Is a thousand tokens? How many can you buy, Robot Worm? Do you know off the top of your head? Wait, there's a Bean Petra thing? Hold on, Robot Worm. I'm going to ask you about that later. <laughs> We're in the middle of a video right now. I'm very curious about this Bean Petra thing. I did not read the rest of the Shadow Books. Is it just the one? It's just the one. Okay, that's fine, though. Yeah, I can get that done. Uh, the thing is, I also want to use these prize tickets, though, because it's one of the best ways to get Star Drop T uh, in the game. <laughs> So, uh, we might be using a lot more than just 999 prize tickets. Uh, we'll see. I haven't done, like, I don't know all the odds calculations for a lot of these things yet. But basically, we're going to still try and complete quests to get prize tickets to just get extra ones. So, any of the quests that are pretty easy to do, like just giving someone something, I probably have it. So, then I'll be able to get quite a number of prize tickets. It's every third quest. Is it? Past a certain point, I'm sure, for the Star Drop T, it's every third. Okay, good to know. All right, so that is the prize tickets. Now the Star Drop T. Now, luckily, I don't need to use this because I need 999 of it. So the Star Drop T is a super awesome item. Oh, I didn't actually explain what the prize tickets are. The prize tickets are a pretty cool item. I really like them in the early game. It's like a really cool idea. Basically, by doing tasks for villagers, uh, you get these prize tickets every so often. And then Lewis has a prize machine. And it drops ran slightly random items. They seem like they're in the same order every time. But they are slightly randomized. Um, and they are pretty useful items. Especially in the early game. And as you get later on, you get better and better items as time passes from the prize machine. Now, the Star Drop T is one of the items you can get from the prize machine. You can also get it from a few other places as well. But it's usually a very rare drop. And Star Drop T is a gifting item. It's... It's always a love gift for any villager in the game, but also there's no limit on how many you can give to a villager in a single day. It stacks with other items that you give them in that day too. So it ignores the gifting limit completely. So on someone's birthday, you can give them a love gift, that's Iridium quality, and a star drop tea, or another star drop tea. So in a single day, you can get someone on their birthday with a love gift that's Iridium, and I think two star drop teas from zero to 10 hearts. <laughs> it's actually kind of insane. So that's why the Star Drop Team is a very rare item. But we have to get 999 of it. So uh, we're going we're gonna to have our work cut out for us. Um, I'm mostly probably going to get them from the prize machine and from golden fishing chests. Hopefully we get a bunch from golden fishing chests. I haven't done the odds on that yet at all. All right. Time for a little sip of water here. So it can give three hearts at max. Yeah. So an Iridium quality love gift and two Star Drop Tea on a birthday can give you 10 hearts, I think, based on that math. Yeah. Kent does not have an Iridium quality love gift, though, so you might have to give him a little bit more. I bet your stacks of artisan goods look lovely by now. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Wait, am I doing bad math here? Uh-oh. Is it actually short by 20? That'd be really funny. How much do you need? Oh yeah, you could use Rabbit's Foot. Thank you, Scribble Dink. I'm dumb. All right, anyways, let's uh, let's move on from Straw Drop Tea. Unfortunately, there's not much I could say about it. All right, Treasure Totems. So Treasure Totems, here's the problem for Treasure Totems. I'm going to want to use them because I'm going to need them for an item that already exists, I think. Uh, we're gonna We're going to look into it. But basically, here's how treasure totems work. You use your te treasure totem in an area, like this one very much here. And it produces a bunch of these lovely worm spots all the way around you. And then, if you had a hoe, you could hoe these worm spots for artifacts and various other things. Uh, unfortunately, they are not cheap. So let's go to the crafting recipe for them. A treasure totem crafting recipe is five hardwood, which I can do that, 10 moss, which I can do that, and then the mystic syrup. 
So we really want to set up a Mystic Syrup farm soon to get the stack of these. But once we have that all set up, it shouldn't be too hard to get a stack of them going. That's better than doing the troves again. Uh, oh, for ancient dolls. Oh, I didn't even consider that, mermaid. Yeah, as mermaid has pointed out, I kind of skipped over a little thing here. For these, I need an ancient doll for each one, which would require me doing troves again. Unless I also to use the treasure totems for this. That might be a good way to do it. Okay, good call, mermaid. I'll check Discord for that later. Okay, so that's the treasure totem. They're craftable. You get the crafting recipe from Forging Mastery, I believe. Uh, the artifact spots aren't seeded anymore, mermaid. You might want to double check that. When you host spots on the farm now, they change, yep. Yeah. So you can't get the same thing from every spot again. Which was probably because this was implemented. I can just, uh, I'll probably get an ancient doll from each time I use it anyways in certain areas. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, alright, let's talk about the mannequins first. Because the cursed ones are, um... Well, frankly, they're cursed in more ways than one. But the regular mannequins, you can just buy from Sandy. They're 12,000 each. Uh, so getting a stack of them is as simple as using 12,000 uh, G times 999 for each one. Unfortunately, annoying, but certainly doable. The cursed mannequins are really cool. I love them. I love them so much. Basically, they uh, have a chance of doing some cursed thing every night that you have them in your house. Which are, uh, which is a little, uh, <laughs> some of them are very scary, actually, what happens. But besides that point, uh, to get them, though, they only drop from Haunted Skulls. For those of you who do not know, the Haunted Skulls are the item in the, I mean, the uh, enemy in the quarry mines, or in those random uh, quarry floors in the mines, that are just like floating skulls. And they don't have that high of a drop rate from them. So we're going to be killing a lot of those. <laughs> Luckily, they drop from the blue and red ones, unlike um, Magic Rock Candy, I think, which only drops from the red ones. Yeah, that's probably the way to go, Mermaid, I'm thinking. That's probably the way to go for that. So that is basically the plan right now, is double activated hard mode mines with quarry floors, if I can find them, and Monster Musk, and just killing as many as I can. Uh, I don't know, Sandor. I'm not sure. They might. I only know about the Haunted Skulls for now. Oh, yeah, Creativo. We're done with that item. Okay. Golden Bobber. I'm not sure on this one. I was informed by someone that this stacks. Uh, this seems like an item you can get from Willy at the Desert Festival. I have to do some more testing. I didn't have time to get to it yet. Um, oh, we're about to get to another major spoiler, by the way. But this is an item that you can find for Willy by fishing. And it's a quest item that you have to turn in. But there's no reason you have to turn it in, is the thing. And it does stack. So, I have to do some testing to make sure that works. But yeah, that's another stackable item, it looks like. Alright, we're going to talk about these last. <laughs> yes. Um, I think I want other people to discover this secret on their own. But Concerned Ape was smart. And he knew that people would be upset if the shorts thing was removed. Uh, so he added a new way to get the lucky purple shorts. Will it disappear after the, That's why I have to do the testing sunset. I'm not sure. But Concerned Ape added a new way to get the purple shorts. I'm going to wait on explaining how to do it. But basically there's no limit to how many you can get. <laughs> so even though we have the trim shorts from before by using the staircase glitch, um, this is an entirely new stack. And also, for those of you who are stacking for the first time, you can turn these into the gold-trimmed Lucky Purple Shorts. And they still stack, so you need two of these stacks. <laughs> Alright, fireworks. So these fireworks can be purchased from two different places. Either the casino or the um, nut room at the queue shop. Uh, I'm probably going to get them from the casino. They're limited, so the casino has been nerfed. Uh, probably because of Blade. <laughs> And basically, you can only buy a limited stock for the casino each day. But if I build up enough Q coins, I can just go each day and purchase them. Uh, what do the fireworks do? Oh, yeah. Good idea. We can look at them. They're very pretty. I love them so much. Okay. 
So this one makes like I think it's a butterfly shape. I like the the color that they do too. This one makes a star drop shape or a star shape. And then this one makes a horse I mean a heart shape, a horse shape. <laughs> Uh, nothing needed in game. No, they're just really pretty. I think they maybe they make um, NPCs say something. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it is a Junimo Sandor. I couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, we're we're still here. Actually, we're done here now. So that was a huge list of hard items. Unfortunately. So let's go ahead and head on down to our next set of items, which are the books. So, uh, there are a lot of new books in the game, and all of them stack, except for maybe a few. I think all of them stack, though. Uh, not all of them are on my stackable list yet, because I thought, I thought that Friendship 101, Mapping Cave Systems, Alleyway Buffet, I thought these three did not stack. But it looks like they can appear in the shop after year three. And I'm not sure on that, but I think I've seen them there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and talk through each one of these after a short break. So I have to use the restroom really quick. And I have the item spawner so I can confirm for you. I mean, they stack in the item spawner. The question is whether I can get more than one of them. Anyways, I have to take a short break. I'm going to run some ads while I'm gone. I have to really pee. <laughs> I've been going for a minute here. Uh, so I will see you guys all in about five minutes of BRB and we'll talk about those books. Be right back, everyone. this person. All right, I'm not fully I'm not fully back yet because we should have ads moving but uh, I love the implication that Melly thought I got all these books by buying them <laughs> okay uh, da, 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 present I love that implication so much <laughs> So how's everyone doing today? Ads are gonna go for another 30 seconds or so. And then we can pick up things. Meow indeed, meow indeed. Meow. <laughs> oh, we gotta put sneakers back on, obviously. Have you seen the new how chests move now. Yes, you can hit them with your uh, tool and they move a little easier than it was before, for sure. There's a lot of nice little updates. 
Nap and vibe. Sounds good, Sins. All right, welcome back from the ads, everyone. Um, it's saying, even though it says ad in progress for another three seconds. Let's try again. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. Can you still make Chesco Burr? I think you can. Yeah, it's a separate thing. So I might as well just show it off right now. Basically, um, you can, if an item, a chest is full, it will hop. And then the second time you hit it, it will just move. It's a lot easier than it was before. I think it still works with an open hand, which makes, which goes burr, but. Hi, Onyx, welcome in. Wish you could play. Oh. Wait, why can't you? Oh, are you stuck on a console, Onyx? That's a shame. Someone's saying they're having trouble with stream. I'm getting a Subaru ad. I think I'm targeted for being a lesbian. <laughs> Please, Scripple. <laughs> uh, was there an issue? I didn't drop any frames. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I, I saw that as well, Kerb. Yeah, you can replace the chest. That doesn't look very impressive, but you can do it over here too. So you can switch which chest is there. Oops. Yeah, we talked about that a little earlier. All right, let's get back into things. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about each and every one of these books and how we can get them. All right, so starting with the animal catalog, uh, you can buy the animal catalog from Marnie at some unspecified point. I, I'm not sure when. It becomes available in Marnie's shop at some point for 5,000 gold, and it allows you to shop there even when Marnie's not there, which is incredible. <laughs> Best thing in the game. Uh, each one costs 5,000, so you can just buy them until you get 5,000 of them. I mean, 999 of them, so it's not too much of an issue there. Uh, unfortunately, we get to the next one, which is much more of a problem, the Book of Mysteries. So the Book of Mysteries drops from mystery boxes, uh, and it's not very common in mystery boxes. I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but um, it took me quite a few mystery boxes to get it. Can you obtain multiple? Of all of these books, as far as I know, yes, you can. As far as I know, this book does not show up at all in the bookseller shop under any circumstances, so you have to get it for most opening mystery boxes. Are we talking about the animal one? The animal one you can for sure. You can just buy a bunch of them. For the Book of Mysteries, I think you can get multiple. I'm, I was under the impression that you can. I don't want to say that for sure, because I can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure you can get multiple of them. All right, we'll move on from that one then. Hopefully you can't, because that would, that would be horrifying, but I think you can. I know all skill books you can. We'll get to those. Treasure Appraisal Guide. So this increases the amount artifacts sell for, which would be kind of nice for me, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, it comes from Omni... I'm sorry, uh, Artifact Troves. You can also buy it from the bookseller, though, after year three. So hopefully that will save us instead. Oh, it does have a description that says you'll get more experience in all areas by reading this book again. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, it seems to imply you can get multiple at least. Yeah, Dwarf Scroll will now be like two gold instead. <laughs> Alright, so old Slither Legs lets you walk through crops much more quickly. You can just straight up buy this from the bookseller. I think it's always available. So every time I go to the bookseller, I can get one. So you can walk through crops and grass without slowing down, basically. Uh, you can buy this one from the Dwarf in infinite amounts. So the Dwarf is safety manual. I can just buy 999 of those. Okay. Friendship 101. The first one comes from the prize tickets, but then I believe you can buy it. I'm not 100% on this one, but I believe you can buy it from the bookseller after year three. Jack be nimble, Jack be thick comes from dig spots, but I believe you can buy it from the bookseller occasionally as well jewels of the sea oh it also gives you plus one defense i should say that too jewels of the sea allows you to find row in fishing chests and um by you get it from fishing chests as well so that's kind of a nice thing about it uh you can also buy it from the bookseller occasionally mapping cave systems after you finish i think it's after you kill a thousand enemies i'm not sure on that though after you kill 1,000 enemies, you find this in Marlin's shop in his back room, which you can access. Uh, after you kill 1,000 enemies, I think it's 1,000. Anyways, uh, back there, this allows you to 
pay less when recovering items from the mines. Uh, you can also, you get the first one there, but you can also buy it from the bookseller after year three. Okay, the monster compendium drops randomly from monsters and it gives you a chance to double the loot from monsters and it stacks with the burglar ring. So it's really good for that. Uh, you, it just drops from monsters. I don't know if it can show up as the book sell in the bookseller, but it doesn't matter because I will kill enough monsters for it. <laughs> the price catalog, you can just straight up buy this from the bookseller. I think it, I think the bookseller is always selling one of them. Uh, the queen of sauce cookbook after you get 100 golden walnuts, I believe this appears in the bookseller shop. Uh, it costs a lot of money. It's 50,000 per book, but after, you know, I buy all of them, we have them all. So it doesn't matter. Kind of useless to me at this point in my stacking thing for reading it, but very good to have it all. The alleyway buffet can be found in a secret area near Clint's shop off to the side. The first one can, and it gives you better drops from trash cans. I believe that's what it does. I don't know exactly the stats on like how much better they are, um, but you can get them from the bookseller in year three plus as well. Okay, the art of crabbing has a one in four chance of doubling a fish pots, a crab pot, sorry, a crab pot's output. Uh, and then you can get them first. The first one you get is from Squidfest. Uh, it's the reward for the first day in Squidfest. I'm pretty sure the max reward. And then ones after that you can buy from the bookseller after year three. Uh, the Diamond Hunter gives every rock in the game that you break a chance to drop a diamond. I don't know what the chance is, but I imagine it's low. Um, and it costs 10 diamonds, and you buy it from the dwarf in the volcano. Luckily, I have a lot of diamonds saved up. <laughs> so it's going to cost me 10 stacks of diamonds to buy 999 of these, but it's not too bad, actually, because I already have that many. 50% chance, that would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, Way of the Wind 1 and 2. Um, Way of the Wind 1 is initially in the bookseller shop, and once you buy and read that, Way of the Wind 2 can also show up. They're both very expensive, but you can just buy as many as you want of those. Uh, the Raccoon Journal is first gotten from the Raccoon quest line, and once you get it, you can buy it from the Raccoon's wife for 999 fiber. So every single one of these is going to cost me 999 fiber. <laughs> Yay! Fiber is the new moss. I love that. <laughs> 999 fiber for every single one of these. Yeah, fiber will be easier overall to get. I'm probably still just going to use the deconstructor method. Yeah, I'm not worried about fiber. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to that robot worm. Don't worry. We haven't gotten there yet. All right. Woody Secret. Bait and Bobber. Book of Stars. Mining Monthly. Stardew Valley Al Almanac. And Woodcutters Weekly are all skill books. I'm sorry. <laughs> These are skill books. Let's talk about Woody Secret first of all. Let's try that again, Ava. Woody Secret is a book that you can get from chopping wood randomly. Uh, you can also buy it from the bookseller occasionally as well, I believe. If not, uh, just chopping enough trees will eventually get me 999 of those. Okay. Uh, all of the remaining ones are all skill books. So Bait and Bobber, Book of Stars, Combat Quarterly, Mining Monthly, Stardew Valley Almanac, and Woodcutters Weekly all give you a small amount of experience in its relevant skill. Uh, and Book of Stars gives you the same amount of experience in all skills. So Book of Stars is much rarer, but all of them can be purchased from the bookseller on random days. Uh, so I'm not worried about finding them. I'm just going to probably be buying them. I'll find some occasionally, and that'll be nice because I can stack them. One of the other nice things is once I have extras, I can start trading them in for things. There's certain things that can be traded at the bookseller. You can trade in books for things, and some of those things are actually kind of useful for us. Um, I'll have to look into it more to figure that out later on. How much experience do you get for book? Uh, it's 250. I think this one gives 250 in all skills, and these give 250 in their relevant skill. So this one's a lot rarer than the other ones, too. Uh, level 1 is 100, and level 2 is 350. So it gets you, if you read it right away, you'll automatically get the first level and be most of the way to the second level. 
And if you read it after getting level one, it'll immediately give you level two as well. So it's not a lot later on, but it's a lot early on. So if you find it really quick, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, they give 500? Are you sure about that, Gorilla? Ooh. Hmm. The bookseller sells the Book of Mysteries. It's rare for it to show up, but it will be there. I'll have to look into that for sure, Filthy Gorilla. Not useful for me at all, though, in terms of experience. Well, I have to get Mastery still, but that'll be so quick with my setups. Like, just collecting from the fish ponds every day will get me Mastery very fast. Just collecting from the fish ponds every day will give me Mastery pretty fast. All right. Welcome to the last chest. These are the craftable items. And these are the worst items. Some of them are. Some of them aren't too bad. Uh, the order that we have decided here, I guess, is to put text sign at the end, which is by far the easiest. So we will actually start with text sign. Text sign is an item that can simply be crafted from the beginning of the game and costs 25 wood. Uh, it's a very cool item because you can write text on a sign. Um, but other than that, uh, in terms of stacking, I'm not too worried about it. I just need a bit of wood to stack it. Now, let's go back over to this side here, to the blue grass starter. So the blue grass starter is a recipe that is found behind the nut door for a certain amount of Q gems. I can't remember how much, but once you have that, you can craft blue grass starter. And if we look at the recipe which we might not have, actually. I might have forgotten to go grab that. Um, well, I know it requires Mystic Syrup, and I'm not... I think it's Grass Starter or Fiber and mix Mystic Syrup and something else. But I know it has Mystic Syrup in it, so that's just some more of these lovely trees here. How much text? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It's quite a bit, though. Maybe, like, 50 characters? 25 fiber and 10 moss and all mystic syrup. <laughs> Thank you, robot worm. So 25 fiber, <laughs> yay. 10 moss, yay. And a mystic syrup, yay. Uh, it's annoying, but it's not unachievable. <laughs> the recipe is 40 gems. Thank you. All right. The tent kit is unlocked at 8 forging, I believe. And it lets you sleep anywhere on the map. Well, not anywhere. Out anywhere outside on the map. As long as there's not a festival the next day. So if we go ahead and take a look at, whoops, crafting. Um, it costs 10 hardwood, 25 fiber, and one cloth per tent kit. And it's very achievable to get those things, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't know if I'm going to utilize them in the challenge ever. I'm trying to think of like in the 999 challenge specifically if I need them much. But in other challenges, they can be very useful, yeah. You can also find a few for free. Being able to start right next to Skull Caverns in the morning seems pretty useful. Uh, being able to go to sleep without losing money seems pretty useful, especially with the new um, problems with losing money. Uh, you lose more money now if you fall asleep outside, if you have a lot of money on you. I think you can lose up to 15,000 now. 61 characters. Ooh, I was close. Not 1,000 anymore. You can lose up to 15,000, Mermaid. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently, you can only lose it from dying. I think the amount you can lose from passing out went up too, though. You wake up in that spot, Heather. You wake up where you slept. It didn't? I guess we'll find out. Because I'm going to pass out here soon. <laughs> up to 5,000 for pass out. Okay. Passport. <laughs> Hi, Katharina. Welcome in. All right. Regardless, if we can find some use for the tent kit, we'll find it later. Are you sure? Okay. I guess pass out is still uh, 1,000 or it's 5,000. It's 5K on Ginger Island. Okay. So I guess it hasn't changed then. All right. Anyways. Anvil time. So an anvil is an item that lets you reroll trinkets. For three iridium bars, you can reroll a trinket into a better, hopefully a better quality one. 
So I could reroll my frog egg and hope to get prismatic, but I already have prismatic, so I don't want to do that. But you can reroll other trinkets uh, and make them into better quality. I'm probably not going to have to use this much. Uh, I also think it's very expensive to reroll trinkets for th three iridium bars. But basically, it is a way, if you want to get some of the rarer trinkets, it's a way to do that. Um, the anvil costs 50 iron bars. <laughs> so 999 anvils costs me 50 stacks of iron bars. Trinkets do not stack, luckily, Audrey. Uh, so that's that's a lot of iron bars right there. <laughs> it's basically 50,000 iron bars. Uh, it's very doable. I might have to buy it, but I can if I need to. Just throw money at the problem. That's true. Especially with the new uh, furnaces, which we'll talk about in a minute. That'll make it a lot easier. How many trinkets are there? Seven, I think? I'm not exactly sure. I don't have them here because they don't stack. Ah, good call, Filthy. All right. The bait maker, which is nice and over here, which everyone thought was a fish TV, myself included, um, basically allows you to put a fish in it and make bait. It gives you five to ten bait per fish. It makes a fish specific to that bait that lets you catch, the, catch those fish easier, or more likely to catch those fish, rather. And the bait maker is at six fishing, and it costs three iron bars, three coral, and one sea urchin. The coral might be an issue, but I think I have an extra stack of sea urchins, and I definitely have the three iron bars. So it won't be too bad. Okay. Um, next up we have the big chest and the big stone chest, which are right here. They have 70 item slots in them, which you can fill up, which is very useful. It's almost twice as many as the regular chest. And um, the recipe for the large stone chest i don't have but i believe it is 100 wood and three copper bars which i can definitely buy oh, those perfect. and for the big stone chest i think it's just 100 stone i think it's just double the amount of stone maybe it's 250 stone actually it'd be nice to have those wouldn't it <laughs> i forgot oh, to buy nice. those you can buy the the big chest recipe from robin and once you have stone chests unlocked, you can buy the oh, stone chest recipe, big stone chest recipe from the dwarf. Did I say wood? Sorry, 250 stone, I believe. It's two copper bars. Okay, 120 wood. Thank you, Frazzle. I should really have those handy somewhere. Anyways, uh, Ira, I'm a Ruby Love, Mirkook, and Skittleho. Thank you all so much for the follows. Welcome in. Regardless, it's a lot of stone and wood. Both are things I can get in reasonably large amounts. I'm not too worried about those. It'll be fun to get those done, but once they're done, they'll be done. Okay. The dehydrator. The dehydrator is a recipe you can buy from Pierre, which costs 10,000 gold, I believe. And it costs 30 wood, 2 clay, and 1 fire quartz. Uh, for me, that's no issue, but uh, getting that much fire quartz early if you're going to use them is kind of annoying sometimes. That fire quartz can be kind of tough. Makes sense, though. All right. Next up, we have the Deluxe Worm Bin. A Deluxe Worm Bin is a recipe you get from upgrading fishing. I think it's fishing eight. And it costs one Worm Bin, which actually got cheapened, by the way. 15 hardwood, one gold bar, one iron bar, and 50 fiber. Yay. So it costs one of these Worm Bins and 30 moss. Yeah, we can crystallarium the fire quartz. So basically, it's just a worm bin upgrade. And it gives deluxe bait every day. Which is actually pretty useful. Because that deluxe bait is pretty expensive to buy from uh, Willy. It's like 100 each. So getting 5 for free every day is pretty nice. It's like 3 to 5, I think. Okay. Next up, we have the fish smoker. The fish smoker can is a recipe that can be purchased from Willy for ten thousand gold at any point. And oh, I do have it. Sweet. It costs ten hardwood. It costs one sea jelly, one river jelly, and one cave jelly. So each of the jellies we can get from fish ponds, and the hardwood we can get from suffering. Not really suffering. We can get it from uh, mining or um, farming the hardwood trees on Ginger Island, like we've been doing. Okay, we have a bunch of extra hardwood right now anyways. 
Okay. Uh, the fish smoker doubles the price of every fish, which is kind of nice. The heavy furnace. The heavy furnace is received as a recipe for mining mastery. The heavy furnace is a really cool item. It requires two furnaces to make, as well as three iron bars and 50 stone. So uh, lots more furnaces we're going to need. But once you have it, it costs two less coal for every bar you make, and it has a chance of making an extra bar. I think it's like a 25% chance of making an extra bar. Ooh, Fisher and Angler affected smoke, fish smoke pr uh, cell prices, Filthy Gorilla. Is that on top of Artisan? Maybe that's not a bug. Maybe that's intended. That definitely makes selling fish a lot better with a smoker. That's cool to know. Okay. Regardless. Uh, so the Heavy Furnace shouldn't be too bad to make a bunch of, and it'll also be super useful for the challenge. It'll get us a lot more Iridium and stuff, which will be very useful for the Statue of the Dwarf King. So every statue of the Dwarf King, which you get from Mining Mastery, costs 20 Iridium Bars. <laughs> so we need 20 stacks of Iridium Bars, which is a lot, but I can definitely do that. I'm not super worried about getting all that. Especially with the new furnaces, it'll become a lot easier. Yeah. So the statue of the Dwarf King, not too bad. The Mushroom Stumps, Mushroom Logs, which I'll probably be utilizing a lot to get a, a lot of extra mushrooms. Uh, those mushroom stumps cost 10 hardwood and 10 moss for each one, um, but that's very achievable. I'm going to need a lot more than 999 because I'm going to use them to farm a lot of stuff for sure. But yeah, it's very achievable to get those. Okay, and then that just leaves one item in this, uh, in this lovely, lovely box that we have looked through. And that is the Statue of Blessings. This lovely fella here. Look, look at how cute it is. It's so cute. Uh, but beneath that false veneer is a terrifying, terrifying heart of pure evil. So let's go ahead and look right now at the crafting recipe for the Statue of Blessing. And I'm going to give you guys a minute to, uh, to, um, to look at that. I'm drinking water so I can refill my tears. <laughs> So, the Statue of Blessing, <laughs> Statue of Blessings, for every single statue, costs 999 stone, 999 fiber, 999 sap, and, w which I can only assume here was mercy on the part of CA, 333 mosses. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Since this item stacks, we need to get basically 1 million stone, 1 million fiber, 1 million sap, and 333,000 moss to get a full stack of these items. Yeah, it's basically a million for each of those items. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk through this. <laughs> the stone we can deconstruct staircases for. It's going to take a lot of staircases to do that, but we can deconstruct it. We can also just buy the stone, which isn't the worst thing to do either. The fiber, um, we're probably going to be deconstructing grass starter for. Oh, it's a person. Thank you, Ro Rainbow Talia, for the follow. Uh, it's going to take a lot of deconstructing grass starter to do. We're talking on the order of, like, millions, if not hundreds of millions of purchased grass starter to deconstruct but it's definitely doable to do that hi blink welcome in hope you're doing well today are you sure the statue stack yes i, I did check that tonya and 999 sap luckily uh our good friend eric was very merciful and has improved the rate of sap from hardwood trees that are tapped so, um, basically, instead of getting one, you now get, like, five <laughs> sap for trapping a hardwood tree each day. Tapping a hardwood tree. And it comes each day. So, basically, I think I'm just going to make a giant field of hardwood trees. And tap every single one of them and collect them every day. I think that should be kind of reasonable. It, I mean, as reasonable it can, as it can possibly be, <laughs> I suppose. 
what does it do? Oh, good point. We talked about it a little earlier, but basically uh, it gives you a random blessing each day. Uh, some of the blessings are pretty good, and some of them are range from kind of okay to mostly useless for us. Um, but ultimately, sometimes they'll change our behavior. Like, the plus luck and the plus speed is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, so that is the last new stackable item, and it is certainly a doozy. Nothing about this is reasonable. Oh, uh, we didn't talk about the moss. Yeah. The moss. <laughs> the, the, we'll need moss. That's fun. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, the last thing we have to do here. Stay on my head, sneakers. The moss speaks for itself. Uh, so this is our list of new stackable items. I'm missing a few on here, I realized as I was going through. Uh, but basically, we've got somewhere around 290 new stackable items in the game. Which is awesome. Yay! Thank you, Tonya. Welcome back to the stack. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad free viewing. Yeah. But there's one more thing for us to talk about today. And that is... Old items that used to stack. We talked about the moss soup already, Jen. Yeah, it's 20 moss per. Uh, old items that used to stack, or still stack rather, that we haven't finished and new strategies that we can use for them. So let's look at the things that are not done. But notably, I want to stop by a few places in particular that are done, or look done, and that are no longer done. So here's our fruits category. Every single thing in this category I need five more stacks of. For the new dehydrator things, every single thing in this category requires five more stacks. <laughs> so this is no longer done. Not only is this not done, it's only one fifth of the way done. <laughs> so this is about to be multiplied by five here. So that's a, that's a ton of fun, huh? Uh, we're gonna zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see it better. Uh, oh, view. Zoom, 150 should be fine. Uh, 150 is not fine. We'll go 125. Perfect. Okay. Iridium Scythe will help with that, yes. Veggies. Um, actually, most of these are fine. We're adding some new veggies. There's three new veggies in the game. Brittany, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. There are three new veggies in the game. But uh, other than that, I don't think any of these change much, if at all. I'm actually not sure if any of them do. So basically the veggies category will be easy to get fixed up. You just have to laugh. Oh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm so excited. How much row do you get from the row maker per fish? You don't, there's no row maker, filthy gorilla. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Do you mean the bait maker? You don't get row, you get bait. That's a separate item. Which we already did talk about those. All right. So the new forges, a good number of these forge items now can be turned into juice and pickles. And the mushrooms, at the very least, can be turned into dehydrated mushrooms. So five times as many of all of these mushrooms. And then for a good number of these forges up here, um, basically three times as many we need. <laughs> oh, so to answer your question then, Filthy Gorilla, you get five to ten. So it's a random number between five and ten. So I believe it's like eight and a half or seven and a half on average. Yeah, seven and a half on average. Okay. We didn't finish rainbow shells, but there's, as far as I know, there's no other new way to get rainbow shells. Okay, uh, so this is unchanged, unfortunately. Flowers. Um, I actually don't think this changes at all. Oh, it's a person. GMA Gamer, thank you so much for the follow. I said... My guess in 30% in Discord was for s just the Statue of Blessings only, Mermaid. My guess for 30% was only the Statue of Blessings. <laughs> the Statue of Blessings alone is 30% decrease in percentage toward the challenge. <laughs> it's probably going to be close to 50. Yeah. Half the challenge. All right. Anyways, um, I did update the sheet a little bit earlier. This was before the update came out. 
just to have colors for all of these flowers to separate them by color um, but other than that this is probably going to remain unchanged entirely i don't think i don't think we need any new flowers for anything okay for fish every single fish on here is going to double i don't think there's any exceptions every single fish on this list is going to double uh, current percentage is, in fact, 94. We can actually go back and check really quick. Yeah, 95.4, actually. Cool. So this is whole category is going to double. In addition to that, we also need to consider the fish we need to make the bait. So then that's also going to increase it by, like, point, point 0.25, I think. So, yeah. So 2.25 times the amount of stuff in this category which is very fun. Row. Row is done and will basically remain done. <laughs> Unfortunately, row is a lot easier to get now. Like, a lot easier. Like, twice as easy to get. But since row is done, the only things we need in this category now are clam row and goby row. And, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. And the legendary fish row. I almost forgot. Uh, so the legendary fish row is not gotten from fish ponds, though. And the new squid and midnight squid row. It is only gotten from jewels of the sea, but it will go in this list. Yay. <laughs> All right, for artisan goods. Uh, we'll have a few more aged rows. Uh, we're going to add the smoker fish, which uh, are also artisan goods. We'll go in here. We're going to add all the dehydrator stuff, which will also go in here. Uh, and we're going to add all of the... I think that's it, actually. Is it just dehydrator stuff? Yeah, I think it is. Dehydrator and smoker stuff, I think it's just the new artisan goods, uh, which is going to be a ton. For the categories we have not finished, we have pickles, uh, jelly, and juice. And these are going to still only come from the traveling cart, but they're going to be a lot more common now. I think they are every... Uh, I think they've improved by, like, a very small amount. I should have a lot more. I shouldn't have said a lot more. They'll be more common now. Also down here, we're going to be adding the uh, new tree tapper product. Uh, possibly more, but I think that's it. Cooking. There's only one new cookable thing, and it's the moss soup. Uh, so this will be pretty straightforward, luckily. The new fish have row. Yes, it does, Sapphic. That'll be added on there. Can you dehydrate legendary fish? You can cook them. You cannot dehydrate them. So the smoker cooks them. Okay. Uh, for animal products and mob drops, well, dragon's teeth. Oh, we didn't talk about the... Hold on, hold on. How did we forget to talk about the... Oh, it's literally not in here. <laughs> Oops. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Mini Forge. <laughs> the Mini Forge is an item that you get from Combat Mastery. Uh, the Mini Forge recipe is 5 Dragon's Teeth, 10 Iron Bars, 10 Gold Bars, and 5 Iridium Bars. Every single one is going to cost me 5 Dragon's Teeth. <laughs> uh, so we're probably going to have to get those just by putting the Stingrays back in the Fish Ponds. Luckily, with the Golden Animal Crackers, we can double the amount we get from the Fish Ponds. Uh, it'll still take quite a while to get that. Okay. Now, we can go back to what we were talking about. I don't think it's worse than the statue. No, it's not even close to worse than the statue. Anyways, we can talk about Dragon's Teeth here now. This is going to multiply by... Well, not multiply by five, but it's going to increase by five stacks. Um, and we'll have to get it that way. <laughs> Somehow we missed that. Uh, I don't believe there's any new eggs. And since we're done with all the animal products already, I don't think there's any new animal products to get. There's no new animals, are there? Yeah, so that's unchanged. Uh, for slime, slime is also basically unchanged. I don't think any new recipes have it in there. So we're basically going to get it the same way. One of the nice things, though, is that you can now make the hard mode Skull Caverns permanent. Basically, we can never stop calling Kevin now. <laughs> and that's going to make getting slime a ton easier. Um, also, there's something about the slime hutches being smaller and more easily able to fit on the map. Um, we don't need to worry about that, though. Uh... <laughs> 
Uh, Void Essence is about the same. I don't think that has changed in any way. I should double check that you can still get the uh, thing that way. Still get the Void Ghost Pendant that way, but I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, we'll talk about it, Leo. That's our last thing to talk about. All right, for seeds. Uh, we were done with seeds, but um, the mossy seed and the lovely, absolutely incredible mystic tree seed. I couldn't think of the name for a second. Um, both got added, so those are new tree seeds that we're going to need. Uh, that's not too bad, though. Uh, the mystic seed's kind of annoying, but we have we talked earlier about methods we can get to make it a little easier. Oh, and the mixed flower seeds. Yep, yeah, those will be pretty easy, though. Thank you. No, you're right, Crafty. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, for the metals, materials, and gems, which was finished. Um, <laughs> you see, this was our biggest category before. And this category is going to increase by about about 3.5 million. It's all, already at 3 million. So this category is basically going to double in size from a variety of different things, but mostly from the woodstone, fiber, and... Uh, sap <laughs> so that's gonna be fun okay uh, minerals will be completely unchanged and now the other category the auto petter got harder so there are new items you can get in skull cavern chests now i think trinkets and star drop tea and golden animal crackers at least golden animal crackers i'm pretty sure you can get i'll have to double check exactly what you can get so we're gonna have to get more ladders or we might be able to use a method that was pointed out to me uh, by killing special slimes on specific places. We can get auto petters that way. Uh, I'm going to look into both and see how we can manage that. I don't know if we can get star drop to you that way, actually, Mermaid. I wasn't sure on that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> how do you plan on getting star drop to you? Uh, prize tickets and golden fishing chests. I'm going to have to look into exactly how you can get them. Deconstructor, we still just need Q-Gems for that. That hasn't changed. There's really no new items you can buy with Q-Gems either. So we're actually about where we left off with Q-Gems. Uh, Enricher, uh, same thing, Q-Gems. Magic Rock Candy, uh, it's easier to get now, but that doesn't end up mattering because uh, we don't need it anymore. We're basically already done with it. Pressure Nozzle is Q-Gems as well. Uh, the Rare Crows are pretty much exactly the same. There's no special way to buy them or anything. You just have to get them the same way. The Void Ghost Pendant, again, is pretty much exactly the same. Artifacts. So, some of these artifacts are going to be easier to get now. But using, like, the Treasure Totem or things like that. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think the method we've been using for most of these has been fine so far. And we're just going to continue doing that. The only exception I can think of is the snake items. So the snake vertebrae and the snake skull. So with the snake vertebrae, first of all, they, it became easier to get. Hi, butterfly. Welcome in. The special slime uh, um, odds are bad, Sandor, but it's the same. If you kill it in the same spot that it gave you an auto petter before, it will give you an auto-petter again. So you can re-roll the mines if you find that spot. Anyways, the snake vertebrae used to only drop, and still does drop, from um, artifact spots on the Ginger Island farm area. But it used to be super rare, because getting those artifact spots was first of all kind of rare, and second of all, getting that to drop from it was even rarer. But now you can make artifact spots wherever you want, using the treasure totem. So we can use that to get a whole bunch of snake vertebra. Also, it was kind of buffed. So now you can get snake vertebra from the muscle nodes on Ginger Island as well. It seems like it's a pretty low chance, but they can drop from those too. So I can just keep breaking those as well. KNL. Um, so the K column is, does it come from an artifact trove? And the L column comes is, does it come from a fish pond? The only one that comes from a fish pond, oh, there's two. The pearl and the treasure chest. Anyways, the strange dolls, we can also use treasure totems to get as well. Uh, it might just be as easy to keep bombing the mines, though. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some math on that. 
And that just leaves decor. The plush bunny is about the same as before. The stone Junimo is the same as before. The stone owl is the same as before. The tea set. <laughs> the tea set has changed. The tea set has changed. As I have been informed, there is a new way to get the tea set. So this is our hidden price column. So I'm just going to go ahead and add something in here. So, the traveling cart has a 5% chance to have a tea set in it for 1 million gold after year 25. <laughs> so after year 25, there is a 1% chance, uh, I'm sorry, a 5% chance of the tea set appearing in the traveling cart. So that alone is going to cost me one billion more gold. Golden chickens are going to come in helpful. That is true. <laughs> so we've already earned a billion gold for our Statues of Endless Fortune. And we need another billion gold. And yes, Sapling, I think that is some amount of confirmation. Although I'm not sure on it. I think that is some amount of confirmation that CA knows something about this challenge. Because I don't know why else it would be there for year 25 plus. <laughs> it's one thing if people were like, I, I want to get a T-set really badly. But no one goes to year 25 plus in this game. <laughs> no one. Unless they're doing this challenge specifically. Yes. But. Because of that. Uh, the T-set is now more obtainable. I'm kind of feeling two ways about this. One of the ways is I was like, I kind of like the strategy we use for T sets. But the other way I feel about this is that just knocked 300 hours off this run. Possibly more than 300 hours off this run. Yeah. We still have the funny little RNG thing, Mermaid. And I did like it, but that just saved me 300 hours of my life. So <laughs> I can't complain too harshly about it. <laughs> uh, and with that, I believe. That is essentially all of the new things in this update that we are going to need to stack. Uh, it's quite a lot. But at the same time, I'm very excited. Because there's lots of new strategies, lots of new really cool things we get to do here. I'm about to fall asleep here. <laughs> Perfect. It was a full day of time that it took us to go through all the new items. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me in our little adventure here <laughs> into 1.6. We learned about all of our new items that we're going to be stacking and how I'm so far planning on getting them. There's a lot of new things we still have to learn to figure it all out. And we also looked at the old things that we still need to get and some of the new ways we might be able to get them. Oh, uh, calico eggs. Calico eggs disappear after the festival, so they are not technically considered stackable for this challenge. The statue of the middle is the Statue of Blessing Sunset. <laughs> this is our lovely, lovely friend, our new bestest friend. Which we will love and cherish forever. Well, with that, I think there's only one thing left to do. Thank you all for joining me. And good night. Bye. That was a great ending. That was an improvised ending, by the way. <laughs> Woo! Smooth almost. <laughs> See? It's useful, mermaid. It's useful. <sighs> All right, I need a minute. Yeah, there's a um a frog trinket in the game now. It eats uh enemies near you. It's really cool. I do like the tent. <laughs> Do you know if it drops from that mermaid? Because I wasn't sure on that. Did you check? Because if it does, that's a lot easier for getting star drop tea. Woo. That was a ton. I was going to do another video today. I don't know if I can. <laughs> that took a lot out of me. 
Frog for Sebi. Yeah, I think he likes them or loves them as a gift if you give him frog eggs. They're kind of hard to get, like, a lot of, though. So you might as well just give him frozen tears. Got to grind for that now, yeah. We can talk about the trinkets because I kind of wasn't as a part of this uh, video. Um, so let's go ahead and link it, look at the trinkets. So first of all, we have the frog egg. I wish I knew how to type. So there's our frog egg. Staring me in the face, mummified frogs. Uh, there's a basilisk paw. There it is. There's a parrot. Um, there's a fairy. If people are interested in these trinkets. What am I missing? There's a spur, I believe. Yeah, a golden spur. Uh, there is a quiver. There's an ice rod. I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's all the trinkets. All right, so the Basil's Paw is, in my opinion, the weakest and also the least interesting. It looks cool, though. Uh, it just makes you immune to debuffs. I wonder if you can swap it in as you're about to get debuffed. <laughs> that might actually make it worth it. Um, but it doesn't do anything other than that, and there's no levels to it, so you can't reroll it. Uh, my favorite trinket probably is the Parrot Egg. So the Parrot Egg gives you a nice little parrot companion. Look at the cool little parrot, first of all. Very cool parrot. I think if you stand still, he lands on you. Maybe not. Anyways, parrot companion. It gives you a chance of money dropping from monsters when you kill them. Uh, you can also just use the slime charmer ring for that, though, sunset. So the parrot egg gives you a chance to... Um... Oh, I can turn the music back on because we're not in a video anymore. There we go. It gives you a chance to earn money, and it actually is a lot of money. <laughs> like, for a level 4, so this is level 1, it goes up to level 4. You can get a ton of money from this, especially if you're already killing enemies. It won't be very useful for my challenge, but in general, this could actually, this is actually a pretty decent way to make money. Because you're going to be killing enemies anyways, for a lot of other things. Uh, there's definitely trinkets in the mermaid. I got a trinket when I was testing. So are you sure about that? I know there's loot boxes. I knew that one too. I just remembered, but I knew it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, the fairy box. If you put on the fairy box, you get a little fairy companion. And the fairy companion will heal you when you take damage in the mines. Uh, and depending on the level, you get healed for more and more. Uh, it's actually pretty useful because a lot of the time, in most situations, you don't have to use food if you have a fairy box. Uh, if you're in, like, harder mines, though, it can't really keep up, unfortunately. Whittle fairy... Okay, next one is the Golden Spur, which doesn't change you visually in any capacity. But it, it gives you a speed boost every time you get a critical strike. I think the max is 10 seconds. So this is just another stacking speed buff that you can get. You can get so fast in this update. I want someone to actually test it and get their max speed. But I think it's like, like you can get up to like plus 8 in this update with everything. I love mermaid boots too. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Oh, I forgot the magic hair gel. You're right. It's um, it's a secret one. That's why. Yeah. All right. Magic hair gel. We'll just talk about now because it's kind of a secret oh, uh, thing. You can't get it from the normal way, but it makes your hair change color. So you can buy this. This is a bit of a spoiler, but you can buy it from Alex at the Desert Festival. So if you know about the Desert Festival, that's how you get that. Oh, Sneakers is back. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> Need that IRL, right? All right. Uh, next is the Magic Quiver. Magic Quiver is just a straight damage increase. Every so often, it shoots out an arrow at a nearby enemy, basically. A magic arrow and deals damage to them. Um, I haven't found this one particularly useful, mostly because most of my damage is already being done by me. But I could see it being useful for certain situations, especially if you don't have other trinkets. This one does something similar, the Ice Rod. It shoots out an orb of ice that freezes enemies in place. It doesn't damage them, but it keeps them from moving. Uh, 
Okay, interesting, mermaid. That makes the odds kind of annoying, actually. That's actually a lot of golden animal crackers. Hold on. So, no star drop tea, unfortunately. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping for it. Not a lot of trinkets, at least. I was afraid the trinkets would, like, overwhelm everything else. Actually, that's 5% for a trinket. That's actually quite high. The new totem does? Uh, you see what I'm standing in here? That's This is what the new totem does. It creates a bunch of treasure spots around you, artifact spots. Alright, uh, anyways, trinkets. How do you get trinkets? Uh, monster drops, almost exclusively. And then finally is the frog egg, which we've seen already, which um, will eat enemies nearby to you, like every few seconds or so. Yeah, mermaid, probably, unfortunately. But uh, those are all the new trinkets. Or all the trinkets, yeah. Bestest little boy. I gotta put my boy back on. There we go. So I think it's a pretty rare chance to get the prismatic one. How's your Saturday going? It's going really well, Sophia. Bye, Iguana. Wait. Yep, see you later, Iguana. Gay frog, gay frogs. CA turned the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> How are there so many worms? Uh, I used something new called a treasure. Whoops, I can't spell here. There we go. This guy here. But if you use this, it creates a bunch of worm spots. Oh, I was wondering why so many disappeared. It's because I didn't, uh, I didn't hoe them. I don't even have a hoe. Hold on. Let's see what we get out of these. Oh, I forgot you can do this now. <laughs> once you uh once you unlock the um upgraded watering can or hoe you can hop around now uh yeah i have a mod downloaded for it uh sophia it's called uh smappy and um C cjb cheats something like that uh, you can hop around with this now so if you mess up you can move to a different spot it's actually incredible that you can hop though i love it It's so much slower with that, though. Oh. We got a shirt. A Jackby Nimble, Jackby Thick. Chicken statue, Rusty Spur, Rice Shoot, and a bunch of coal. A bunch of clay, too. Can you get anything unique from the worms? I mean, if they're just worm spots, so it depends where you are. Uh, so you can put them in better spots for better worms. Yeah, weather has become fully seeded. On the plus side, now you can seed for very good rain. On the minus side, now you can't change the rain. Yes, I have gotten the new green rain in my um, my challenge farm. Not in the 999 challenge, but the other challenge I've been doing. It is not toxic at all. <laughs> People are saying like acid rain. It's like the opposite. It's like healing rain. It's like healing the valley. Everyone's just scared because they don't know what it is. Base rain, yeah. What does it do, the rain? Uh, it, like, grows all the trees. Not, like, fully. It will. It has a chance of growing, like, all the trees. So any planted trees or anything. It puts moss on all the trees that are already grown. Uh, it spawns a ton of fiber everywhere. Like, everywhere. And it spawns some new fancy trees as well. Makes your game green, yeah. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, mermaid. It does reduce flexibility. 
Maybe it'll get changed. It might have been unintended with the new RNG effects. Maybe it can get added to Legacy or something. Or be an option. I don't know. <laughs> More random rain. <laughs> yeah, I like the green rain a lot. Ooh. Do you stream every day? I wish, Sophia. No, I do not stream every day. I, uh... <laughs> I stream as much as I can normally, which is usually three times a week. I've been streaming a lot more for 1.6 and sacrificing my free time, but <laughs> managed to make it work. Yeah, like the only thing Legacy RNG changes is, um, it's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it just brings back all the patterns for RNG, but the underlying changes don't affect those. Yeah. Yeah, Mermaid's explaining it better than I can. We'll be streaming tomorrow, maybe. I'm not 100% on that yet. For longer today, still. I'm going to have to take a break, probably, to rest. Um, I don't know. I might not do the spreadsheet today, actually. I'm feeling pretty tired <laughs> after doing that first video. And that would just be a lot more work. My voice is hurting. <laughs> And the, we'll probably skip Monday because I have to go shopping and get a haircut and a bunch of other stuff. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll probably be streaming. Uh, occasionally, Sophia. I don't get eye strain too badly though. Not like a lot of people do. My hand starts hurting sometimes. And on Friday through, for a week and a half, I'm going to go on vacation. You have hair? I know, Sneakers always covers it, so you'd never know. So I'm going to go on vacation very soon. I'd like to update the spreadsheet before then. I don't know if I want to do it today, though. That might be like a Tuesday job. Yeah, my voice is getting dry. I'm drinking a lot of water, Sophia. Okay, but I kind of want to keep streaming today still. So what I'm going to do here... I'm going to go ahead and take a break, because I need one. After all of that, I'm going to go get lunch, let my dog out, go hang out with him for a bit. Uh, and be back in probably like 10 minutes or so. That's what I'm going to try and do at least. And then I'll decide what we're going to do when we get back. Probably the spreadsheet, but maybe we're going to do the rest of the... Maybe we're going to do the rest of the... Um, we're going to go back to the challenge we were working on. Do we ever see the dog? There's a, a channel point redeemed for it. All right, y'all. I'm going to be back... I'm going to eat lunch. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.
Hi, I'm back. Ooh, man. Sorry that took so long, everyone. I just uh, ate a lot of food. <laughs> I needed to sit for a bit, too. Uh, what are we looking at here? Star drop tea can be gotten from raccoons. The raccoon quests are kind of annoying. But that's definitely better than other options, I suppose. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so the other thing... Are they more annoying than 9k tickets? Considering I can get the ticket every year, it might be good to do like a mix of the two. Also, you can get them from fishing treasure chests, which I'm going to need to get a lot of anyways, Mermaid. So it's a question of like, how many am I going to get from... We dropped a bunch of frames while I was gone. Uh, it's a question of how many I'm going to get from the treasure chests. Because think about all of the uh, golden fishing chests we're going to get from all of the uh, fish row that we need to do. <clears throat> we might just get 999 <laughs> star drop tea from just doing that. Uh, so maybe we don't have to think about that too hard. I don't want to. It's horrific. <laughs> okay. I don't think I want to do the spreadsheet today. I hate to say that because I had planned to. But honestly, right now, I just want to play Stardew. And I think that's probably what a lot of you want, too. <laughs> We've looked at a lot of spreadsheets today. So we'll find another day to update the spreadsheet. Maybe I'll even do it offline, and we'll talk about it afterwards. I don't know, because doing it online seems like it would be kind of boring. I think it's something you guys would want to see, though. So we probably will do it. Uh, I can talk about a few things really quick here. Uh, why is this tiny? What happened here? Oh, we've got the uh, <clears throat> wrong one on here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so we made a archival version. So this is our spreadsheet, but this isn't the one that's linked to. So this is the one we're going to be updating right here. Why are they different sizes? Oh, I see. This one zoomed in more. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to be... This is the one I'm going to keep. I'll, I'll leave a link to it on the FAQ or something. This is going to never change. This is the old spreadsheet. Uh, I made a copy and made this one the archive. Uh, and I'm going to be changing this one. I'll give you guys a preview. We're going to go through it. But uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a preview on some notes I've made here. So here is a list of the new categories from the notes I've made so far. So fruits, veggies, flowers, animal products. So I've increased the amount of categories pretty significantly. <laughs> I think we had like 10, 15 before, and now we've got 32. We basically doubled it. I wanted to make it so no category was more than, let's say like 100, <laughs> somewhere around there. I wanted to make it so it was a little more spread out. I don't think I perfectly do that, but in this way, it's at least kind of better. So we've got flowers, animal products, seeds, fertilizers. So all the fertilizers are now in one place. Geodes will be in a separate thing. Gems and minerals will be in a separate one as well. So this is basically all minerals because gems are technically listed as minerals. Uh, resources. So this is like a few different things, but like even all the, all the resource tagged items but it's also going to include jellies and hay. So <laughs> it includes like a lot of things. Uh, and seaweed and all the algae and everything too. All right, forge, fish, row. Nothing there is new except for the new row and stuff. We now have a bait category. That's for all of the, the new baits, including the new fish baits. Uh, monster drops is its own category now, which includes slime eggs uh, and some other things. Now, artisan goods has been split into four categories. Uh, goods from the jar, goods from the keg, goods from the dehydrator, and all other artisan goods. And smoke fish is its own category as well. So because of that, we don't end up with uh, a whole bunch of... <laughs> we don't have one extremely large category. Uh, the jar ones, it's still more than 100, unfortunately, but that's what we got. Can't do anything about that. 
Uh, cooking, same thing here. I've got... Hmm. I've got the Q seasoning in cooking. I might put it somewhere else still. Alright, machines is its own category now. So anything that's basically a machine, whether you can buy it or craft it. It's kind of like big craftables, but the non-craftables as well go in there. Consumables is a category that basically has any item that you can use once in it. That isn't like cooking. <laughs> I try to keep things in their same category. All books go in here. This is like quite the song for this. Let's, there we go. <laughs> uh, gifts and rewards. So this is like for gifting stuff and any like rewards as well. So bouquet and wilted bouquet, movie ticket, void ghost pendant, animal crackers, star drop tea, prize tickets and golden tags. They're off the side there, but that all goes in there. Uh, trash is all the trash things. Artifacts is all the artifacts. And then four categories for decor as well. So uh, all the lighting, so braziers, torches, campfires, lampposts, uh, all flooring and pathing is its own category now. Um, honestly, I could probably combine these two. I'm thinking about it. Past floors and fences could probably all just be a category. And then other is all the other uh, decor. So all the rare crows are going to go in there. All the craftables. That's just decoration. Uh, the tea set. <laughs> all the house plants are going to be in there. And the uh, flute and drum block will be in there as well. Alright. I just want to play Stardew. So we're just going to play Stardew. No one saw that. It's very annoying to me that that happens. Uh, do we got it? Yay, we got it. Okay. There are like three new furniture catalogs. I will never be able to put everything in my house. I know, right, Sunset? There's a crazy amount. Your house gets, gets a lot bigger now, though, Sunset. There's a few more upgrades for the size of the house. Well, not upgrades. They're like extensions. All right, let's change our title. We're going back to the 1.6 perfection challenge. Min days. All right, challenge updated. Title updated. Epic spreadsheet music, true. What's upsetting about my stack challenge? Artisan Valley isn't being supported in 1.6. Not yet, right, Frazzle? Are they saying like they're never gonna update it to 1.6? That seems like odd. Hmm. Or do you mean it just hasn't been updated yet? I didn't see, I don't remember anything from Artisan Valley that conflicts. I wonder why, Frazzle. Do you know why? Isn't it, like, easier to make mods in 1.6? Ah, uh, they just don't want to make it anymore. Someone will come along with a similar mod then. That's unfortunate we won't be able to update that farm, though. I see what you mean now. Hmm. I made a comment on Lethalot's video earlier about the fact that you can pickle mushrooms because he missed that. And I'm getting like so many comments that are like, because I said something like, you can pickle mushrooms now. I don't know why you'd want to because they're disgusting, just kind of as a joke. And apparently people really like pickled mushrooms. <laughs> it's like my two least favorite things combined together. Ah, I see, Frazzle. That makes sense then. All right. I gotta get hyped up. We gotta jump in here. Day 21st of summer. Mushroom texture is you. Yeah, I know with pickling, it just feels like that wouldn't work, right? I guess some people eat them. Someone was like, I put it in my ramen. I'm like, oh, no. All 
Oh, we don't have mining today. I... That's another best luck day. With no mining. Oh, we got the bucket hat. Let's put that away. We got two lightning days in a row, though. That's actually kind of nice. That'll get us a lot of batteries. We're gonna heat this. And get our blueberries going here. Good chickens. I never realized how good of a gifting item eggs are. They're actually like super good for that. Uh, today's a gifting day. I thought we played through this day. Am I crazy? <sighs> okay, I wrote some stuff down, didn't I? Get mushrooms, buy cow, gift Marnie Shane jazz. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I did write some stuff down. Because our uh, barn is done, right? Yes, okay. Why do we write like we're running out of time? Okay. Put this in here as well. Oh, it goes down here. We're going to come back up in a second here. Yeah, Robot Worm. I've seen that before for sure. I'd be surprised if it doesn't, because I've heard a lot about Artisan Valley, so I at least I assume it's one of the more popular mods. Did they say why? I'm always curious about stuff like that. Like, why are they interested in not update, keeping it updated anymore? Dude. Uh, where do the machines that get glass jars from? Wait, where do the machines get glass jars from? You put things in. I assume it's just a joke. It's like spawns it in. I don't think it's like supposed to be a, a well thought out thing there. <laughs> I always wondered that. I assume you just have the jars. It's probably not worth thinking about too hard. What's this? Anything else here? Dang, it's really tough to see. Okay, we're almost ready, I think. Let's go. I'm waking up to ash and dust. How many melons do we have? We're growing more. So it's probably worth it to keep going with these. Okay, um... These lightning rods are almost all full already. <laughs> Maybe we should make some more, actually. What are we low on? Let's get our inventory cleared out a bit. Why are mushrooms in here? They shouldn't be. <sighs> Not realistic, 0 out of 10. 
I want to put some skill points into glass blowing. There are games that let you do that. I don't think Stardew is concerned with it. Alright, my tea's ready. We're almost out of daffodils, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to officially look into the universal likes here. Because it's time that we need some... Okay, friendship. Universal loves, universal likes. All artisan goods except oil. And void mayo. All cooking. Except for bread, which would be nice. <laughs> all flowers, except for poppy. All forged minerals. Earth crystal, then. Hmm. All fruit tree fruits. We're getting a lot of peaches, but they're like all... I need them all for Robin still. All gems. I don't have enough for that, I don't think. All vegetables. Except for hops, tea leaves, and wheat. All vegetables. Except for... Certain people do not like vegetables. Quartz is good for gifting. For some people. Some people don't care about it. There's a lot of neutrals to it. Mm. Hi, Mass. Welcome in. I'll say... Uh, Kuo, welcome in as well. Hope you're doing well. What kind of tea? Chai tea. So, all vegetables... Does that include parsnips? Are parsnips a universal like? Who doesn't like vegetables? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> There's so many. Okay, um... So, Abby does not like... I'm going to make a no veggies list here. No veggies. Because I think I'm going to be gifting parsnips to a lot of people. So no veggies for Abby. Which is fine. She's got an easy love gift. So that's not a problem. Wait, Clint dislikes all flowers except Poppy? Wait, no. Clint, Clint dislikes all flowers. What a what an alpha male. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, okay. Another reason to hate Clint. Some very hidden secrets in here that I did not know about. Uh, okay. Let me just make sure really quick, by the way. Was parsnips on the exception list to veggies? No, it was not. Okay. So parsnips is probably going to be what I'm gifting everyone here. Uh... Honestly, very few exceptions. Evelyn hates garlic for some reason. George dislikes all flowers. Haley. Gosh, Haley, why do you gotta be so hard, girl? I need a I need a gift for Haley. I just don't have anything. Jazz. Also on the no veggie, veggie strain. He only has eyes for minerals. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Let her have her standards. Okay, that's fine. Jody dislikes garlic. Not a problem for me. Man, Leah, you are, uh... You've got some opinions. <sighs> Anything with bread in it? Uh, oh, sunflowers for Haley. Okay, yeah, we've got sunflowers for Haley. Good call. I forgot about that. Um, Leo's fine with vegetables. That's good. Vincent probably also hates, dislikes them, huh? Uh, 
This will be a good list because we can give away a ton of parsnips this way. Best flower. Why does Pierre not like minerals? That's so strange. Oh, Sam is also a um, veggie hater. Seems kind of fair, honestly. So, same with Vincent. I think I knew about that one, though. Vincent. Uh, and Willie likes them. That's good. Okay. So, we've got five veggie ha haters, two of which are children, and actually all of which are children. <laughs> Abby, Haley, Jazz, Sam, and Vincent. Yes, I've got grapes for Vincent. I'm actually going to write that here. Uh, amethyst. Sunflower. S Sam gets pizza once I have money. Vincent gets grape or snail. That just leaves jazz. I need a light gift for jazz. Also, welcome in, Tootie. I hope you're doing well today. What's your liked and love gift, Algo? Uh, veggie veggies are disliked, for sure. If not outright hated. Because she likes animals, Tycho, and she doesn't want a piece of a dead animal. <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Tootie. Um, Alright, let's look at Jazz's likes. Oh, Jazz loves Fairy Rose. We'll have that soon. Gosh, I love plum pudding right now. Uh, she likes daffodils. Well, I have five daffodils left. Uh, I guess that's something. She dislikes vegetables. Oh, me, yes. I I can't stand them. Like, all of them. <laughs> I eat green beans. I tolerate green beans. That's about it. Alright. So, Jazz is going to get all of our daffodils for a while. I love eggplant. No broccoli. Broccoli tastes awful. <laughs> I have tried drowning it in so much tea. I don't eat straight up tea leaves, but I do love tea. Uh, I don't know what my love gifts would be. Mm. Broccoli and cheese? I'll take the cheese off and eat that. <laughs> broccoli mac and cheese? Oof. You can still taste the broccoli. I've had cauliflower, and if I hold my nose, I can stand it at least. I feel like I'm not making friends right now. You're so picky. I am. I know. My taste buds are too strong. Exactly, 2D. Keep it away from me. Alright, we're going to do a lot of gifting today. These are my light gifts for everyone, except for some people. Alright, we're gonna go in some kind of order here. We thought about buying stuff for the traveling cart. I don't think we're actually gonna end up doing that. But we'll bring this for the wizard. Okay, this is getting annoying. This is just gonna have to do that, I think. <laughs> How'd you get that hat? From mystery boxes. So these are my light gifts. These are my love gifts. Hmm. I'd like to visit everyone today if I can. Since I don't have my pickaxe, I might as well use today. Speaking of which, we need to, um... Wait, why are you in here? Oh, that's so helpful. The timing on that was incredible. Okay. Uh, and bat wings. Rip my bat wings, I guess. We're getting a lot of these, though. I think it's worth it. There we go. 
get all those batteries out. Hi, Shadow That Lives. Welcome in. All right, let's get our gifting stuff done. Dude, how is it already this late? Okay. Well, here's our love gifts. Honestly, we've got so many of these. I should gift anyone who likes fruit. Oh, gosh darn it. As well. I'm gonna make a list as well. Fruit likers. Because it's not worth wasting my parsnips on them if they like fruit. Because I've got a lot of hot peppers. Batteries are for? Batteries are for a lot of things in the game. Uh, some of the best crafting recipes in the game have batteries. This music is way too intense for what we're doing right now. I thought I took it off. Oh well. Gotta roast veggies in the oven. I've tried all the ways. Grimace. I swear I have. I wouldn't just be lying to you. I promise. <laughs> Alright. Let's see our fruit lovers. Elliot is a fruit lover. Harvey's a fruit lover, but I have a love gift for him, so I don't need to worry about that. Liker, I should say. A fruit liker. Shane loves hot pepper, so I don't have to worry about that. Leah loves fruit, but I'll have salads for Leah. I... Everything I see on Insta, I assume is false. Tyco, by default. <laughs> or TikTok. Or Reddit, for that matter. Demetrius? Do we even really need to give Demetrius? I cannot believe I missed his birthday. Tomorrow's the dwarf's birthday. Someone yell at me when it's tomorrow. I'm going to write Demetrius on here, I guess. Because I missed his birthday. We don't have uh, great gifts yet. I have to go buy ice cream, but I can't do that today or tomorrow. Man, Jazz, why don't you at least like fruit? You gotta like something, girl. Jody likes fruit. Kent likes fruit. I don't have to worry about that one. Lewis is a hot pepper lover, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, Linus likes fruit. What batteries are? Oh, are you asking what batteries were? 2D? I can help you with that. Sorry. I'm distracted. They're basically... Um, you use them for... Crystallariums is the number one thing I want to use them for. But then also Iridium Sprinklers. Um, those are the two best things. And then there's like seven other crafting recipes that use them. But I don't I don't need a lot of those though. Basically I'm going to get as many Crystallariums as I can. Hi Brittany, welcome in. Uh, we're giving Pam parsnips, so I don't need to worry about that. Marnie will get a... The other thing. We'll save our eggs for liked love gifts. Pierre! It's okay. Pierre gets a parsnip. He'll be fine. Um, We've got peaches for Robin, so we don't have to worry about Robin. Okay. That's not that many people. Everyone else is getting... Your gifts suck, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the light gift situation. Alright. Now we've gone through everyone. Let's go ahead and get things together here. Whoops, I forgot to grab this. So we're gonna give out parsnips like candy. Uh, Pam, we've got Maru. It's a strawberry. 
Demetrius also gets a strawberry. Until I can buy, um... I don't have enough strawberries for both of them. Yeah, Demetrius is gonna get light gifts until I can buy ice cream. There's so much to think about. Lewis, we're good. Emily. Emily, Dwarf, Clint. Love gifts. Gus gets a parsnip. Leah gets salad. I'm gonna have to buy a few. Vincent gets a snail or grape. How many grapes do we have? Quite a few. We'll, we'll switch to grapes now. Oh, we only need the one. That's right. <laughs> they also count as a fruit. Yeah, I could give them mayo. It's just easier to give parsnips. Alright. Pierre, we've got. Demetrius, we've got. Alex. Uh, Alex gets vegetables. Robin gets a peach. Haley gets a sunflower. George gets a leek. Leek. Peach. Let's grab these while we're here. Sunflowers. We don't have a ton of sunflowers, do we? Well, we'll give them to Haley while we can. Jody, we have Penny. Penny gets a poppy. Reduce the amount of space in there, please. Harvey gets a coffee, which we do have. Sam, I think we decided Sam gets um, pizza, which we're going to have to go buy. He doesn't like vegetables. I can afford a few pizzas. Marnie gets a parsnip. Sebi gets a frozen tear. Clint we have, Abby we have, Linus gets a parsnip, or fruit? No, Linus gets the, the hot pepper. Evelyn gets a tulip, Carolyn gets a spangle. We're out of spangles. Carolyn does not get a spangle. We're wasting a lot of time here. We gotta go quick. All right. Willie gets a parsnip. Wizard gift we have. Jazz gift. What the heck are we giving Jazz? Jazz hates everything. Hates fun, in fact. I guess we have to give daffodils to Jazz. I don't think there's anything else I can give her right now. Alright. I'm running low on those, but if it's just for Jazz, it'll be okay for now. Dwarf we have, Elliot we have. Okay, let's go. I do like his winter outfit. I think the reason you didn't care about him is because his hair was insane before. <laughs> Oh, Jazz is here. Jazz, you get your daffodil. Oh, we did need to buy something here. Don't talk to me then. Guys, what do we want to do to the cow? Okay, Taiko. You say so. Also, Shadow B, thank you for the follow. I think I missed it. Zermelo? Name an onion. I like Zermelo. Doesn't make fun of one of my friends. I don't know what that means, Robot Worm. Should I not do that? <laughs> Out of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Um. So Marnie just gets a parse note. The name of a German logician. Ooh, cool. Cows are one of my favorite animals. Okay, sure. Uh, we already looked through this. The only thing I was interested in was the yam. And it doesn't say many times, so... There's not really point to spending money on it. You're being toxic. No you, sapling. Hey, that's a forging level. Whole reason I'm doing this. The timing on that lightning was pretty crazy. Do you guys see any um, forge in here? There's one forge down there. What about me? See, Onion's about to throw down. You best be careful. I've heard that Onion throws a mean left hook. Expect it. Who is down there? Oh, today's the Trout Derby. That's what it is. We got we got our we got all trout derby derbyed out earlier, so we're not gonna bother with it today. Pam should be here, right? At least Willie is. Willie's not a veggie hater. Nope. Can anyone confirm to me that um Dang, Leah. Oh, we didn't get the salads. Uh, I can give her that. Yeah. I'd rather be a dino, but I'll take a cow. Can we quote that? I like that quote. <laughs> Tarantulas are underrated. I feel like being a transfer could be really cool. Where, where is Jody? Oh, she's right there. Okay. Um, Vincent gets the grape. Jody gets a hot pepper. Can anyone confirm that parsnips are love gifts? Like, are liked gifts universally? Because it doesn't feel like I'm getting the same responses. Ah, uh, the wiki's having trouble. Wiki's struggling. Sam gets pizza. I don't have pizza yet. Okay. I have to come back for you, Sam. Haley is here. Haley does not get veggies. Instead, Haley gets the sunflower. Universal like. Okay. Yeah, it does say that. Pam loves them, and only a few people dislike them. This is a lot clearer of a menu. I don't know why I didn't look there first. messed up oh Abby's here cool okay we're buying four salads oh pizza so expensive three pizzas yeah Gus gets a parsnip Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think that would have changed though, right? Seems odd that that would change. Oh, I didn't check the um, dish of the day. Imagine if it was plum pudding. Hash browns, okay. Alex is up here. Uh, Alex is not on this list. Uh, we're not going to get to Clint, are we? That's really unfortunate. I should have gone there first. Yeah, Clint's closed. Penny is here. Oh, that was new dialogue. I should have read that. Dang it. So smooth. This is the new file, yep. Alright, Sam go Sam gets a pizza. Let's do that before we forget. Where the heck is Sam? Oh he's up there now. Okay. You have expensive tastes, my friend. Alright, one second. I gotta I gotta take a call real quick. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <sighs> to commemorate the new spreadsheet, I'm doing some physics. Wait, what is some almost physics? <laughs> We do have two hearts with Elliot, right? We do not. Ah, uh, Elliot, I hate you. Ham! Basically physics. Understood, Captain. Pierre gets a parsnip, right? Yep. Okay, let's put all the gifts together here. On this row, actually. 
so we know we have what what we have left to do here. I think that's it. These are our remaining gifts. A lot of them are light gifts. That's fine. Uh, Carolyn is a fruit okayer. Abu we already knew was gone. Must resist urge to prove axioms. We really gotta remember to go to Harvey earlier. There's no way in that man's house. I, oh, Harvey, hello. Shane as well. I missed the bu the bush hit me. Sebastian too. Over here. Here. Is it possible to get perfection in one year? Oh yeah, for sure. I could do it. I just not in this run. I'm not I'm not trying to be full min max this run. It's definitely doable though. I'm just trying to kind of sort of casually get perfection in as few days as possible. Maybe that sounds a little oxymoronic, but yeah, kind of casually. Activating sweat mode, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'd like that way of the wind at some point. Demetrius and Robin and Maru! Don't eat the strawberry. Uh, Demetrius is a fruit enjoyer. Yeah, if I went Joja, like, I would be so much further along right now. I'd probably be done with the bundles. Or close to it, at least. There's so much less you have to worry about when you go Joja. Does anyone know what time Clint leaves his house? I think he already did. Would have been nice if he didn't. Yeah, especially with remixed bundles. There's just too many things I'm worried about right now with remixed. Oh, Linus will be up there. We don't have any coal. I don't think about Clint. I don't blame you. But I was asking anyone who happens to know. <laughs> it would be good to know that information right now. Hopefully Elliot will be in the bar tonight. I don't think he is though. Clint's here. No Elliot today. Oh, that's right. He does not leave his house at all in the rain. So who did we miss? Linus and Elliot. And that's it. I can still go get Linus too, but I think I'm going to focus on getting um, coal. We're going to make a gifting chest too. Jojo's for losers? I wouldn't say that. It's just a different way to play. And it's efficient if you're trying to go for minimum days, that's for sure. I don't think anyone could disagree with that. It's definitely efficient. K 
Kate! Oh my gosh! Welcome in, Kate! How is everyone doing today? Hello, hello, my name is The Algorithm. Better wrath than never. <laughs> what were you guys up to? Are you all playing Stardew? Welcome in, Matthew. Welcome in, Cade. Welcome in, Chumps. Welcome in, Mew Merchant. Hello, hello. We're doing a Stardew challenge to try and get perfection in as few days as possible right now. We're playing on the new 1.6 update, and I'm loving it so far. Oops, missed that. That goes in there. And uh, we're playing professionally. No, not really professionally. <laughs> we're trying to play very uh, carefully here. So you might see me pausing a lot. That's just to save time so I can think. Welcome in, welcome in. Pokemon today. I'm excited to get back into Stardew Valley. That's exciting. Which Pokemon game were you playing? That tea was hotter than I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm okay. Just some light burns. <laughs> Anyways, for those who, don't know, those who don't know me, I'm the algorithm. Uh, I usually do a challenge in Stardew where I'm collecting 999 of everything in the game that stacks. Uh, but I've been taking a break to explore Stardew Valley in its entirety of oh, the new crazy. update. Hi, Chomps. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Efficient, insanely efficient sprinkler setup. Yeah, those first sprinklers are pretty good if you know how to use them. If you guys, if you all don't know Kate, by the way, Kate Anderson is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. You absolutely should be following if you're not already doing so. I'm glad you feel that way. All right. Uh, we need to make a gifting chest. So, chest for all of the different things we can gift. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. Take one with me. Uh, oh, salads and pizza go in there. I did this backwards. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> no problem. Enjoy your lurk, Kate. Thanks so much again for the raid. Alright. Let's keep our field snacks. Do I just keep eating these? Where do these end up? I used to have more than this, I swear. This is going to line us in a minute. Oh, that's a new seed for us, actually. We haven't gotten any yet. Oof, oof, I want a refund. Oh, I'm sorry, it's some random teen. That's an unfortunate stack check there. Alright, let's get back into the swing of things. We have a lot of energy and we want to use it up today. So we're going to go chop trees on our way to Linus here. I think that's all we want to do. Man, almost all of our lightning rods got struck. That's really good. Mahogany? That's not new, no. That was added in 1.5, I believe. It's a hardwood tree. You usually don't access it until slightly later in the game, but it's definitely not new. What's the green star thing do? That's a new seed. It's called a mossy seed, and it produces a special kind of tree. Actually, it can produce two different kinds of trees. One is like a fiddlehead tree, and the other one is like just a, a weird looking tree. That doesn't do much, unfortunately. Alright, we got a forging level today. You never actually played 1.5. Ooh, wow. 1.5 added a lot. This update probably added the same amount, but it's like much more spread out in like every aspect of the game. Whereas 1.5 was very concentrated in, um, specifically in the island. Ginger Island. You started 1.5? Yeah, I think a lot of people did. Oh, we need to get to Linus. I don't think Linus sleeps. What a beast. He gets this parsnip. Oh man, Maru, maybe we didn't need those strawberries as much as I thought we did. Yeah, I think we need seven hearts with Pam for the stuffing recipe, which should be pretty soon. Uh, Lewis, we need, we're doing okay on 
It's these folk I'm worried about down here. Elliot specifically. It's two days in a row I can't gift Elliot here. And I don't even have love gifts for him. Uh, how many green rains of moss are in a 999 challenge? We're going to have to set up a moss farm separate. So it won't, it won't be completely green rain. There's no way we can get it with just green rain. I need a little bit of this. Just so I don't pass out on accident. Actually, passing out wouldn't be that bad. Money-wise, it would be. Okay, we are now looking for dust sprites. A moss farm. Like a farm to get moss. So it grows on trees. So if you just set up a tree farm, but you don't chop down the trees, you can get a lot of moss that way. I don't have a pickaxe. I forgot I didn't have a pickaxe. <laughs> Alright. Let's still get to these guys. We also need bat wings. Because we used almost all of them for the uh, the light lightning rods we made. There's a achievement for just going to the island now. So if you bring open a new farm and just go to the island, you'll get the achievement. An old farm, sorry, not a new farm. Well, let's get these going. Unfortunately, I didn't get quite enough coal. Oh. I also don't have enough gold. Can I get there? I can't. Stop running away from me! Come here. Good bat wings. Uh, how many towels of light does a glow ring give? A large, a small glow ring? I'm gonna guess two, Tycho. I don't actually know though. I definitely have not thought of that before. And we're out of <laughs> copper already. I just bought a bunch by click. By Clint. Oh, it's 120? Wait, what's 120? The mines? Yes. Yes, there is an achievement for perfection now, too. Oh, since we're going home, let's bring that with us. Uh, bring that as well. Anything else we should bring home with us? okay so far ah five factorial <laughs> i know that joke okay i just did not understand it uh i think they said meant radius tiles of radius i would guess two but i'm not sure it's five then huh that's pretty far actually it's much more than i thought it would be Obviously, because I didn't say that. <laughs> Alright, bring that back with us and let's go. Saw that in a Kahoot video? Ah. Makes sense. make some kegs now <laughs> i have not nothing to put in them yet though so i think we're gonna focus on making more uh tappers for now one second oh we're good okay hi leah welcome in i was thinking about the tea sets oh robot worm <laughs> i'm checking the card anyways and 5% is much more likely than the other things I'm checking the card for. And also, 
yes, it does save a lot of time. <laughs> Alright, uh, acorns, we want to plant those. I'll keep in my inventory so I remind myself to plant them tomorrow. And we sleep. Level 7 forging! Is that past my combat level now? That's surprising to me. We have tree fertilizer now too, which is kind of nice. Hi Jazz, welcome in. I'm loving the update so far. Oh, we got good luck again? Oh, we are going mining all day today. Oh, I'm so excited. Marnie! Cave carrot for Marnie. That's good luck though. I mean, that's good friendship for Marnie. Algae soup, pale broth, sashimi. Very nice. Let's get all these up before lightning strikes my farm. <laughs> Very good. Alright, this is my morning chores coffee here. Remember when I had <laughs> copper bars? That was a fun time. Now they're all gone. Oh, I forgot to put this trash can hand trash can hat away. That was supposed to be before I went to bed. <laughs> Why is a tomato called a vegetable when it's a fruit? Well, you see, Chunky, because it's called a fruit and not a vegetable, obviously. I don't know how you can be so dense about something like that. Dude. <laughs> Stupid chicken. I'm leaving that open. <laughs> it's not doing anything anyways. This could produce one row at some point. That'd be kind of nice. This is going to be a lot of money soon. Whoops. What is your chicken pair called? Um, Anne and Poopery. Where are you? Over there here. Have you fed the fr fish? Yes, I have. Yes, it is possible to make bait for legendary fish, but it does not give you more legendary fish. You can still only catch the one legendary fish. The bait just gives you a higher chance to catch it if it was possible to catch. It's not like magic bait. Uh, it was a suggestion from someone. I don't remember exactly what it means. Money, 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 money. Come on, where's my farming level? We've got to hit that at some point here. There it is, farming 10. We're going to be rich tomorrow. So much money, we can finish the vault finally. Hello, Artisan. Do, 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 do. Artisan alert. Ooh, ooh. Missed one. How'd we do? 300 more blueberries. I think we should just sell these raw. I think it's actually not worth it to put them through the dehydrator. And since they are not going to be artisan goods, I can sell them for tomorrow. Or I can bring them to Pierre and sell them now. thing is I don't really need to upgrade anything the only thing I'd want to do is upgrade my pick again but I need it today I don't want to upgrade anything else I'm wondering if I just need money today I could buy an upgrade today to the barn it's Monday, so Robin is home. 
This will give me enough to upgrade the barn. It is dwarf birthday. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for reminding me. We're gifting today, so I will not forget to gift dwarf today. We'll go sell those to Pierre. That's probably worth it in general. We can't make crystallariums yet. So the batteries are just going to sit there for a little bit. Until, well, vault will be done soon. And then we can get coconuts too for gifting. Oh, it's all coming together. All right, we're going to finish this stuff up down here real quick. I forgot something. Ignore me. I don't think we can plant these anymore. Yeah, we'll we'll save them up for fall now. I mean, for yeah, for fall now. Good. We got poppies. Ah, that's great. That's, uh, six more coffees. Or, I'm sorry, more than six more coffees. Twelve more coffees. Alright. Plug these in here. Alright, time to get our gifts ready to go. We're going up for another gifting run today. Ah, it was named for the German logician. That's right. Logicians, logicians and physicists are the same thing, right? Kinda, maybe. <laughs> Squinting is good. All right, uh, Marnie's getting a cave carrot, by the way. So let's make sure to do that. One cave carrot for Marnie. One daffodil for Jazz. Our other gifting stuff is over here. Leah, Sam. Light gifts. Maru Demetrius. Robin, Sebastian, there it is, um, what is dwarf like, love rather, does dwarf have like a gold quality love gift I can give him, no, literally none of these, <laughs> literally none of these, okay, <laughs> So I'll just give him what I can. Yeah. I was just hoping that the dwarf could get something that has quality because it would help. Logician is like um, a type of mathematician that's in a, the very specific field of like proofs. Yeah. I know, Onion. Dwarf is easy, because Dwarf is always in the exact same spot and always wants the same things. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I'm not worried about Dwarf getting up. But Dwarf is very low, because we didn't unlock him until recently. Or them until recently. Alright. Pam, we got. Louis, we got. Emily, we've got. Gus, we've got. Leo, we've got. Vincent gets a grape. Ah! Pierre we've got, Demetrius we've got, Alex we've got, Robin we've got, Haley gets a sunflower, George gets a leak, I'm running out of leaks again, did I ship a leak? It might be time to stop giving George leaks, we're basically out, dang it, it doesn't look like we've shipped a leak. It would be somewhere around here. So let's get that leak shipped. We need to save one for cooking. 
one these other ones can go to George. I think it makes him hate it more, Tycho. I don't think so though. I think it just counts as the base level hate. Uh, tulip, sunflower, poppy. Tulip, sunflower, poppy. Penny good, Harvey good, Jody good, Sam. We got pizza. Sebastian good, Clint good. Abigail. Good. Marnie good, Linus good, Evelyn got the tulip. Carolyn gets a light gift because I don't have any more spangles. Wizard. Uh, we're actually going to wait on the, the wizard. Because <laughs> he's uh, kind of early in the way. And we'll get him when we go to the cart on Friday. Elliot, we literally can't gift today. Jazz gets a daffodil. Because she's very picky. Oh, did we already get one for Jazz? Yeah, we did. And that just leaves Dwarf and Elliot. Yep. And now we need barn stuff. We're going to upgrade to the, the big barn. 450 wood, 200 stone. We'll have to chop on our way around here. Exactly 200 stone. Cool. We're out of stone. <laughs> That's pretty good flying room. Hey, Steven. Welcome in. Hi, Mel. All right. Yep. Chop, chop. Let's go. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Four twenty five. need to up our forging level. How about yourself? I'm doing really good. We're out of room already in our inventory. Cool. Let's solve this by giving some stuff away. Okay, that was the cave carrot cutscene, which is now gone. Perfect. There you go, Jazz. There you go, Marnie. There you go, Leah. See you later, Tycho. Bread. Let's do it like this. Grape. Uh, Jody gets a pepper. Sam gets a pizza. It's been good, Meeps. Welcome in. Forgot to come back. It happens. It happens. Welcome back, Meeps. I will not open that jar for you.
My sister calls me Clay, I'm not sure why. Let's go, hearts, go! Um, I'm gonna try and go for 120 days, but I don't think it's gonna happen. 120 is not the minimum. That was just my first uh, attempt, basically. I was like, I can probably do that. In retrospect, it's probably gonna be a little longer than that, though. Last time I attempted this, I wasted so many diamonds, so I'll be better on that front at least. Okay, uh, we switched off leaks, it looks like. I didn't get one at least. Oh no, I did. Evelyn gets a tulip. Alex gets a parsnip. I didn't check dish of the day. That was a mistake on my part. Uh, Carolyn gets... I didn't have spangles, right? So Carolyn just gets a parsnip. And before I forget... And since it's also the end of the month. Oh my gosh, no one saw that. Oh. There we go. Hi, Metal Master, welcome in. No cutscene. I accidentally minimized the screen, and uh, believe it or not, <laughs> OBS didn't like that. Where is Harvey today? You up here, Harvey? Yes, you are. Do you know when how to trigger the, um... Carolyn has to be in the room, probably. That's probably why it didn't trigger. For the, uh, cutscene for T-Saplings. Autumn's Bounty. Ugh. Not the one I'm looking for. I also need to go back to Pierre because I'm dumb. I forgot to sell the blueberry stuff. It needs to be sunny. Thank you. I wasn't sure what I was missing with the trigger. That's not enough money. Well, that was a mistake. Gold bars? Yeah, we gotta sell some gold bars. We don't have a lot of time to do it either. Twelve K is what we need. Barn upgrade, yes, twelve thousand. I missed some people, didn't I? Uh, we're gonna go to Robbins. We'll see Maru there. Pam will be at the bar tonight. much money you need just 12k i can sell a few gold bars it's fine yep i'm a blacksmith Missing. Oh my gosh. One clay. So worth it. You are a blacksmith. 
Okay, we still have gifts. Let's see. This whole row is our gifts still. Dwarf, Maru, Demetrius. We'll keep this here. Put our tea leaves in here for now. Just get our inventory a little clearer. That'll be more than enough, probably. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Uh, we're not gonna make it. Oh, it was so dumb of me to take my time on this. Do you know about the golden trash can? I do. Yeah, there's no way we're making that. Yeah, it's four now. We gotta sell to Pierre then. Which we have even less time for. Or we have very little time for that too, so let's figure out what we're gonna sell. Yeah, I can sell blueberries to Pierre. The problem is those blueberries are gonna get better if I don't sell them. So I'd rather sell something else if I can to Pierre. I only need like a thousand, so it doesn't even need to be that much. Oh, I need that back. That was really dumb of me to do that. Okay. I only need a thousand. I have a bunch of hops. <laughs> Pale Ale is pretty good though, from hops. I won't make it to Pierre now? Yeah, I will. Hi, Tori. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Can we get a shout out for Tori? Tori is an amazing streamer here on Twitch. Super fun. Absolutely hilarious. Hops sell for nothing. Okay. Well, I'm not selling hops, huh? We might just need to sell a few of these. This is unfortunate because, like, <laughs> they'll sell for more tomorrow. Can I make it? Uh, I might not even be able to make it to Robin's. Ready for my birthday party? Yes, that's awesome. Hold on. We gotta see what melon jelly is worth. A melon jelly. Seven seventy. I can sell two of these then. Let's go. Still enough. I looked at the artisan column, but it's still enough. Yeah, we're not making it to Robin's. Ugh. I almost want to restart the day because of that. <sighs> There's no way I can make it to Robin's by five. And she won't even be there tomorrow. That might be a day reset. Oh, I worked so hard on this day too. Mm. I can do a lot faster though today. It was unlucky. That was a skill issue. <laughs> Everything went wrong. I mean, where it went wrong was I didn't calculate how much the blueberries were going to sell for. Had I done that, we would have had enough money to just go straight to Robin's. So this time I'll bring gold bars. Yeah, I'm just restarting. This time I'll bring gold, gold bars and sell some extra ones to Clint. This time I know exactly what I'm doing though. Tomorrow is sunny, right? Yes. So it'll go a lot better. Okay, cave carrot for Marnie. Let's not forget about that. Let's also not forget that I have seven farm warp totems. 
Fire Robin gift. 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 Thank you for the follow. Uh, Kuokola? Hope I'm saying that right. Welcome in. Ah, that's what happened to all my wood. That's fine. I want to do the same thing again. Thank you for the follow as well, Buckley. Hope you're doing great today. Dang it, I forgot to grab these and these. There it is. <laughs> My brain would refuse to see those things. Drop some stuff off here. Oh. Sorry, these were gifts. I accidentally put them away. Mushrooms. We have to get the mushroom. Eh. They were kind of crappy mushrooms today. <laughs> I went to grab them this morning, but it was only, um... They were only commons. Six common mushrooms. Alright, we hit farming ten off of this. It wasn't even close, so we'll definitely get it again. There it is. Inventory is okay. stuff. Pick it up. Okay, nothing to pick up here. Have fun at D&D. Sounds awesome.
Wait, I thought I... That must have been yesterday. Dang. drop everything that we can off here. HR is against people? Yeah, that's true. Need that. I feel like it took longer to do this morning than it did last time. We got one poppy, one tulip, one sunflower. Put that away. Alright, this is my gift line here. Oops, I thought I put all those away. Valdana, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. We're trying to get perfection in as few days as possible. We have already we're midway through summer and we're already doing pretty well on gifting here. At the same time, we're trying to maintain a large income. I'm just gonna sell all these gold bars. We'll get more. So sales go down here. Batteries go away here. This is Demetrius and Maru. All right. Pam we've got, Lewis we've got, Maru we've got, Emily, ah, yes. We need two of these and one of these for gifting as well. Leo we have, Vincent we need a grape for. We also need this for George. Grape for Vincent. Grab this, why not? Pierre is getting, yeah, good, good, good. Sunflower, pepper, leek, poppy, coffee, parsnip. I'm oh, actually pepper again. Pepper? No, parsnip. Ah, we need a frozen tear. Should be fine here. Topaz, that's what it was. Ah, Abigail needs um, an amethyst. Yep, we're doing pretty good so far. We cannot gift Elliot today because he sucks. <sighs> Marnie, oh, Marnie needs a cave carrot. Unrelated. Jazz needs this. Actually, might as well take these. Jazz needs this. Marnie needs this. Marnie also gets the uh, parsnip. Linus parsnip. Evelyn, we got the tulip. Carolyn parsnip. Yeah. Wizard not today. Willie gets a parsnip as well, I think. Yeah. Jazz gets the daffodil. Dwarf's birthday, we have him in aquamarine. And Elliot, we cannot talk to today because he likes his house a lot. more wood. Nicely done. That's awesome that you got those auto fetters. Alright, let's go. Do we get enough wood? We're a little short, but we can pick it up along the way here. Dude, pick it up!
Jazz is over here. Jazz gets her daffodil. Marnie gets her parsnip. Now can ignore my animals mostly. I know, right? Isn't that such a great feeling? Ignoring animals. Don't need anything here yet. Is it fun to play this way? Yeah, I played Stardew as a chill game before. And then I have over 3,500 hours in this game. So, don't worry. I've, I've had my chill experiences. My other challenge I do is a lot more chill than this. This is kind of more of a challenge, right? I'm actually trying to get it as done as quickly as possible. All right. Oh, they're all nice and close to each other. That's good. Oh no, Jody gets that. That's for Sam. And sorry, no, that's for Vincent. Sam gets a pizza. Doing great. Thanks, Blink. Hey, Valdana. Thank you so much for the follow. You got your jar, Haley. Yeah. It was a little upsetting because I had to reset today. But um, we're back on track here. I will definitely won't mess it up this time. Emily gets... this one here yeah it also like, yeah it really digs into my I've got like two sides to me I really like like chill relaxing stuff and I also really like being like logical and analytical and figuring stuff out like that so Stardew is a great game to like mix those two things together sometimes I just play to chill out and sometimes I play to like be very efficient and try and like maximize things Just depends on my mood. And right now I am in a maximizing mood. Also, I'm learning the new update and everything. You have two fairy level five fairy boxes already? Aren't those like super rare? Okay, um, I'm not buying anything today, right? No, because I need the money. I love that change too, Sunset. First of all, it helps me a bunch, but second of all, I just think it's a cool change. Okay, I should be kind of careful here. I'm kind of pushing my luck. Just focus on the things that we can do. Start is my stressful calculation game. Okay. When you talk to them when they're busy, they give a little less friendship, but it's still worth it. Because I'm there already to gift them. Alright, first thing we do. We're a little later than we were last time. Interesting. Carolyn. Carolyn still gets veggies. Okay, and now we run on over to Clint's. 
We already got Lewis. I don't know where Penny's at today. Oh, isn't she hide under here? We actually do have the time. We can come in here first. Yep, there's Penny. There we go. All right. Well, let's get all of our gifts in the same spot again. So we know we have left a gift here. So we picked up a bunch of crap. <laughs> uh... Mario Demetrius, Robin, Dwarf. Anyone else I miss? Pam. I didn't see Pam at all today. She'll be at the bar tonight, though. I wonder where Pam hangs out during the day. Oh, Shane will be at the bar tonight, too. Linus will see upstate. Uh, I don't know about Willie. We'll figure it out. Do not mess up this gift. We need like two more trees chopped here. Seem like pretty good ones. Four fifty, yep, we're good. to do this soon but this is our next one here because we really need the um uh, we really need the goat cheese yes yeah, sunset it's a really good way to get your forging level up because one of the primary ways that you can um get your forging level up is by chopping trees it's one of the most consistent things you can do, because most other things you have to wait for, like forge to grow and things like that. Trees you still have to wait for, but there's usually a lot of them. Maru, what a line. Alright, uh, that just leaves Pam and Willie. Pam, Shane, Linus, Willie, Jazz? Wait, was Jazz on that list? I definitely gifted Jazz this morning, didn't I? Okay, no, I just saw Wizard. Get by, please. It's a bad spot for that. Dang it, he's all the way up there. Eh, it's not worth it. We'll see him again later. Hey, Atomic Spoonie. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. So, uh, tonight we have to stop by the bar. Okay, let's drop all of this stuff off that we don't need right away. And I think we're just going to focus hard on gold today. Oh, the pick upgrade is insane. That's so much better. <laughs> Got to summer 14 in your 1.6 run? That's awesome, Spoonie. I forgot how much faster we can mine gold with this pick.
Whoops. Well, while I'm here, win in Rome, kill death sprites. not worth the slimes they take too long and they're not a lot of combat experience man i need some coal pretty badly here we got enough to fill this up it looks like not even but we can do what we have Night Owl, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. We are focused up here on uh, taking advantage of this good luck day. In fact, we should really be taking advantage of this. This is small stuff. We gotta get to 120 pretty soon, actually. So let's, let's use this luck day. This might be our last good one here to get to at least 115. It's been a long time since we had a good luck day and we got like three in a row, two of which we didn't have our pickaxe for. quick here, aren't we? There we go. Squid ink. Nope. Everything but the squid ink. He literally dropped two bombs. He didn't drop his squid ink. Thank you for the 10 stream streak, Aileem. Uh-oh. There's a special slime there. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful here. I just have a feeling this guy's gonna kill me specifically, so. Um, food? Not much. What weapon are you using? It's, uh, it's the wooden hammer. It's not great, but I haven't found anything better yet. This guy has the chance to drop something better. Oh, no. I gotta eat. slimes. They never telegraph their attacks fully. Yes! Oh. Minus one speed? Don't care. Oh my gosh. It's literally double damage. Oh, it's so good. Bywood mallet. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right, let's keep going here. <gasps> he actually hit me? I have to be careful here. Uh, 
Oh, I should have brought better food here. This is not great, honestly. I don't want to eat these parsnips because they're my gifts. This will allow me to take a crit hit. Oh my gosh. Screw these bats, man. I didn't get the crates, but I have a Kujul, so I'll be okay for a while. Alright, we're taking too much damage here. That will hold me for a while, at least. Let's drop off our gifts. It's getting late. I only got the five floors. With the Kujal, I might be able to get a lot deeper. No, we gotta go, actually. Yeah, saloon gifts. They're not leaving the saloon until exactly at midnight, though. Yeah, robot, that's fair to do. I actually needed bat wings, so my thought process was, well, I need bat wings anyways. <laughs> I might as well stay. Let's hold on to these here. Unfortunately, I, like, gave myself so much energy. I can chop trees until midnight, though. That'll be fine. All right, let's bring as much of the stuff home as I can here. Parsnips come with us. Uh, what were the gifts I was going to give? Hot pepper, parsnip. That was it, yeah. Okay, we're good on that. I'm actually going to come back here, it looks like. Gold, coal, stay. Ruby comes with. This is going to let me make more dehydrators. Do I want to make more dehydrators? I might need it. Night Owl, thank you so much for the follow. I'm going to bring some dehydrators stuff back. But eh, if I need to, I know where they are. They'll be fine here. Come on. Oh, this bomb can stay here. I think I should follow. I'll go. Ronoge. Did you put a, a thumbs up on my Rose Row? <laughs> I love that. Thank you for that. I'm coming here right now. I'm going to go back to the mines to uh, gift Linus as well. Oh, Willie's here. Oh, perfect. I'm holding what he gets. Strangely enough, um... Did Shane already leave? Uh-oh, we missed a Shane gift today. I didn't know Shane left that early. Is he already on the way home still? No, nah, he's probably home. I should check just to make sure. It's possible I could reach him. Today is a rainy day in summer. It's a Monday. Rainy day in summer, Monday. Oh, he did just leave. It's possible I could make it. Hey! Got it. Yeah, star drop tea stacks. We did our entire first half of the stream today. We, uh, we went through all the new stacks. I'm going to release a video on it, hopefully in the next few days. Oh, 
don't have a ton of time. Needless to say, there's a lot of hard stacks. There's also a lot of really fun stacks. We're gonna have a good time. No matter what happens, we're gonna have a good time. Oh my god, we made it. No way! <laughs> I didn't actually expect to make that. Oh, thank you so much, Val. How are you finding time for D&D? Um, just really good scheduling is kind of the only way to do it. I basically just, like, make sure I leave one day, like, four hours, or five hours, really, uh, one day a week open. I just make sure there's time for that. Yeah, having children is a, a kind of a big issue. Usually, when I'm playing with people that have children, we're only playing like once a month. And we just make sure to set a time, like a month ahead of time, to play. We play a little longer, and that way, like, people can get it. Yeah, I can't believe I actually made it back. That was a good day. That was worth resetting for. I'm glad we did. And our luck is horrifyingly bad. Yay! <laughs> I guess we're chopping today. We can make a ton of money today, though. There's a few things that need to get done as well. <laughs> Rest in peace, all of that. Uh, <laughs> all of those um, far fences, though. Goodbye, fences. It was nice knowing you. Uh, the bean te petra thing? Oh, yeah, go for it, Robot Worm. I'm actually super curious. We can finally uh, gift Elliot today, by the way. Eggplant Parmesan. We got stuffing. Yes. Okay, that's one of the things we need for the bundle. I will check with Gus today for the plum pudding. It might be worth it to buy a telephone, just so I don't have to go to Gus's every day to check. There are some very strange things in those books. I didn't read the, um, I read Ender's Shadow, but nothing after that on that side of things. I read the, um, Ender series through, uh, uh, well, I haven't read Children of the Mind yet. I think I still will. I think we talked about this already. Playing D&D with your children is a good idea once they're old enough to coherently form thoughts. But most of my friends with children right now, they are um, they are still babies. Because <laughs> I'm of the age where my friends are of the age of just having young children right now. Hey, Gaguana, welcome back. All right. We got lots of batteries, which is good. Ah, I'm not doing super well. What's my controls here? All right, we can dump most of this stuff. These two things are... Not that. Good. Is that what I said, some random teen? I don't think that's what I said. I meant to say that they have children who are babies. I might have just skipped a word there. <gasps> Look what it is! So this one goes in the seed maker, which, where's my seed maker? We haven't made one yet. Wood, coal, gold bar. Why is it so much coal? Okay, we'll hold on to it for now. It doesn't need to go away yet. Let's put it in here so we don't forget about it. So easy for things to get lost in that chest.
All right. This and... Man, I'd really like five more kegs. I should get that pale ale going, yeah. Let's get, let's get some more kegs going. Just five. Do I have any wood? Uh, I have enough for the kegs. Rip wood. <laughs> if you organize it, it wouldn't get lost. It's mostly organized. There's just a lot of stuff in the crops chest right now. All right, I'll be back in just a second, y'all. BRB, I'm going to run one quick ad while I'm gone as well. It was nice chatting with you too, Val. Bye. Hello, hello. I'm back. Ah. All right. So we are now going to start running these through here. Uh, first, actually. That's not where I wanted that to go. We're going to finish the coffee beans as much as we can first. We'll get one more harvest of coffee beans off, but not quite this moment. Oh, we're holding them in our inventory. This actually won't be enough. All right, and then we'll drop off these coffee beans up here. Grab these blueberries. Oh, pet cat, pet cat, must pet cat, here we go. Alright, these should let me finish Vault today, hopefully. Not guaranteed today, but hopefully today. There we go. And the nice thing is my gifting is now done. I don't have to worry about gifting at all this week now. Ooh, that's pretty. That depreciated. Okay, we got a bunch of summer spangles for Carolyn. Oh, I should have brought Robin's gift. Dang it. 999 cat? Wait, what's going on? Yeah, cat. I forgot I had to get Robin's gift here. Alright, a few more sunflowers for Haley as well. Lots of hot peppers. Inventory, got a little bit of room left.
Ooh, good ones. Inventory full. Do we see any more acorns? None that are easy to see, at least. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Drop all of this off. Drop all of this off. There we go. Two stones greater than a red. <laughs> Whoops. In some ways, it kind of is, actually. <laughs> you joke, but I don't know if that's a joke for me. Alright, we basically probably finish off of our finish off our bean seeds here where the heck did I just put them oh here there so probably be the last of them nope a little bit left got lots of coffee at least thanks sunset happy mayo drinking back at you okay who are my last giftables here? Uh, the only people I can still gift this week are Wizard and Elliot twice. So bring parsnips with us. In case I run into Elliot. That'll be fine. I thought your white mug was mayo. I guess it looks white in the light. It's very tan in real life, but this light is uh, pretty oppressive. So that will come with us for gifting Elliot. Robin is just right over here. And I messed up by not... Oh, I don't need to gift Robin. That's right. So what are we doing today, then? We're selling this, 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 and this to Pierre, right? I think we are. And it's horrible luck today, so maybe we just cut trees? Cutting trees is not great on horrible luck days, but it's better than mining on horrible luck days. Maybe we kill um, dust sprites for coal. I'm trying to think if I'm heading over to Piers anyways, there's something I should do on the way. I can stop by Clint's and just open all of these. Seems like a good way to get some of our artifacts done, at least. We might get some coal out of it, too. Get the bingo sheets. Oh, if I'm dropping off artifacts, there's actually some up here, I think. I think it's just the one, but one is something. Yeah, it's just this one, I think. Yeah, we've already turned in that one. Nothing else here is an artifact, yep. Oh, we also need to get pumpkin area ready. It's coming up on that. Maybe that'll be today's job. Since we have bad luck anyways, just get that whole area ready for pumpkins. Also see Watch out. Amethyst for Linus. Want it on your chain. Okay, that's enough. Time for vault.
That's basically exactly enough for Vault. <laughs> oh no, I'm 5,000 over. I forgot we already got the 10k bundle. Alright, Vault done. I had to wait until the flash here before I can leave. Bus repaired. Yep. Don't want a soft lock. <laughs> Alright, yeah. We can go over to Clint's now. Hilarious that you can reach that, by the way. Desert time. Tomorrow is desert time. We actually don't have the skull key yet. That's an important thing to remember here. Cool. <laughs> More quality. Actually, I don't even know what to do with quality. We currently have more mystery boxes than we started with. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Why wasn't it plum pudding, though? That's actually pretty good. I give that to Demetrius. <laughs> That's a, uh, a recipe we need for the freaking love that you can get mystery boxes from mystery boxes. Oh, please. Now I just want some farm warp totem. <laughs> oh, that's actually super good too. Dude, mystery box is OP today. You can get boxes in your boxes, yes. It's very funny. Okay, that's just straight up better than this, by the way. This is only a small. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay. That's cool. Alright, now we process the remaining geodes here. Start with these. We don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that every time. Yeah, it's really funny, Sunset. I don't think you're very unlikely to, like, get a lot. I got a lot there, actually. You got bread from yours? Yeah, they're not all winners. Ooh, marble. We actually need two marble. But we'll donate the first. If we get Tiger's Eye, that's a, uh, a gift, too. Oop, that's new. That's not. I can gift that to Sebastian, but I don't need to. I'll just sell it. I've got enough frozen tears. Can I? Karenite? Oh, it's Helvite. Alright. Crystallarium the marble? Ooh, I could Night Owl. The thing is, I'm definitely going to get another marble. <sighs> You're making a good point. <laughs> I'm relying a lot on... Uh, definitely there. Man, we already have a Thunder Egg, too? Yeah, I know I need two marble. I was just saying I'm definitely going to get another marble, but I don't know if I will. Dude, was that three stone in a row? Oh, no, it was the Earth Crystal first. Oh, that was not. Okay, I'll take ten gold. Thank you for that. That might actually make my Seed Maker here. CD. Oh yeah, we still don't have that one thing. Alright, that's a lot of sense. I'm actually... I'm gonna do that. We're gonna bring this home too, because it's about time. Drum block? Oh, we got the skeleton from the tail. Yeah. Yeah making a good point. Also, these are a love gift for Jazz, I think. Tomorrow's Willie's birthday. Uh, he just gets a diamond then, yeah. I can do that much. Inventory is going to be a little crowded here, but I think we'll be okay. This is Forge XP, which is critical for me. That's 
got to be my last book, right? I don't want to donate the ticket to the CC. Did you get your free one yet? Jazz is just pink cake. Jazz, why are you so annoying? Someone tell me. <laughs> Just plant her roses. She doesn't even like roses. Oh, fairy roses. She does like those. But I don't get those until halfway through fall is the problem. Those are my Demetrius gifts. I don't know what other roses there are. I just don't think of fairy roses as roses for whatever reason. I can see why that might be a flawed thinking at the moment. Okay, we got that back. Okay. Should be fine. Let's go. She was a fairy. He was a rose. Can I make it any more obvious? There we go. Okay, give me the gosh darn cloth game. Kitty, 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 please. There we go. Actually, these should go up here. Along with these. These can go in here. Look, my inventory almost looks clean. Better not mess up. I want at least two from you, bud. Linus's winter outfit, he's covered in leaves. Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> said see you later boy wasn't good enough for her she's got a pretty face but her head was up in space gonna bring it back down to earth all right uh now if we can get our cloth i think we're good on pantry yeah we need these three it's gonna take a minute to get like our cheese going but we should be able to I love the Richard scratch. <laughs> Hi, Andy. So, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we're living our best ever Levine life. <laughs> right, time to get the hops going. I'm pretty sure. Yep. It's only one! It's only one! Ugh, <sighs> that's okay. Get rid of this summer crap. And plant this along with a speed grow. There we go. One of these times. One of these times we're gonna get a cloth. It's like a 10% chance or something. Does anyone know offhandedly how likely this is? I might be like. Recycling machine. I might be doing the impossible here. Yeah, it is a 10% chance of giving me one cloth. I've put more than 10 in. I guarantee you that much. I love that so much. Alright. Okay, give me my sprinklers. 
Kitty, oh my goodness. Could you pick a worse place to stay? I regret having a child, Kitty. Alright, we actually need to run some fire quartz through, I guess. I didn't realize we were this low on refined quartz. Levine, our best lives. Kitty, thank you. All right, 10 more sprinklers. We've definitely got 10 of these, yeah. Okay. Put this in here for now, I guess. Don't be mean, Algo. <laughs> I love my cat. I also love my cat when they're not nearby. A little bit more sometimes under those circumstances. We need to plant all of our wheat by tomorrow. I'm just realizing this. So yeah, it's very important that we get our wheat down. Tomorrow is last day for wheat planting. That was in the right spot. Oh, I really hate to do this. And I really can't do this. <laughs> Oops. We have to we have to get our scythe, I forgot. Ah, come on. Just need one cloth game. Just need one cloth. That's it, just the one. Scythe, good. And since I yelled at our cat, we'll fill their water bowl. Okay, hold on. Getting interrupted is fine. I'll just carry this with me for a while. Good. Cat is love, cat is life. Yes, that's true. thing I hate to do is I need to just leave a small barrier here so we're gonna do this oh come on don't hit the I want the blue grass to expand but I gotta remove the stuff that's blocking it here Takes a long time. Okay. The reason I'm doing that is so that I can um, get hay from cutting all this. Funnily enough, like, this isn't even the place that I need to be right now. We need to clear out the area over here, because that's going to be blue grass. This is what needs to be cleared out. Hey, I will statue. Looks pretty, yeah. I really like the bluegrasses look. It was very jarring at first. I was like, this does not look real. But I think it just looks pretty. Oh, that's too much? Oh, I just upgraded. Well, that's kind of annoying. Oh, well. We need uh, six more of these. Wait, we don't even have that? Okay, cool. 
This isn't a great spot. Uh, actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's only one spot. That doesn't count. That's fine with me. Yeah. I'll take one. We've done worse than that. It's one here as well. Yeah. Fine with me. more can you buy blue grass not from pierre you can get it only at the very end of the game sunset even on this farm but it will respawn on this farm in the spring i think if you get rid of it all it increases friendship and it lasts longer than other grass So like two animals can eat it instead of one or something like that. Dude, where's all my rocks? Okay, over here. this tomorrow wheat flour no not wheat flour that would be pretty funny, though. Yeah, bluegrass spreads just like regular grass does. That's why I'm getting the other grass away from it on those other ones, so it'll actually spread. this space here we can also just take all this out yeah that's fine That's not right. Nope. <laughs> Don't need that there. That's pretty good. Okay, there's one thing I want to get done today. To make sure we're ready for tomorrow. could have done better we're gonna lose a little time tomorrow unfortunately but we need to uh go to the mines really quick and fire our fire quartz Ooh. oh four <gasps> 
It's a cloth! I didn't even notice! Okay. <laughs> Should have been much more excited about that. Uh, take all this. I'm probably going to need it. And our coal. We one here, just in case. This coffee was a waste. Why is that? I need to get to the mines and back, Sunset. I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. Willie's birthday tomorrow? Yeah. No problem. It is tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, okay. Unfortunately, we're not going to make Leo's. Tomorrow, also, the desert opens. Ugh. And... I wanted to plant these. I don't think I can, though. So, let's get the stuff in our inventory that we're definitely going to need for tomorrow. You... Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Keep that on us. I need plum pudding, too. I forgot to check if Gus had plum pudding today. Bus repair! Well, I know where Pam is now, at least. We probably go tomorrow. To meet and gift Sandy. And uh, just grab some stuff. We can't go into Skull Caverns yet, but I do want the cactus fruit and the uh, coconuts for gifting. Hey, that's the loom. We don't need it right now, but good to know. Just quick check here on this. 17, 22. Yeah, we're good on that. Okay. Auto grabber? No, thank you. I appreciate your consideration that I have that kind of money. I like that you think I have the money for that. Thank you for your consideration. Alright, that's probably the last of those tomatoes. I'll probably just leave them there anyways. All of this needs to get planted today. Is my inventory full? It's like literally not letting me pick these up. Okay. I guess I wasn't standing on it. I was standing near it. Gotta stay in this cloud. Okay, Summer Spangle's good here. here actually hey this all remained I was worried it was gonna disappear on me that's good Hollow Knight is based as hell yes that's right you know it Does ever anyone know how often coffee beans harvest, regrow? Is it three or four days? Or five days? Where did I hover that? We still need corn? Oh, the Spirit's Eve one needed corn, didn't it? On the bulletin board. Yeah, it needs 10 corn. We got that. Every two days. Oh, we can grow twice more then. That's awesome. 
All right, good deal. Oh, I forgot blueberries. Dang. Let's get our inventory nice and cleaned up here. This is buying all of our pumpkins, so we need to make sure this is still going. Nope, wrong one. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That'll be good gifting for a while. It's Kaolon! It's got the juice! Uh, we'll need that still. Sorry. I almost put it away for no reason. We actually don't need that right now. Bus isn't open yet. Clint isn't open yet. We do need to go to the mines, though. A big lump with knobs. True. Go to Willie's? For what? His birthday. Good point. We're doing this real quick here, is all. That will allow us to make as many sprinklers as we need to. Willie gets a diamond for his birthday, so we'll make sure to go do that. And Elliot should be around there, so I'll bring him a parsnip as well. I should figure out something else to do while I'm down there. Because it is a long trek. We can at most make 17 sprinklers. I don't think we'll need quite that many. We'll do the crap pot, so yeah, I've got that in my head, but. All right, there we go, we'll take those. All right, that should be fine. I didn't even check my luck today. Or the weather tomorrow. Might as well chat. While passing by. Vincent and Jazz are heading over to the museum as well. I still can't enter Elliot's house because he's a... Sorry, I was going to say something nice probably. I forgot what I was going to say though. fine anything I can sell here I could probably sell a lot of this but I'm not certain enough and that's not worth enough money to do it let me in Elliot let me in yeah that was helpful good one what kind of bait you got tuna bait no <laughs> not for me San, San Rico. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. Uh, min days, it's definitely more time consuming than min real time. That's kind of like the difference between a um, perfect, uh, a speed run and a. Yeah, the difference between doing like a speed run and a challenge run is I'm going to be pausing a lot and like thinking about what I'm doing, whereas a speed run, you just have to go, go, go. Honestly, speed run requires more. Speedrun requires more on the moment skill, and challenge running requires more like analytical thinking. For me, speedrunning is harder, but for other people, might find challenge running harder. Uh, let's go. I need a sweet pea. I'm not very good at speedrunning because I'm very bad at like my micro game, but I'm pretty decent at the macro game. This is for all gaming, not just not just Stardew. Uh, okay, we got a lot of sweet, sweet peas, so let's bring this to Sandy. It's been like 10 days to be stream. Yeah, exactly. It definitely takes a lot longer. 
macroing, I agree. <laughs> Still learning lots from you. I'm not, like, terrible at speedrunning. It's just, like, I make a lot of little mistakes that add up a lot when I'm trying to, like, do something fast. That really hurts speedrunning. Hi, Sandy. I have a friend from town named Emily. Huh. So you can buy the uh, mannequins here for 12k each. I will be buying these shortly, but not yet. I'll need these, so I think I'm going to buy them now. This saves me a trip later. I don't think I'll need that many, but just in case. Yeah, Sandy's super nice. You poor bird thing. Okay. Give me something good? No. Those artifacts are really annoying. I'd like to get them here. A few extra coconuts for our good friend Linus, please. Linus and... Yeah, Linus will be, get the coconuts for a while. And then eventually Haley will get them. Okay, goody. Let's head out. Sandy's so pretty, yeah. Sandy marriage win. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. I'm sure there's a good mod for it, though. You can marry Emily. That is true. That's like marrying Sandy if you close your eyes and don't think about it too much. All right, chill. We might need a little bit of chill here. Uh huh. There we go. Can't I just marry everyone? There's a mod for that. I know that much at least. <laughs> All right, we finally got some good gifts for uh. Sam, that doesn't make us use pizza. And Linus. Somebody say chill. Uh-oh. Muffin's not here. You don't have to do this. Alright, let's go. Why did I walk all the way over here? Who knows? I forgot some stuff. Do this. I have to water these today too, unfortunately. No way around it. This has to be done today because it's the last day of uh, wheat. Oh, speaking of which, that's not enough wheat, is it? We have to go to Piers. It's Wednesday, we can't go to Piers. Gosh darn it. Oh, no, it's fine. Because they'll grow into next season, so I can buy them tomorrow. So today isn't the last day. That's right, because they grow overnight on the uh, season change. Because it's wheat, the best crop in the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Wow, it's like I planned it. There we go. We can also just seed maker the wheat we have. It's not like I'm gonna sell it. It's pretty cheap though. about wheat flour yes 
What about wheat flour? I'm not making a mill. It's just not worth it to make a mill. I don't care how inexpensive it is. There's no universe where it's worth it. The best thing is it means I don't have to water these tonight. Okay, I should eat something. Oh, I have no food except this corn. Well, it's corn. It's got the juice. Actually, I shouldn't bother doing any more because I can't fill it all out anyways. Bread or be bread? Onion, you should stop saying that. <laughs> yes, that's amazing, isn't it? Fairly hard simmer. I actually just did that earlier. We actually got five mystery boxes from only nine, so we ended up opening 14 in total. This actually might be enough. Hold on. I didn't expect that. Okay, it's not enough, but it's surprisingly close. It's like a lot more than I thought it would be. Oh, I didn't do these. <laughs> that would be why it's a lot more than I thought it would be. There we go. We can see again. What's in the box? Two more boxes! It's very fun, yeah. Wait, didn't I go... I must have gone yesterday? I, I didn't think I did. I thought I went two days ago. Alright. Cool, I'll take coal. I wish I could break these, but I can't yet. Rip daily mushrooms. I know, it's so annoying. Cause it used to be like, oh, I just, it's a chore I do every day. And now instead it's like, not that. <laughs> now I have to remember to go every other day and then I just forget. <laughs> now I just forget. You do get a free dehydrator, which is really nice. All right, this will be the last of the corn that I eat. Does Elliot even exist? Just do it on even odd days? Uh, odd. Okay. That'll be easier to remember. Thank you. That's a good idea. Alright. We might do a CC drop off here. We need a weed. Hold on. Yeah, let's go do a CC drop-off. There's a lot of things that I need to make sure get into the CC, and I don't want to forget. You, you, you. That's it for that. Man, I'd really like this sturgeon pond to start producing. <sighs> yeah, fairly odd summer it is kind of odd how it's changed over the years. Yeah, you're right. It used to be like you could harvest them at noon every day and then it was fixed, I thought. So then it was just they were ready at the beginning of the day each day. And now it's been refixed. To, they're just at the beginning of the day every other day. We still haven't gotten a squid ink from the mines either. One of these days. Let's go do a drop off. What's Elliot's schedule today? Does anyone know? Does anyone care? Summer, Wednesday, sunny. 24th. Okay. Uh, returns home for the night from the forest. We can get that. We can intercept that. 
He's only getting a parsnip anyways. Maybe I should start giving him crab cakes. Yeah. It is a love gift for him, right? Yeah, we have the crab cakes. We might as well just give it to him. As soon as we can get him over two hearts, it's, like, so much easier. I don't think about Elliot. Sunset, isn't that, like, the second thing you've said about people today? Oh! <gasps> I forgot about the quest we had yesterday. Linus gets an amethyst. Okay, Linus is easy. Woo! We have another quest here. Refine quartz for Emily. I can do tomorrow? Oh no, she'll be in the bar tonight. I can do tonight. Hi, idiot. Are you two hearts yet? No, it's still one! Still one! I literally just used all my refined quartz, by the way. <laughs> I can't even give one to Emily. Oh, CC drop off. Hi, idiot. I meant what I said. Okay, this is our hold up right now. Well, as long as we can get the uh, pantry done in a reasonable time. Ten milk. Soon. Alright, what's left? Did I, that was everything that I brought, wasn't it? Oh no, cloth. Hmm. Artisan. Artisan. Okay, now we just need the cheeses. And, uh, oh, we should have bought a goat. We'll have to buy a goat tomorrow. We gotta get our goat going. New bundles. Yeah, they're, um, remixed only. So it's not like, uh... It's not like every time you're gonna have those bundles. But if you choose remix, there's a few new options. And some of them are really fun. They're harder, too. Which is kind of part of the point of remixed, I think. I think they're supposed to be a little harder. We're not getting reasonable uh, output from this, are we? It's fine. Amethyst refined quartz. Oh, I do have refined quartz. Oh, that's right. The the other thing was the yeah. We're good. Okay, amethyst refined quartz. Emily Linus. I guess this can stay on me. Uh, yeah, let's go do that first. We can take care of other stuff now. Remix, is that a new mode? Uh, that was in 1.5 as well. It's just an option to change up the bundles. Sticky bundle was from 1.5 as well. But it's kind of fun. I think there's three new bundles? Maybe four. I don't, I don't know if I've seen all of them. In this, uh, update. Remix bundles, I should say. So they're not required. Just if you choose remix bundles... Emily's almost to eight hearts already, which is amazing. All right, Linus, coming for you, Buckaroo. Oh wait, Tom Kasoop. That is actually a love gift for someone, isn't it? Is it anyone that's like really hard to get gifts for? Oh, it's Elliot. Is he worth five hundred per gift? Uh, oh, Penny loves it too? I got enough for Penny. Here's the thing. I think even with as far behind as Elliot is, we can still get him to eight hearts before winter. Gigwana, please. You're probably right. But don't say it like that. Oh, you said duck. Oh, okay. They're all canonically by, right? Here's the thing. I don't think I need it. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Please. <laughs> Hello. I'll go. Am 
Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. Alright, um... Maybe we can spend the rest of the night getting coal. Alright, tomorrow we have to go to Marnie's for sure. When have I said that? <laughs> I, mean, I have zero doubts that you said that. I can't tell you when it happened, but I guarantee it. Okay, we, um... We're gonna need to buy wheat tomorrow, too. Alright, let's make a list for tomorrow. Buy goat. Buy wheat. Not flour. I wrote wheat wheat. Literally the word wheat and then the word wheat after that. Okay, buy wheat. Anything else we can do tomorrow? We gotta turn in our prize ticket. I don't think that'll help all that much. Hey, Roms, welcome in. Yeah, I don't think that'll help all that much. <laughs> buy goat? Yes, buy goat. <laughs> Ugh. I don't care what the goat's into. I just want it to produce milk. <laughs> wheat, wheat. <laughs> Wait, wait. Oh, I need to bring this to Linus. That's right. Let's go do that before I forget. Make marble, please. Goat as an acronym. We're getting a little complicated here. I was making an offhanded joke. We don't need to read into it this much, probably. Did you sell that fresh blueberry the other day? No, Linus, I don't want to. Alright, we're good. Friendship is going well, it looks like. That was a big boost for Linus, probably. There's Linus. Four hearts. Ugh. We'll get there. Sandy's brand new. All right, we have a few minutes. Let's just um, kill some. Hopefully, kill some dust sprites. Coal is good. Elliot's still at one heart. I know, Tycho. He's kind of mean, you know? Just accept my love, dang it. Well, we won't be marrying him, so. Actually, we should probably marry Emily because we're kind of close. It's a good idea to get married as soon as possible for the star drop. We got nine coal from that floor. That's actually insane. I want a dust sprite as a pet. I do too. Emily gives free drip. Not for a while. <laughs> I've already married Maru. I want to try something different. So it's either going to be Abby or Emily, I think. Or Haley. Maybe Haley. That would make Chunky happy at least. There's one thing I care about, it's making Chunky happy. Yar. <laughs> like how you just have happy pirate and sad pirate on speed dial, Chunky. Yeah, I'm thinking Abby, honestly. <laughs> Whoop, that's not where I wanted to go. How's my Abbey Hearts right now? Uh, they're, they're not great. 
Maybe we do do Emily because she's already like maxed almost. Same with Maru. Abby's birthday is coming up though. That might be a good chance to uh... Oh good, we have all of that stuff that we didn't need. that away bring that there put this away I close that door go to sleep I can be mean to chunky <laughs> I already married Maru I wanted just to marry someone different so I've been through a lot of the bachelors you know red plates chowda a free baked fish and hot pepper for George. Good quest for George. We'll save that for when we're actually gifting George, though. It's not very useful right now. I mean, we have to go to Lewis's today. That's right by George. Mary Elliot. Ugh, I have standards. Sorry. Not that sorry, though. Uh, we will hold on to these. What's ready too? Pick it up. I marry Abby on every farm and I don't care. I wasn't ready. They look very ready, but they're not ready yet. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Why are some of these melons ready, but not all of them? Oh, they're all, they're all ready. <laughs> That's good. I'm just blind as a bat by then. Wait, can these get planted over here? I didn't even try. Where's my acorns? Three? Oh, that's so nice. Why did I not notice that? All right, looking, 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 looking. Man, it's hard to see these things. Okay. Hi, Ava. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, Ava. Ava, I got something for you. We recorded a video earlier. Oh no, my inventory. Why did I think this was a good idea? <laughs> oh right um hmm in retrospect this was really dumb of me we all learn stuff though i'll come back what is it we recorded a video about the new stacks for 1.6. What they are. Mostly that. Yeah, pretty much all that, actually. Okay, that's all of it, actually. Perfect. Uh, and then we're gonna bring the hops in my inventory Drop off of these blueberries put these blueberries in here um, How much is 
How much is a goat? <laughs> Surely it's not all that much, right? 4k. Okay, we can afford that. Got nothing right now. There you go. I'll get that to you uh, after... I was going to say after work. I guess it is kind of work today. <laughs> after stream today. Got a maple syrup. How many new things are in the Skull Caverns chests? Um, only two. Mystery boxes and trinkets. Mermaid confirmed for me. So not actually that bad. Definitely thought it was more than that. Okay. The water bowl. Why is there wood in here? <laughs> All right, and I believe we go grab. We grab all the stuff down here. We grab the mushrooms and we go to Marnie. We will not see Elliot on that pathing, but we are gonna go to Pierre afterwards to buy wheat seeds. Ugh, it's so complicated. Just in case we see Elliot, we'll grab our crab cake here. Hopefully get him up to two hearts. Oh, and let's drink this. Crab cake, yep. I personally do not like crab cakes, but I've heard a lot of people do, so. I won't yuck, no one's yum. If you're a fan of those horrible things, then you can be a fan of those horrible things. I drink mayo. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. We can go one more deep here. Nice and in the way, aren't we? Alright, let's go. Yuck, someone's yum. I definitely stole that. <laughs> like, that is not mine. <laughs> Uh, if anything, we should upgrade the coop now, too. I don't think I can afford it today. But eventually here. Fairly quickly here, actually, if we can. If I'm going to be passing here anyways, I probably should have... Uh... Come on, give me the trash. Probably should have grabbed the thing for George's knee. Oh, you're out of range. Nice. Good job, Lewis. Way to get out of the way like that. Oh, we're so close to the friendship book. We're still one ticket away. That apple sapling's actually huge, by the way. We can get that planted. I thought that was a cherry sapling. Uh, two large mouths from Willy. That's actually probably worth it. Large mouths are very easy to get. And Willy friendship is really nice to have. How much are these, by the way? 10k to get 100 of those. No thank ya. I need 100 of these just in case. What do you need the crab cake for? Uh, it's an Elliot love gift. It was just in case I saw him. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be at the bar tonight. Which we're gonna go to the bar right after anyways. Willie will be there too. I didn't even we beg um, um. okay Ava <laughs> whatever you say I think one of your keys is broken Eva. <laughs> I was wrestling my dog it actually looks like a sentence <laughs> how did that happen <laughs> Looks like one of the keys was busted or something. But other than that, it, it's like mostly coherent. I mean, I don't know what it means, but like, I'd buy it. 
Tell your dog they're cute, though. For me. One of the other things we could do here... Yeah, it doesn't actually matter if we do that or not. Anything else here? Oh, we found one. Yeah, I think we're good now. Alright, let's get the rest of these down. We don't have to make too many more here. Why is this not here? These are getting too uncomfortably close. That wasn't enough wheat seeds? That was unexpected. Okay, luckily it's not too many more. We can um, make up the difference with... Uh... I thought I overbought. <laughs> okay, we can make up the difference with... Um... What do you call that stupid thing? Seed maker, there we go, we made it. Dude, cat, how are you blocking that whole path with your fat... We'll stop. Will this grow here? It will grow here for sure. Okay. Ribozo doormat. Where are you getting all the money for those pumpkin seeds? Uh, these guys here. How much is a pumpkin seed? A hundred? I'll be fine. I have gold bars to sell too. You bought an Iridium Turtle. Nice. We've got five more days of blueberries into uh, uh, dry blueberries. Four more days? Four more days. <laughs> turtles. I like turtles too. Good. Uh, we need more seeds still, so let's make sure we get those. And what the heck was I gonna do? I could bring. I'll bring a freaking hot pepper for George. You lazy fool. And crab cakes for Elliot. Gift for Wizard will be tomorrow. Where are my chickens? They are way far from home. They'll be okay. Snapping Tinker Turtles can have my finger as a treat? They probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't do that, actually. Oh, I wonder where Maru is. Okay, here. How's this doing, by the way? Fishing will be fine. I'm worried about foraging a little bit. We should be okay, though. We got quite a few days of summer left still. And by quite a few, I mean this one and three more. But we can use those days pretty effectively, I think. Okay, so I'm going to Gus to check for the dish of the day to gift this to Elliot. I'm also going to go down to the beach to check my crab pots for stuff. I have an extra crab pot, don't I? Where did I put that crab pot? I definitely had one. <laughs> I got one from the CC, didn't I? Oh, it's probably in here. Yaha. Got it. Yeah, we should be good then. Oh. Large mouth basses. We have like no time for that actually. I'm pretty sure large mouth like stop soon.
catch, 7 p.m. All right, we should be fine. Let's shorten our trip significantly by uh, doing this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it, boom. Alright, let's go. Green bait, let's go! Found out there's a trash catalog with trash furniture. Oh, you found that? <laughs> I've heard that it is extremely hard to get that. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Ducky Bobber by itself might be the best thing. Honestly, you make some good points. Dang it. All right, we're good. We'll go talk to Willie now. Yeah, I've heard you get it in the trash can, but it's like, it's like rarer than the garbage hat by a lot. Hey, we need that. Oh, no, we don't. Thought we did. Certainly seems like something we would need. stuff in here George toe reveal oh yeah we'll go talk to George too octopus bait uh, actually pretty nice huh a new farm hi modest bird got the garbage hat in a week never yeah it's pretty random whether you can get it or not i got it i have it on this file too i got it a little later than a week though maybe it got made more common but i doubt it just uh it's the luck of the draw whether you get it or not all right let's go give this to elliot not to you fool oh george first money please get all that quest money that's how I'm gonna buy pumpkins that was just four pumpkins right there Elliot's not here yet <sighs> maybe I have too many hearts with Leah maybe he won't show up no fried egg I'll take one for the CC it'll save me an egg later it's pretty cheap honestly Someone posted on Reddit earlier about getting a living hat in like their first day. Oh, it was on Twitter. To, it was at CA. And CA responded to it. Like, yeah, that's kind of supposed to be rare. <laughs> that was funny. Man, I hate the chef's bundle. All my homies hate the chef's bundle. All right. We accomplished everything we wanted to do today, huh? Yeah, we're good. Oh, I guess I could have gone to Pierre and bought more weed, huh? <laughs> I 
I didn't have to though. Yeah, living has just luck based. Whoops, I just hit <laughs> Pam with a hammer. Sorry, Pam. We got Willie's birthday. There's no more birthdays left in summer that are relevant to us. Leo's is tomorrow, but we will not be seeing Leo tomorrow. <laughs> Short of divine intervention on the part of CA, we are not getting to Leo tomorrow. Alright. Let's put this in here. Throw this in here. We don't need it for a while. Honestly, we kind of don't need this either for a while. I would love to get the coop upgrade tomorrow. It's 9k is the problem. And Onion's right. We need to start thinking about our pumpkins. So let's take a look at our money situation. Yeah, Piano got that. Piano, what isn't mentioned a lot of the time is Piano did possibly over a thousand resets to get that. <laughs> it's like he got lucky. He also did <laughs> enough resets for it. And he still didn't do it perfectly, but he did it very well. Much better than I would have done in that kind of situation. Get this out of here. My entire fe fence is just so gone now. Oh, that's right. We only came up here to here. He made his own luck. No, no, no. I think he uh, just reset until it worked. Let's go see our friendly goat. Uh, we do also need to go buy a uh, milk pail. Still a baby. You're still a baby, too. We'll be okay on that. So the only thing now... It's all depends... It all depends on the plum pudding now. This is still not enough. We need two more. Everything else is good, except for the plum pudding. For our uh, CC here. This, well, it's got to rain in a reasonable time in fall as well. It's the only thing we need. The goat is named Raphael. Yeah, I didn't actually uh, <laughs> name it. <laughs> I should have asked what you all wanted, but I just didn't think it through. I just clicked without thinking. Alright, that's pretty good. We might need another dehydrator or two. We name it Onion because I'm the goat. Quick shout out to the goat of tennis. Maybe that was his actual accidentally intended then. Alright. Anything we need to do tonight? No, you're an axolotl. I guess we just go mining. I never even checked the luck today, because I had so much to do. Oh I did. I just forgot it. <laughs> okay, we can drop this off. We don't need that on us. I almost want to eat this. Um, okay. Let's do some blueberry math really quick here. I didn't actually check what one of these sold for. I'm going to sell it tonight and we're going to look just to make sure. Then I don't have to do math. Or I can do math tonight at least. I'm getting full price for them so I might as well. We need about 200 pumpkins. But I think pumpkins only cost... Don't pumpkins only cost a thousand? Or a hundred, rather? Pumpkin seeds... A hundred gold. Yeah, that's fine. 
That's fine. I got this. Oh, I need 20,000. Oh. Wait, I'm off by a zero. <laughs> 100 times 200. Yeah. I need 20K. Hmm. That might be a bit of a predicament. Well, when in doubt, buy gold. <laughs> So much coal on this floor. Actually insane how much coal. I got 15 coal on just this floor. Oh my gosh. Hey Tycho, you warned me. Alright, give me one second Tycho. I got it at the end of this day. Is this... Seems better than normal luck right now. Gimme. 25 coal. Love this game. Okay, nothing on this floor. Well, we have enough gold now. I mean, coal now that we just want gold. Ruby. back. Aileen, how are you doing? If you all don't know Aileen, Aileen is a Moonstone Island streamer and does some really cool speedruns in Moonstone Island, so if you're not following them, you absolutely should be. Convinced those bats don't actually exist. <laughs> Not a single one actually spawned on the screen there. Who doesn't love this game? Minecraft second for me as well, but it's, it's pretty close. They're very different games, right? I find them very hard to compare. <laughs> they have things in common, but I don't play Minecraft for the same reason I play Stardew. Let me off this floor! Ah! I've been so bad if that was a letter. 64 challenge win. Um, I've thought about it before, Sander. It's just... It's not nearly as fun. It's mostly just, like, copy farms off of YouTube. For most of the items. And then grind out, like, netherite and a few other tough ones. Minecraft also has significantly less items than Stardew has, which is something that really surprised me the first time I learned it. Like, in total, Minecraft probably has under 400 stackable items. And Stardew, with this update, has over 1,200. Alright, let's see here. Terraria doesn't go up to 999, Aileen. <laughs> Moonstone 100 challenge. I've started already, and I probably will play it through. Yeah, there was a new command to increase stack size. The max is 99, though. Not the much cooler option of making it 999. 
Gotta say, Bojang really dropped the ball on that one. I might consider it if the command let me go up to 999. Diamond, amazing, by the way. Yeah, I did start at Aileem. There's so many decorations. But, uh, I honestly think it's pretty fun. A lot of the decorations are tough to make. The game is still frequently being updated, though. So it's like, it's changing all the time. In terms of, like, how hard that challenge would be. Plus, I don't know, do I count, like, DLC stuff or not? It's kind of a hard distinction to make. Yeah, the uh, Terraria stack size... Plus, there are some items in Terraria that would actually take me longer than I would be alive for to complete Sydney. <laughs> I could do a toned-down version, but it's just not as fun, you know? You gotta go for it all. At least for me. That's how I feel about it. Literally any banner. Yes, exactly. Some of the banners wouldn't be nearly as bad as some of the other ones. Some of them would actually just be, like, I would spend more time playing the game than I would in my real life. And I still probably wouldn't finish it. Uh, yeah, we can keep the rest of this on us. Anything we're bringing back with us? We can bring these spice berries. Just in case we need these. Take that. We might make dehydrators out of these last ones here. Yeah, let's go. What time is it anyways? 5.40. I need to feed my dog soon. We might take a break after I do my push-ups here. pretty good let's drop off some trash okay i really don't need this it's just taking up space in there uh yeah let's do this one how useful are dehydrators they're really good for like strawberries blueberries cranberries so for instance five five blueberries with artisan turned into 560 Whereas normally it would only be like 250. So they're really good for crops that you have like a ton of. For fruits and mushrooms. That you have a ton of. And you want to sell them. You were going to sell them raw anyways. Because putting five blueberries into um, jars or kegs would take a really long time. Whereas putting them into dehydrate only takes a day. Alright. So we need 20,000... Divided by 560. I can do that math in my head. Okay, I need 40-ish. I would like 40. I would like more than 40 if I can. Nine 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 challenge? Yes, we did. Uh, we talked about it this morning a lot, Anime Lover. We did two hours of discussing the new stacks. So don't worry, we haven't forgotten about it. <laughs> we'll be back to it soon. All right, there's our blueberries. I think that's our last harvest. Yeah, that's definitely our last harvest. Ugh, I can't stop myself from playing this game. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see, I have 15 of these. We need 35. Eight. Eight, 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 eight. I have today. 27, 28, 30, I mean, 29th, which is the first. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 15. That's basically just enough. Oh, I'm not counting the ones I already have. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have enough then. Yeah, we're going to do the push-ups right now. Don't worry. Uh, I don't know, Tycho. I might, I'm going to might alternate them. The problem is I'm going on vacation next Friday for a week. So it might be a little hard to uh, finish either of those things. Ooh, I really need a haircut. Look at that hair with the... 
got the thing on it, so it looks terrible. It looks terrible! My headphone bump. Okay, let's get the push-ups done. I can just barely see that. There we go. Algo's leaving us alone for a whole week? I'm sorry! It's not my fault! I'm going out. Okay, it is my fault. I'm going on vacation, but uh, you look fine. It is my hair that I'm worried about. I know, I look great. Alright, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. You deserve a vacation? I just realized that I'm not wearing socks. I hope that's okay with you all. <laughs> That was three? I know. I know. I do need a haircut because my cowlick is getting out of control. Look at this thing. Freaking loser cowlick. <laughs> I've had it since I was born. It's so annoying. It makes me never want to have long hair because it just like <laughs> does whatever it wants. Thank you, Taika. I had long hair when I was younger and it was just so annoying to deal with. I prefer how I look with short hair anyways. Spag, that was some unfortunate timing. <laughs> Welcome in, and we'll, we will get sneakers on our head for a bit. I'm about to take a big bit of a break. I gotta go feed my doggy. Shave it off? No, I like my hair. Uh, we'll play a little longer since you uh, redeem sneakers. I'll do my morning chores at least. Hey, we got our, finally got a row. Just the one. We could make a few more dehydrators. I don't know if we need them is the thing. Like we're eventually gonna get through all of our blueberries. Good, we got another storm. That's really good for our, uh... Actually, for a lot of stuff. Escargo from Willy! Thanks, Willy. I was wondering, I was like, I didn't really gift anyone yesterday. But it was Willy's birthday, and I did gift him. Okay. Does this count as... Okay, does anyone know? For the fish bundle, this is gonna be, like, very obscure knowledge. Could I put all of this row in and this row? Is, does it all have to be from the same place? How are you liking the dehydrator? I think it's good. I think you have to use it carefully because it's not good for a lot of things, but it's really good for certain things. They're worse than jars, but they're not supposed to be better than jars money-wise. There's one bundle with row alien, but it's in the remix bundles, which is what I have. Because I almost have 15 row if we count all of the sources of row. But I don't know if I'm allowed to count all of my sources of row. Well, not almost 15, but I'll be closer. <laughs> I'm a lot closer. Can you dehydrate the legend? No, you can't dehydrate fish. Well, they're rehydrated anyways. Oh, no, it is a dehydrator. It would be kind of make sense to have dried fish, but uh, the smoker also came out in this update. And that's for fish, basically, only. Yeah, it is only for fish, actually. <laughs> It makes sense if you could smoke a few things as well, but it makes sense to just make it a fish thing. I know. Yeah, you can smoke the legend. You can smoke any fish in the game. Anything with the fish tag, so you see that little fish there, that can go in the uh, smoker. I wish we could smoke weed. Go be friends with Sebastian. You'll smoke as much weed as you want. I think the bong, there used to actually be a bong in Sebastian's room and I think it was removed for the Switch version of the game. Yeah, smoked cheese could be a good thing to do with that. I'm sure uh, mods will allow you to do it. I think Concerned Zape was intention for the smoker was it just to be for fish. 
because it's got a fish on it and everything. But I'm sure modders won't mind doing that or something similar to that. Literally so hard to see. I think there was one here. Oh, okay, we're good. I give up. <laughs> Get struck? Yeah, it did get struck by lightning. Alright, there we go. Let's clear out our inventory. Oh, here. Okay, and we can just sell these raw. It's not worth saving them. That'll give us a nice little money boost. Oh, I thought about doing the coop today, actually. Hmm. If anything, I'll do it tomorrow, the coop upgrade. Oh, t two days is a festival, though. We'd want to do it today if we can. How much is the coop upgrade? Um, carpenter shop. Coop upgrade is... Where is it? Big coop. 10k. 12k was the barn. I don't have the wood or stone is the problem. There's like none. I have like zero of that. Oh, maybe not. That's almost enough wood. I just need a hundred more. Uh, and that is enough stone. When did I get all of this? I can get seven and a half thousand. I can sell my gold bars. No, I can't. Um, <laughs> I can certainly do something. Good night, sunset. Thanks so much for hanging out. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Inventory very full. Well, it's not very full. Okay. Let's go pet our animals. You're ready? Oh my gosh, you're ready. Uh, let's go make sure we buy a milk pail. tough to get to Robins on time today. But we can probably manage it. Yeah, the fire quartz is the hard part. If you can get the fire quartz, you're off to a really good start. That's a thousand for a milk pail? Ugh. That's actually very expensive. I was not expecting it to be that expensive. We all needed the one. Uh, that's how much it was before. I just never buy them. <laughs> I just forgotten. I'm sure that's how much it always costed. The thing is, I'm very tight on money today, and I didn't realize, like... Alright, plum pudding. Uh, none of these are needed... We got the second rare seed already? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need anything here. I think to save time, we do a uh, teleport home after this. I think it's worth one of our farm totems. We got a lot to do today. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's huge actually. I was not expecting that to be done at this moment. Okay, we don't have to use any of our blueberries then. I'm pretty sure that's enough money. Where's our wood? Oh, that was, we have wood, okay. We need 400 wood. And 100 stone. And some extra money here. Can sell these pale ales and these. That should be enough, actually. Let's check. Stardew Pale Ale sells for 420 with Artisan. 420 times 7. It is not that much, but then we've got our Melon Wine, which sells for quite a lot. Melon wine is 770, so plus 770 times 4. Uh, that's not enough yet. Mm. We might have to dip a little bit into our supplies here. Plan those jellies so well. Always. Alright, we'll dip a little bit into the supply here. How many do we need? 3,000 more? That's 6. Oh, that's so many. We can make up for it with gold bars later on. Yeah. That'll be enough, though. I'll go a little bit over, but that's fine with me. Okay. We're pretty tight on milk as well, so we have to go make sure we are actually harvesting that. We also need a cheese press. But not like today, but soon. You already had Silver Star Milk? Basically, we need a cheese press the day before our goat is ready. Ooh, where did that strike? It didn't strike one of those. Let's put that in there for now. Alright. Now we have to take our break. We know exactly what we're going to be doing. But I need to go feed my doggy. So I will be back in probably about 10 minutes. I'll see you guys all when I get back. I am going to run some ads while I'm gone, just so it disables pre-rolls when we get back. And I will see you then. Back soon, everyone.
Alright, we back. Whew. Okay, doggy fed, doggy let out, doggy loved. Let's go ahead and continue here. Alright, so we run on up to our good friend Robin. Brave, brave Miss Robin. Mrs., I guess. Thank you, Surrounded Inside. Alright. I'm trying to think what else we do today. We check the traveling cart. Yep. Okay, we've done everything else that we needed to do. So now, yeah, we're going to run on over to... Nope. Nope. Pierre. We're going to Pierre first. I'm playing Stardew on the other monitor. I got super deep in the tree decorating in the end game. Your voice jump scared me so bad. I'm sorry, fairy. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It's good to see ya. It's Shopper Pierre. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, let's go. Man, I go through this coffee so fast. <laughs> kind of ridiculous how fast you go through coffee in this game. Alright. Ooh. I like that many grapes. Hi, friend. Nope, not that one. Although I could do that, actually. <laughs> Is that better? I don't think that's better. We need to get our coop upgraded. Actually, that might be more important. <laughs> oh, it's 150 stone? No, the wiki said 100. There's no way the wiki said. The wiki definitely said 100, didn't it? Did this change? Oh, I'm blind, it said 150. Oh, uh. Well. We could upgrade the house. Yeah, sorry, we, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Buy the extra? I don't have the money for the extra. I can get 50 stone real quick. We're gonna go mining anyways. So let's just start mining first. We just need to get back by five. Slothy, welcome in stone inflation. Slothy, have you played 1.6 yet? Oh, I'm having so much fun right now. Can we get a shout out for Slothy? Slothy is an amazing streamer here on Twitch. If you're not following Slothy, you're missing out on some awesome, awesome, very chill, very fun content here on Twitch. How have you been, Slothy? How does perfection for you? It's going very well, Jude. Thanks for asking. Oh, that was a beautiful rock. Okay, we're not exactly getting the rocks that we need here. need big rocks. Where are my big rocks at? There's one. <laughs> Autocorrect gets us all, doesn't it? Oh, more coal. Oh, I like this game. More coal? Oh, that's beautiful. How's our rocks? Rocks are not doing great so far. We might have to reset quickly for... Uh... Oh 
We're there. Okay, we made it. <laughs> it was a little closer than I would have liked. But we made it. Let's go get our big coop. There is an argument that we should have gone for, uh, it's too late now, but that we should have gone for house upgrade. But we can get there eventually. Hi, 2D. Shout out, I take my leave. Bye, Onion. Thanks so much for hanging out for as long as you did today. Have a great rest of your day. We got a lot of gold from that. That was great. Arguably, I could have also uh, gotten the gold in there. Bye, Froggy. We'll do it right now, though. We won't lose too much time with that. We should be able to get another gold off today. I'm low on energy is the only thing we have to consider here. I guess we'll have the crystal fruit in first. And then we can have the strange buns if we need them. Great floor here. We're low on stone and we're gonna need more later. So I'm actually gonna focus a little bit on hitting these big rocks when I see them. And if there are stone nodes on the way, I'll also hit those. There's a freebie here. Don't you dare heal. Woo! Got there just in time. Alright, strange buns. I will utilize you. I will be able to use I'll you be able to use that energy easily. if we can't use the energy hello okay we only needed the two of those so let's swap that to oh, I don't have a jade or a ruby at least we'll bring it home tonight diamond we also do need to focus a bit on combat level because that's our other low level right now Dude, come on, <laughs> give me a good floor again. Something I can actually use here. There's a good one. Oh, 
person. Cat, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. pretty badly here might be a good idea to try and progress uh, five floors tonight I've left all myself enough energy probably yeah let's go ahead and do that I checked that early. It's always very upsetting to me when the letter is right next to the starter door. RNG. Doesn't feel like a good luck day to me. There we go. Ah, grab that, please. I still need to get down two floors. Three floors, right? Yeah. any more food, did I? No, I guess we're not getting down any further. Let's go get that amethyst and call it. furnace right now. Alright, we got our 150 stone back. That's good at least. Oh, I need food. Um, can I use this? I don't think I can use 125 energy in this much time. We can maybe pop these grapes? If we don't have anything... Yeah. We can pop these cookies. Yeah, we can use 90. Right. 
And why couldn't the other one have gone that fast? <laughs> we descended five floors in moments on that <laughs> descent, but when I actually tried to go down new floors, it just was not gonna happen. We out. Can I make it back in time? I think I can. Oh, it's gonna be close. We made it. Woo! Nice! Good day. day today tomorrow's the fair not the fair sorry the uh luau so i should go to the beach today to guarantee that i get any forge that's there it disappears tomorrow anyways <laughs> nothing will regrow tomorrow if i harvest it today except for the hops so I think we leave all the harvesting until tomorrow, except for the hops. looking pretty good now. Anyone remember if I harvested the mushroom cave? Yes, it's odd days. Woo! That is a good way to remember. Hey Marks, are you using any mods? This is uh this is vanilla. 1.6. No mods at all. This is a brand new farm that just came out in the last update. You start out with a coop. Okay. Get these acorns down. It's actually a really good spot for a tree farm for us. Can't gift it all today. It'd be really annoying to gift tomorrow. Next week in general is gonna be kind of an annoying gift day. Gift week, rather. Hope you're doing good well today, by the way, Marks. Welcome in. Where am I? Oh, I'm at the top one, that's why. Boom, boom. Put all this in here. Get that pale ale up here. Wiley E. Coyote, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, Welcome in. Um, my favorite is probably the forest. It just starts you out with such... Well, you just get such good spawns on the farm. But ultimately, like... This one's really good. I would say for... Starting out, this is one of the better ones, I'd say. Uh, we want a cheese press. How hard is it to make a cheese press? 10 hardwood, 45 wood, 45 stone, and one copper bar. Would you believe that the copper bar was the hard part there? <laughs> oh, Thanks for the follow, Marks. I need some wood too, but we'll chop down some trees while we're over here. Wonder how good smoking fish on the Riverland? Yeah, that's actually something I'd like to try. I've never played on the Riverland before, so that could be pretty fun to uh, learn about. 
Grow up, please. Here we go. Need lots and lots of milk. Oh man, I just realized the cow might be giving me large milk before I get to... Uh... Oh, please don't fall in the water. Please don't fall in the water, Wood. Okay, we're good. I got you by now. Okay. Yeah, you can also have a lot of crab pots, that's true. Honestly, I feel like it should start you out with a crab pot. As well as a smoker. go here. Ooh, a train. I don't think it's worth it. Four Corners is really cool, too. It's just a lot of space. Same with Standard. People are sleeping at, sleep on Standard because it's kind of boring, but the amount of space you get is just really nice. Alright. Put this all away. Okay, we definitely have 45 wood now. And the stone we have, that's for sure. Uh, we need... A copper bar, and that's it. My husband just started his first solo save, and he picked the Riverlands because of the smoker. Oh, that's cool. You don't have progression point. I got 10 seconds ago. <laughs> we haven't gifted Elliot yet. Ugh. This man's... Alright, someone tell me Elliot's schedule. Oh, it's right here. I was ready for it. Alright, the 27th, Friday, Saturday. No, it's Friday, Sunday, Friday, Sunday, regular schedule. He will be leaving his house in 30, 40 minutes. I can catch him on the way out. That's probably worth it to do. Let's get this stuff out of our inventory. Give this man's a gift. And. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I gotta do today. Then I'd come back here. I'll need some energy, but I have energy here. And probably do some chopping. We need to cut a lot of trees for forging level. And if I got nothing else to do today, that might be a good thing to do. Yeah. Alright, well, actually, hold on. Let's fill these up first. This is our last coffee here. So might as well leave that there. And any excess hops I can fill up, I will. Although that's six. So just one hop at the end. One hop! <laughs> Alright, and let's go. We'll catch Elliot on his way out. I would actually normally take the minecart, but I'm gonna check for a quest. No quest board, okay. Plus, Elliot's gonna hook this way, so we'll we'll pass him. Standard is pretty nice to navigate. You also don't have to think as hard about where things go. But then again, that's part of the fun of planning, right? Like, forest doesn't have a lot of crop space. So that's something to consider with it. But the extra hardwood stumps are so nice for the uh, forging level. Because it's really hard to get forging levels in this game. <laughs> Look at all this. Okay. Here we 
we go. We got a lobster. That's really good. Um, let's take some stuff back. That sh probably shouldn't be here. Get that in there. Anything that's not sea related, that can go back. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Make room for our crab pot productions. The number of new catalogs, there's the wizard, the trash, the retro, and the Junimo, I think. I don't know if I got all of them, but that's all the ones I know about. Hi, Heather. right i was supposed to take some of this stuff home with me last night and i just chose not to so let's do that now all right arguably we probably shouldn't make any more dehydrators also i didn't make copper bars that was really dumb of me we should buy a lot of copper from clint right now while we can and by a lot i mean at least some <laughs> doesn't have to be that much i can sell some gold bars for it Not these. These can come on with me though. This can come back with me. So can this and this. Oh, we have no inventory space. Okay, we should leave something then. Uh, we don't need those that badly. Okay, to Clint. Hi, Miss Ge Happy Geek. Welcome in. No, there is a trash catalog as well. I'm new to the stream. Do you have any? Cre did you have to create a new farm for 1.6? You do not have to. No. I did, just to try out the new stuff, but I'm going to go back to my old farm at some point. Oh, I have geodes. Um, sure. At minimum, it's money. Okay, and shop. We'll sell the 20 here. Okay. That'll get us some copper bars for a little bit. I need to save a little bit of money for fall, which is coming up pretty quick here. Oh, I guess we already have that one. I don't remember getting it. Uh, we will go donate anything we can in our inventory, which I think is just the marble. Where is the trash catalog? Uh, it's in trash cans. Oh, we need a fire quartz. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Good thing I came here on accident. Uh, what's my new reward? None of these things look new. Maybe it's that. Hope you're doing well today, Miss Happy Geek, by the way. Welcome in. Uh, we'll pick this up while we're here. Let's chop down this oak tree. How much energy do I have? I got no in inventory. That's more important. <laughs> Awesome. Glad to hear that. So I've put them in my cubby area and it looks very nice. Oh, the catalogs. Okay. Very cool. Put that in there. Clear out our inventory. Put this in our important stuff chest. This is uh, getting a little crowded. We're going to have to make another one soon. I can just sell this. Oh, that's not. Okay, and six hops. Six hops this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slide to the left. Is marble important? You need it for a crafting recipe later on. It's very easy to forget about, so that's why I want to make sure it's off to the side somewhere. I just need one, so I have it. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it's a little unfortunate. But you can optimize it in your favor. Do you have the alleyway buffet? Because once you get that, you can uh, do some good stuff with that. Um, okay. I don't know if I should do this. But I kind of want to upgrade my pick today. 
It'll be ready the day after we plant. Today isn't great luck. Tomorrow I can do some other stuff, even if it is good luck. But this means this guarantees I'm not going to get to the <laughs> bottom of the mines by the end of uh, summer here. Bye, sapling. Alleyway buffet, buffet helps you get it, for sure. For show. Sure. Alright, let's see here. I don't know. I kind of want to. That's a lot of coal. Did I bring all that with me? That's a lot of gold. Actually, yeah, bring all this. It doesn't need to be here. Do I want to? This is my decision. Nexus decision right now. I can upgrade my pick right now. I've got enough to do over the next two days that it won't be that big of a deal if I do. Or three days, rather. You haven't gotten to the bottom of the mines. Yeah. It has not been a priority, okay? Today is also the last day I can go to the desert. I think it's worth 500 gold to pick up the forge and give Sandy. Let's do that first. I have until 5 o'clock. Maybe I shouldn't do that first. <laughs> we should go upgrade at Clint's first. I don't have enough money. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm very close to having enough money, but I just barely don't. Give me one gold bar, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade at Clint's and go. Mines first. I grabbed all this on accident, huh? Alright. Pretty important I sold that first. I'm glad I remembered to do that. Uh, <laughs> Bye, pickaxe. I'll miss you. That's not ready yet. That's fine. Bus stop, please. Bus stop. There we go. Come on. There goes the rest of my money. I keep on saying I need to save money for pumpkins and then just I'm doing the opposite of that <laughs> near constantly. Uh, we should be okay though. Uh, I am noticing though that there are no forges here. I have enough energy to chop one of these trees, probably. It's been like four days. Nothing spawned? I was expecting a insane amount. Okay, I might be able to chop one more. Alright, we got one coconut, I guess. Let's... <laughs> What's the best crop? Like, in general, Gab? Welcome in, by the way, Gabriel. Uh, for money-making, it's starfruit or ancient fruit. Ancient fruit is a little better now with uh, the harvesting method that came out with this update. They're both pretty good, though. Oh, actually, we need that back. That's going good. Okay, I think officially we need to make more dehydrators. How much clay do we have? Enough. If we're gonna make more, enough money for pumpkins, we need the dehydrators now. 
We'll make five more. The problem is the dehydrators are going to become useless later. But I think they're useful enough now that we still do it. I'm actually so upset with you, chicken. Okay. <laughs> What's the new harvesting method? Um, the Iridium Scythe allows you to harvest at a large area at a time. So it makes regrowable crops in general better. Because you don't have to replant. So you just harvest and you can run past and harvest a bunch at the same time. I was trying to be a little secretive about it, but eh. Everyone knows about the Iridium Scythe. The only thing people didn't know is that it lets you harvest crops. And I'm telling you it does. Yeah, you don't have to replant either. The only problem with the ancient fruit is, especially in a run like this, uh, I don't have a lot of time to get it going. Right? Um, so basically I have four ancient, I have two ancient fruit planted right now. <laughs> to get ancient fruit like full on the island would take a very long time. But star fruit I can just buy. If I have enough money, I can just buy star fruit. And they make almost as much as ancient fruit does. Best normal crop? Do you mean like my favorite? They all have things that are good about them. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them have things that are good about them. <laughs> Uh, okay, what are we gonna eat here? We need food. It might be time to uh, polish off these kale. We're basically gonna chop down every other tree on the farm right now. And possibly some outside of the farm. Oh, how's the basketball going, Johnny? Oh, is Oakland playing tonight? I should check. I would like to watch that game. You have a good time watching, Johnny? Uh, if I want forging XP, I should go... Yeah, I should go to the Secret Woods. This will all still be here tomorrow. Whereas the Secret Woods regens. Play around 7 my time. Oh, that's soon. Well, maybe I won't watch that much then. <laughs> I'll catch the ending. When they win. I hope. <laughs> I can't believe they won in the first place, to be honest. So They're already living on borrowed time. They managed to win another one. That's insane. If they win another one, every D1 basketball team in Michigan will have... Uh, been to the Sweet 16. What's that hat? It's the mystery hat. You can get it from mystery boxes. Ooh, that's a gold slime! Yoba has blessed us on this day with money. Oh, 750. Nice. The last one only gave me 500. Maybe they scale with your level. How do you get the boxes? Uh, from doing random tasks. There's something that you do that unlocks them. I don't remember what it was. New slime? Yeah, their yellow slimes can spawn rarely and now they have uh, money in them. It's quite a bit of money early on too. Like that 750 is going to be very helpful to me. That's seven more pumpkins I can buy now. It sounds like I'm joking, but that's actually a huge deal. There's a trinket later on called the parrot that does the same thing with all monsters. Although they're not all guaranteed to drop that much. Hi, Sophia. Yes, I'm still streaming. 
Haven't given up yet. I did my uh, stack stuff in the morning, and I wanted to keep going on this farm. I gotta at least make it to fall, right? See if I can't get another forging level too. Commend your dedication, thank you. All right, this should give me enough energy to clear out most of this stuff. I don't want to waste a coffee because I'm not, I don't need to walk very fast right here. I'm starting to run low on those coffees. I got nothing to break these yet. <laughs> my pick is, uh, my pick's in the shop. enough to clear it all out, huh? I can eat the rest of this kale. That's why I brought it out here. We should also plant the remainder of our seeds. I don't know if we'll get that done tonight, but pretty soon we should do that. For our last forging push, it'll be good to have those down. About to go on first date? Oh, that's awesome! Good luck! I hope it goes super well, Sophia. Hey, nom nom nom. Oh, let's uh, close these too. We have to harvest all of the crops that aren't wheat by tomorrow. I'll save this last little bit of kale too, just in case we need it for something else. down. Looks good to me. How are your skill levels? They're doing really good, I think. Uh, 10 mining, 10 farming, uh, 9 fishing, and then 7 and 7 combat and forging. Combat, I can force. That's the only thing about that. Like, if I really need to get combat up quick, I can. I can just go to the mines and kill things. Forging, though, has like a limit to how much you can do in a day. Yeah, that's what playing this game a lot does, and watching this game a lot, and breathing this game a lot. <laughs> I do have a lot of random knowledge about this game, for sure. Alright. Put this all in there. Look at that. That's a lot of hardwood. Good. Whew. Oh, no, it's fine, chumps. If you're curious about something, let me know. If I can't get it, then someone in the chat will probably know. Hi, Strawberry. Welcome back. We have 40 batteries, by the way. That's that's so good. <laughs> that's so many batteries. Um, that's pretty much all going to be Crystallarians when I finally get Iridium. Hi, Bruce. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Happy Saturday to you. Opinions on big chests. I love them. I will probably buy the recipe from Robin pretty soon. I'd rather get the one from the dwarf, but I don't have the thing yet. I 
I can, I feel pretty confident that I can answer most things about 1.6 now, too. Not everything, but most things. Alright, I don't think there's much more I can do with the day, so we're just gonna go ahead and sleep. Early to bed, early to rise. Just finished cooking? I assumed you were talking about starting for a second, Bruce. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh. Whoa! Was that always the case you could click it? I thought it just appeared like that sometimes. Okay, anyways. What stack are you least excited for for 1.6? The book ones, I just gonna, I'm just gonna end up buying them over a long period of time. So that's just like less interesting. <laughs> Looks just like me for real. Where's your top hat, Bruce? So I turned in my pick, so this is guaranteed to be a um, good luck day. Yep, okay. And tomorrow the weather is sunny because it's the first day of the month. Saving it for my special occasion. that going what's the best weather I mean rainy is kind of nice because you don't have to water but I have my sprinklers set up so it kind of actually doesn't matter I gotta get rid of some of these I don't need Elliot's schedule this is literally the recycling machine I'll switch this for sturgeon I need to check what its fish pond is gonna ask me for. One jelly, one two maple syrup, or one pickle. I should have prepared a little better for that. I don't know which one would even matter for me here. Two maple syrup. I think I do have that actually. I have one. The other one's here. Well, I'll put one in. <laughs> And we'll have the other one ready when it comes. Alright, I shouldn't have walked down there without being ready. Blueberries. Yep. Traveling carts open today. Alright. Oh wait, we got more? I didn't think I was getting another uh, coffee bean harvest. Good thing I didn't destroy them like I was planning on. Well, that's not going to finish. Interesting. I thought I got that down in time. How long do sunflowers take to grow? Oh, crows. Oh, no, crows. Uh, it's okay. I need to get some scarecrows down, though, for uh, my pumpkins. Losing a pumpkin is pretty huge to crows. Why is it always like that? Uh, the first day of the month's always sunny. It's just a decision, gameplay-wise. Sunflowers take eight days. I swear I got it down before the 20th. Hmm. Oh well. It's not gonna kill me. Alright, um. Oh wow, you're big. You're not supposed to get that big. There's one. There's another one. You're just not growing for some reason. Another one. Gosh, it's so hard to see in here. Looks like it's it for now. Take three acorns, though. Alright. How's my money looking? I need, like, 40 of these, I think I said. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're set on that, then. That'll buy my pumpkins and some other stuff, too. How's my, um, random seeds good? My mixed flower seeds are also pretty important. 
because that allows me to um, allows me to get a lot of flowers without having to buy the seeds. Flower seeds are actually super expensive, especially in the fall. The fairy rose seeds are like well, they're certainly not cheap. Still a baby. I only need one goat milk. We need 11 milk. Is closing the barn doors at night? Yeah, it uh, makes them happier. That was added in this update. So that's, that's new tech. <laughs> it used to be you could leave them open as much as you want with no problem. These squashes don't do anything. They don't even sell for much. They're a, they're a little bit of energy, I guess. Actually, yeah, it's more energy. It's as much as a carrot almost, and it regrows. No more nine 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 stacks. Uh, we're we're gonna get back to it, petite. Just not today. Yeah, today we're focused on uh, this pref perfection challenge. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do next here. I want to go. All right, two things here. We'll take this to go gift Robin, because she's working. These are kind of getting in the way. I had to plant these quick when I planted them before the green rain. Where's Robin? Oh, she doesn't work today because... Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. I love the new changes. Oh, is that a Zanji in my chat? Hi, Zanji. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Let's grab one of these for the wizard. And I really hope anything we need in the cart costs less than 1300 because we have no way of making money today. <laughs> Must be a nice change of pace. It is. I do miss the challenge, honestly. Like, I do enjoy doing that, too. This is a lot more involved. Like, it's harder for me to read chat and interact with people. It's just a lot tougher because I have to focus on this. Whereas the challenge, like, the 999 challenge, I don't need to focus at all, really. Oh, gosh. That would be nice, but we don't need it. We don't need it, so that's fine. That's kind of funny. When's Pierre's birthday? I think it's in winter, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll have that by then. Uh, are we certain that we have two rare seeds? I think I bought two. Uh, me too, Zanji. How's your aesthetic stuff doing? How's that gone so far? I know you've, you've been streaming every day too, and I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, can we get a shout out for uh, Zanji, by the way? Zanji is a fellow member of the Do Crew. A super awesome Stardew streamer. You should definitely check out Zanji if you're not already following them. I just got a forging level up. That's really good. We're still two levels away, though. Oof. I got slowed. Dude. <laughs> it's insane how those things can just, like, suddenly jump at you. I thought I got blocked. Is about to run out here. Since I'm down here anyways, I would like some oak. These none of these are oak. I'm, I'm looking at them like these are oak trees. Nope, no, they're not. Making a lot of progress. That's awesome. Four. All right, we need to make copper bars. We need a cheese press. I'd like to get the cheese press today. Can anyone confirm that moss 
Uh, harvesting moss gives experience. Conform or deny, for that matter. <laughs> no problem, Zanji. Enjoy your lurk. All right, let's put all this down. Yeah, we had a lot to do today. It does not. Argon checked on stream. Okay. That's such a shame. I feel like it should. Especially since, like, there's so few sources of forging experience. Thank you for letting me know, though, fairly. Fairy. I'm getting your name mixed up with, like, fairly odd parents. This is an oak tree. Zero seeds, probably. I got one. Yay! Alright, we do this first. We have no pickaxe. What we can do today, though, is um, Dust Sprite Farm. As long as they're reasonably close to the entrance and not behind any rocks. I can I can get there. Imagine descending two floors without even a pickaxe. Looks like we stop here. I'm stuck cutting trees. I'm not a happy camper. Yeah, yeah, they do. I knew that one, fairy. Dang, we're already out of copper. I just bought so much? That's insane. Okay. <laughs> we have what we have. Can't get through there now. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the ladder blocked me. There's only the one anyways, but... Dude, where are these ladders coming from? It's insane. Can I get through there? Yep, I can. Thought you would die faster. It's a play on the name, yeah. Fairy Odd Simmer wasn't right. Fairly Odd Simmer, so you just took Fairy. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, I wanted those. I wanted that iron. <laughs> no such luck for me. Oh, Simmer. Like, you play The Sims. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> let's not... Let's ignore how long that took me to figure out. It's like, what does Simmer mean? Like, a, a pot coming to a boil? <laughs> Oops. Uh, I can make it there. Sweet. I'm getting so much energy. <laughs> They're dropping so many crystal fruits. Hey, ghost fish. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. Luck do be really good. It's just normal luck. Well, I mean, it's above average luck. It's good luck. Not, But it's not, like, amazing. So many crystal fruits. Oh, you mean IRL luck? Yeah. I'm getting uh, pretty lucky on these crystal fruits. They're really good for energy, too. Like, they don't mess around. Can I make it? Glow ring? I'm convinced luck doesn't exist in Stardew. 100% skill-based RPG. <laughs> hey, good afternoon. Welcome in. We're doing a challenge to finish perfection in as few days as possible. In-game days, that is. Not IRL days. <laughs> My 
my crystal fruit. Just an excuse to go to Skull Caverns. Ah, uh, I see. Big CA is uh, keeping us down. Not telling us the whole truth. He certainly convinced a lot of code divers to keep quiet if that's the case. Uh, look at this nice maze that we have here. Wow. I'm trying to figure out this new mines RNG. Honestly, from most perspectives, it's not going to feel very different. Like, it's only really going to feel different for, to you if you're speedrunning. It's just more random now. It used to have, like, long strings of the same thing in a row. And that's completely gone now. Now it's, like, almost... It's as close to true random as most games get. AFK again. Good luck. Have a enjoy the game. Look at that coal go up. Oh, I love dust sprites. My favorite little creature that poops out coal. That that ghost just dodged me. <laughs> <laughs> like backed up right as I swing. Do we have seven crystal fruits from today? Uh, I don't think I can fit through here. I cannot. Hold on. Dust sprites, do your thing. Do I have a bomb? That's the one thing I haven't gotten. Oh, come on. Hit the other ones. Hit the other ones. Come on. You know you want to get to me, guys. Ugh. You're breaking the wrong rocks. Break this rock. It will mean your death. Yes! You fell for it. <laughs> hey, oopsie AJ. Oops, it's AJ. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yes, you can get more mystery boxes from a mystery box. It's very funny. I love it. Where's my gold? Wait, is it all gone? Did I put it in the wrong chest? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I didn't think I used all the gold. Okay. Now we used all the gold. We have one left. We can throw some more iron in, though. Molotov, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. We have a festival to go to later on. Can I fit? Uh, I think I can not get in there. Oh, that's such a shame. There's a lot of dust sprites down there. I don't have my pick right now, if anyone's wondering why. I'm... <laughs> my pick is at Clint's. Clint is a busy boy. Get me ready for Skull Caverns. I'm seeing a difference. I mostly speed run in the mines down to 80 and then grind ore later. Yeah, it is different. I think you can get two monster floors in a row now, which is <laughs> terrifying as a thought. But I think that can happen, though. I've heard whispers of it happening. Dude, these crystal fruits! <laughs> We've got nine today! Oh. Well, that's one monster floor. Two? What's a floor? So like mines floors. So you go down one floor and there's a monster floor. And then when you go down the next floor, there's also a monster floor. Yeah, there's more monster floors now for sure. Purple penguin. I don't think it's that many more. But it, I think there's more now. I just want to be friends. Yeah. They just want to be friends. All right, where's the gold? There's the gold. All right, that is all of our things, by the way. We are now completely out of ore to burn, which is good. That's kind of what I wanted to do today. All right, let's put 
Put that in there. Anything we need to bring back with us? Should have brought some bombs with me in case I needed them. Oh, I'm saving them for Skull Caverns, I guess. All right, let's go back. So it's going to start in 40 minutes here. We don't have to go in right away. We just have to be there before midnight, I think. But before we do that, I'm going to quickly go run to the restroom. So I will see you guys all in just a minute. I'm going to quickly just run an ad, too, while I'm gone. So I'll see you when I get back. Probably two minutes. BRB. All right, I'm back. Oops, wrong button there. We're good. All right, um, put it with my magnet ring, I guess. What song is this? It's so nice. Uh, this was First Snow from Spiritfarer. It's a very nice song. Hold on, I'm checking something really quick. Um, never mind, we're good. All right, we need this. We need this. I forgot we need this for the CC still. It's important to remember, I think. This, this. What was the other thing I needed for the... Uh, cheese press. Oh, it is wood, stone, and hardwood. Okay. Okay, we do need one cheese. Oh, five, please. There we go. Oh, moonlight jellies. That's right. I was thinking, like, I've got so much time tonight. Why, did, why do I have all this time? Now we gotta go. Uh, we gotta be there at by 11. Well, technically 10.50. I should go now then. Not bother wasting any time here, but. Oh, we have four acorns in here. Okay, let's see here. Ghost fish, we gotta drop off. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I need to do. on the way there. Hi, Dragon Prime, welcome in. Town? Yes. I could drink a Joja. I don't have one, though. Did I have one? I didn't see it if I did. Yeah. 
Yay! We didn't actually need to come to this festival, but I do like it, so... Additionally, we can talk to everyone for some friendship. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Leah, because she's going to make me marry her. I love her line at this festival. Hi, Brickell. Speaking of really cool people, how are you doing today, Brickell? It's not fair. Leah's just so cool. <laughs> if y'all don't know Brickell, Brickell is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. Very cozy, very funny. If you're not already following Brickell, you absolutely should be. We will go talk to Leah. She just has a really cool line. I think, yeah, these are all the same. I'm blessed with the gift of zooming out. All right, Leah. Don't make me marry you again. I'm paying my respects. It's true. It's true, Brooke. Who are you gonna marry if not Leah? Probably Abby. I haven't married Abby before. All right. I miss the valley. Oh. I can't. I guess we're listening to this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't change the music. Turn the music on now. Everyone marries Abby? Well, I haven't done it before. <laughs> I gotta join join everyone. I've married Maru. I've married Maru, Penny, and Leah so far. This is kind of fitting music. Be different. Who should I marry then? No. <laughs> That's some good juxtaposition right there, Brooke. <laughs> Be different. Marry Seb. I've only married Seb. Hi, Logan. <laughs> Sebby is so popular. Sebby is probably more popular than any of the girls. And all it takes is, like, long hair and a brooding attitude. Is that all it takes to be popular with girls? No one ever told me this. Actually, literally, a lot of people have told me that. It's the hair. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I hate long hair. It's so too hard to maintain. He's the nearest, newest sub 50 minute candidate. Leah's not even sub 50, is she? Congrats, Alex. If Alex can be sub 50, then literally anyone could, right? <laughs> well, not Krobus, but. Hi, Noct. Welcome back, mermaid. Me with long hair. Leah's not getting sub-50. Abby might. Even with uh, 1.6 strats? Or are we talking 1.5 strats here? Good violin. I got seven of these in the mines today from killing dust sprites. <laughs> it was actually ridiculous how many times I got that. Oh, I should probably um, start getting winter seeds going. Yeah, let's make a few. As soon as we get our greenhouse, we're deluxe speed growing them. That's a Thursday buy. I have to make sure to buy some deluxe speed grow. My problem with Elliot is he gives too much money, old money, rich dad vibes. Poor Elliot. How dare he have money? 
<laughs> oh, we didn't close this, did we? Where did I get the energy from? I don't remember having energy. When did you grow? I was supposed to use all this energy up. Okay, it's worth it to drink this because I can get like a lot more wood chopped. Where's my tent kit now? Oh, I actually had one. <laughs> I could have had one in my inventory here. How dare he be a poor writer on the beach? Do we even know if he's a poor writer? Oh, like poor is in no money. I thought you meant poor is in like bad. Like I assume he's okay at it. He does it a lot. All right, I'm gonna lose money here. I can't make it back now. It's worth it to use up my energy. He waters the plants with seawater. Respect. Hey, we hit level 8 forging. That's good. Finally got a farm warp totem. I feel like that should be the first one you get. I guess it's more useful than the other two. Combat 8 happened. I didn't didn't even notice that one. That's good. We're at plus eight plus with all of our skills now. All right, it's time. My steel pickaxe is ready. Oh, that festival doesn't count against Clint. That's so nice. Okay, we got our coop upgrade. Um, four melons. I didn't even know these were going to be ready. That's nice. Put that in there. Grab my blueberries and my coffee. I think today is a day worthy of using a coffee this morning, huh? Which forging skill do you prefer? Like, from all of them? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. The, uh, profession. Yeah. Um, I prefer the botanist route, which is double forge pickup and all of, all of them are iridium. Makes your inventory very clean. The other one's just, um... Just not as good. <laughs> I hate to say it. Tracker's okay, but if you know the forge spawn spots and like know where to look, it's not that useful. Dang, I need a maple syrup. Um welcome to fall. I forgot to get my milk pail, I'm so dumb! Mr. Streamer, what's the best way to collect mahogany seeds? Uh, breaking stumps and uh, also putting mahogany trees on your farm and getting the seeds that they spawn around them. That's definitely the best way. My steel pick is ready. You think the pan is really busted right now, Toby? I'll have to try it out. I've heard some uh, glowing recommendations. Mossy seeds. Um, annoying on these guys. All right. We'll bring this with us. We definitely need this. We might need this. <laughs> Raquel, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Tootie. Tootie, welcome to the stack. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. All right, this is all getting sold to Pierre. Oh, up here. 
including more pale ale. This is a lot of money, actually. This is probably more than we need, but let's get our money. We deserve it. We've earned it. That's our money now. Pierre open? Not yet. Put these in here for now. Pierre's not open yet. Might as well get the fields a bit ready here. I should have done that first. I knew that was coming. Dude, open the chest! Uh, okay. Leave the one bean there. Take hops for the rest. This is eight. Alright. Alright, we can run to Piers now. Yeah, unfortunately the pan was kind of worthless before, so I'm glad that it's good now. I'm interested what the Fisher enchantment does. Alright. Uh, we did not do any math, did we? Wait, I have a plan. This will give us a rough estimate. Did I really make 47 of these? Okay, sure. And 47 of these as well? What the heck? <laughs> That's a cosmic coincidence right there. <laughs> Okay, that implies 564 farming spots. We're gonna, we, we really don't need to keep the corn. I was gonna say we're gonna keep some corn, but why? We really don't need to keep that corn. <laughs> we have more than enough corn for the rest of the uh, run. Uh, I cannot buy 500 pumpkins. <laughs> There's no way that's this is enough money for that. Well, we'll see what we get. I have 564 spots, approximately. It'll be a little less than that, because not all of the uh, sprinklers are perfect. Hi, Seven Espresso. I'm glad you're stoked. I'm stoked to see me live, too. Uh, slay six slimes in the lava caverns. That's really easy. Who wants that? There's no, there's no place to turn it into. Okay, we'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. Okay, that's that's quite a lot. We definitely don't need those corn seeds anymore. Oh my god, why are cranberry seeds so expensive? What the heck? <laughs> uh, okay. We're buying a lot of pumpkins. Pumpkins are our money-making crop here. We need a certain amount of other crops as well, though. Like yams, for instance. We only need, like, ten bok choy. Like, honestly, I think we only need ten. It's used in one recipe, and I have to ship it. I'm gonna get ten. I probably only needed five, honestly. Eggplant? Uh, these regrow, right? What are the uh, mixed seed options in... fall mixed seeds okay here we go uh well this is very hard to read wiki please can't i just see oh here they are i see it now artichoke corn oh that's gross. I don't want corn seeds. Eggplant pumpkin. Well, I want those. 
Okay, we don't need that many artichoke. So we just gotta hope that our mixed seeds become artichoke seeds. I have beets from the casino already. I bought those first. There's 50 of those. Yeah, it is usually Lewis. I'm just surprised it didn't say that at all. Okay, um, for cranberries, like, they're just so expensive. I don't want to waste too much money on these. We're just going to go with 10. That'll give me enough. And they're not my moneymaker anyways. My moneymaker is pumpkins here. Oh. Oh, we need these too. Um, Actually, we kind of don't need these, do we? <laughs> I was thinking we need gra grape starter, but we have grapes. Do we need more grapes? I don't think we do. There's no point to growing them if we have them already. All right, yams. We do need some extra yams. They are also a love gift for uh, Linus. I think they're li love gifts for someone. I'm just going to buy 15. 15 should be fine. They're using a lot of recipes, aren't they? I'm just going to look it up real quick. Okay, we have it for the bundle. Yeah, Linus, Linus loves yams. Where's the love gift list? Yeah, it's Linus. Okay. They're used in two recipes. Uh, yeah, 15 is probably more than enough. Okay, we're good on that then. A yam-based dish is a love gift for Lewis. I've got so many peppers, I'm not worried about love gifts for Lewis. Okay, eggplant. They're not money. We just need the five of them, right? I don't think eggplant's good for anything. It's one recipe. Two recipes, actually. And a bundle. Okay. Okay. This is a love gift from Marnie, and it's probably going to be... Wait, is it? Actually, I don't think it is. I thought it was, but I think it's just something you give her. It's actually, no, it's not a love gift for anyone. That sucks. Uh, it's for salmon dinner. One quest from Marnie. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, then we kind of only need five of it. I'll get ten just in case. Okay. Trying to save as much money for pumpkins as I can. I think we're good then. So I think all of the rest of my money goes into pumpkins here. I'm actually going to buy um, 30 of these just to fill in any empty spots. Because they're 10 times less than the pumpkins. And then, uh, you guys ready for this? <laughs> 338 pumpkins. I used the uh, 999 buy option there. Only? That's all I've got. We're going to buy more as the season progresses because we get to replant them once, but... Maybe we keep the corn, because we might not have room for more pumpkins right now. Anyways. Man, I cannot tell you what a great quality of life thing it was to uh, have the torches on the uh, sprinklers. It's just so nice. Uh, we need more, um, we definitely need more scarecrows, by the way. Uh, 
beets. Beets by Dre. I'm gonna put them in here. We grew 50 of them for no reason. It's a little more than we probably needed, but they were pretty cheap, so. And then we just grow them the once and we don't need any more. All right, and now it's just pumpkins. It's a little scary. Oh, before I finish pumpkins here, I'm gonna plant all my mixed seeds, that's right. Forgot to do that. Yeah, kitty, I know, you're sad. Me too. Alright, we gotta hope some of these are artichoke. I'm sure enough will be. I have 11 of them. Alright, um... Okay. I'm referencing a meme. Yes, I know the meme. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. We want to get this coffee here. Two, three, four. Yeah, that's four of them. All right, and we're still gonna have blueberry production for a while here. All right, I'll start by planting up here. I think that's corn. Yeah, I really don't need more corn. I think we just kill all the corn here. All right, let's not forget to well, milk you. time so that when we run out of space we'll know about it oh that's right my axe was done my pickaxe is done I should get that now I almost forgot about that I can also sell some gold bars while I'm there just so I have some handy income here 15 will be fine. Just finished this tank. Congratulations. Sorry, this is a focus day. <laughs> it feels like I'm not chatting. Sorry about that. Whoops. Actually, money. Also, we need, um... Your cat is attacking your chicken. They're having fun. They're just playing. Whew. All right. We got our pickaxe back. I felt so naked. All right. Shop. Do we buy 70 more pumpkins? I think we do. <laughs> I was like, I need money for wiggle room. Nope. 70 more pumpkins. <laughs> We'll leave ourselves 500, just in case. Not enough. It'll be enough for what I'm doing. Hi, Leah. Oops, that was all my money again. <laughs> yeah, it'll be money later, which is important. It's fine. I can always sell more gold bars. <laughs> I'm glad that I had a lot of money handy. Okay. 
we need to um Pumpkins down. Oh, uh, let's get these down too. Uh huh. Oh, I gotta do some math. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that fits. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're not square, right? This can go down quite a bit then. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Okay. All right. We shall start here. There's only two spots that are missing. Let's get at least. Oh, rip that uh, wheat, I guess. Oh, we didn't put torches down here yet. We gotta make sure we do that. It'll be easy to see what doesn't have torches. No giant pumpkins, it's not worth it. I would have to uh, have iridium sprinklers, first of all. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Or I'd have to water, which is even worse. <laughs> Imagine having to water. Ooh, okay. 64 pumpkins left. Last time I played is when Ginger Island was released. I made 100% of the island and stopped playing. Any tips? Someone like that? You played Ginger Island released. Honestly, you know a little bit about the game already. Just enjoy the show. There's going to be a bunch of new stuff that's going to pop up for you. And all of it is really good so far from what I've seen. You already know the game, so just play it the way you've been playing it and then adjust to the new things you find. You'll have a good time. That's eight. Six left. Two left. There we go. Uh, we have 30. Might as well just refill these. This is like exactly enough. It's like I planned it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Too short. <laughs> we got this. All right, uh, scarecrow positions. One here would be perfect. Would hit like all of this. Whoops. Oh, it's perfect. Here. There we go. 
So one here, this gets all of this, this gets all of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here, here, should be fine, and then one here. So we should be able to get away with just three of them. Thanks so much for the follow. Uh, is it, uh, it's batter, right, the batter? Hope you're doing well today. And Meg Mayers, welcome in. I orfer if games adjust to me. Sorry, Meg, I can't parse what you mean there. Go in there, please. I need the last of those. Hmm. Yeah, 1.5 was four years ago, I know. <laughs> Yeah, the game it does a good job of getting you into it, though. At least, if you like these types of games, it does. Like, you really feel like you just want to keep playing. And I've been going for eight and a half hours now, and <laughs> now you want to keep going. Just, like, there's that one, one more day mentality, right? Like, what can I get accomplished tomorrow? No, Seven Espresso, no! Right, uh, we need this and we need this. We just needed two, right? I think we just needed the two. This needs to go. Come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. That is not enough. We need more. <laughs> Let's close this. And then come back and it should be ready. I lied. Okay. <laughs> be ready sooner. There it is. That should, that's enough, right? Hopefully. Did I say that this was enough from here? Ugh. Can't see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. I put one here and one here it was good, I think. Here I think it had to go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. It's too dark. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, it should be fine if I put this guy like right here. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Oh, I needed a third one? Wow, I'm bad at math. Okay, let's get our torches too. Yay! Congrats, UNC! Oh, we need another scarecrow. <laughs> That's right. There we go. <sighs> Congrats to your uncle. Word to your uncle. I said here, right? That should be fine. Oh, it was only two. Oh, I accidentally put the torches back. Well, today was only meant to be <laughs> getting this stuff done, so <laughs> it's fine. All right, let's get these torches down. Close the barn door, too. Yes, you should get food, Johnny, if you haven't eaten in eight hours. Please get food. Oh, nine hours. That's worse. It's okay to eat food if you're hungry. There we go. Nice and bright over there. 
I think we covered all the spots with them. Yeah, it'll be fine. At worst, we lose a pumpkin or two. Yeah, no problem. Go get your food, Johnny. That was almost not enough torches. Um, since I have these and we got a little time tonight. Just so we can see. A little bit. Behind the, behind the mailbox is actually a cool spot for it. That is too. Okay. I should eat too. One more day. Tomorrow it's going to rain. Nope. That would be actually kind of nice, wouldn't it? All right. Let's put this in here. We had nine pumpkin seeds. <laughs> should really look at my chest occasionally, huh? <laughs> there might be some useful stuff in there. Oh, we need broccoli too. I almost forgot. We'll get those done soon. The only thing we need broccoli for is like literally shipping. I don't think there's any new recipes with it. I also need to get my garlic seeds, but I need to make sure we don't accidentally get mixed seeds or ancient seeds by processing them. So I gotta do it, reset it. So let's do it at the beginning of the day. In fact, I can do that tomorrow. Just get it out of the way. I don't think I'm doing anything else today. I've got time, actually. If I got time, yeah, I should be chopping. I have time and energy. I have no money either, so it kind of doesn't matter if I pass out. Ooh. Nice coal. If I pass out, I'll lose a bit of energy tomorrow, but I can eat up to full. I've got plenty of, uh... I'd rather use as much of this energy as possible tonight. Still don't have Ancient Seed, you're kind of flabbergasted. I don't have the recipe that makes you feel any better. I will have to go into a save file editor to uh, correct that at some point if I want to hit perfection ever. forward to that. I was gonna go mining today, but, uh... Oh, yeah. Let's do this so we can reset the day. If it's bad. If it's one seed or none seeds, we reset. It's two! We did it! Alright. That could save the greenhouse. coffee again. We're officially out. We should buy a duck soon. Possibly today. She's not there today. Possibly tomorrow. No! Oh, gosh, I keep forgetting. You're not an acorn. Don't grow into these crappy wild trees. I don't need that. This area has only one purpose, and that is to produce. <sighs> like 
All of these are now useless. Those can't be tapped. If anyone's wondering why I'm killing them. Half from the mystery box. Yes, that's correct. Marshmallow, welcome in. Uh, stack check. As a single word. I can't buy it today, but I can definitely buy it tomorrow. I guess today is a gifting day. <sighs> Since we have nothing but time. Oof. Yeah, not the best stack check, unfortunately. We got it! Okay, that's um, a bundle complete. And that was the only holdup for the pantry, I believe. Yeah, so that's uh, cheese. I have cheese already, and then it's just a goat cheese. I've got that now, too. I just picked that up. It's actually in my inventory, right? Yeah. Oh. Broccoli's in here? Oh, we need to find broccoli quick. We might go to the mines just to hit crates. What's a keep combo? It is control shift one click. So click after holding control shift and the number one. It's supposed to be well hidden to make sure people don't press it on accident. That's not ready yet. Anything else in here? Oh, we were supposed to plant two of these. Oh, geez. <laughs> right. Don't scatterbrain yourself now. Where's my deluxe speed girl? Or my speed girl? I knew I left these corn things for a reason. How can you even see that? Okay, I think I hit them. All right, those are good. Woo! Don't want to forget that. My leftover taco meat bowl. Nice. Very good. All right, kill that. Put this in here. Okay, here, what's our plan here today? We need broccoli seeds. I think that would be... One of the smarter things we can do. Um, other than that, we we're gonna do gifting, right? I think that would be a good idea. So let's go ahead and go on a gifting rampage here. That's for Demetrius. Please. Okay, we've got coconuts now for Haley and Linus. Good. We can't go to the desert today. Oh wait, we need inventory space. Let's just take these two. So, oh, we don't need that for Haley. That's right. Okay, we'll take this one for Linus then. And we'll take this for Haley. This is for Carolyn. This is for uh, Evelyn. That's for <laughs> Penny, you know, for her thoughts. I think that's it for those ones. That's for Vincent. This would be for Sam, but we don't need it. Sam loves uh, cactus fruit. I have my pizza for Sam, though. Which we'll need no more pizzas. We bought exactly enough. How are you still alive? I'm having fun, cat. No, we are not doing a 999 <laughs> street today. No way, no how. Uh, actually, we'll leave one Aquamarine just in case we need it. Then Clint and uh, that there. 
Alright. Amethyst. Alright, let's actually go through and see what we have now. Oh, strawberry for Maru. And Demetrius? Yeah. There's enough here left for both of them. Because Maru's almost done. Pam we got, Lewis we got, Emily we got, Gus we have light gifts for. I'm not giving out diamonds yet, but we might get to that point. No, we're not doing a 999 stream. Don't listen. Johnny's a liar. Uh, Willie Willy will get pumpkins, but not yet. George gets a leak still, although we're running very low on them. That's for his birthday. Oh, speaking of birthdays, I don't think there's any today, but it's time to move on to our fall sheet here. Oh, it's literally Penny's birthday today. <laughs> okay, good thing I checked. Uh, we'll switch the crappy poppy over for a snazzy gold quality one. All right. Demetrius, we're good on. Pierre, we got a light gift. Alex, we got a light gift. Haley, we've got a sunflower. Robin, we need a peach for our favorite little Robin. Dwarf, we're good. Shane, we're good. Penny, we're good. Linus, we got coconut. Harvey, we got coffee. Sam, we got a pizza. Marnie, we have parsnip. Jody, we have a pars or a uh, hot pepper. Those are light gifts. Hi, Vin. Vins, I believe it would be. Welcome in. Sebastian, we need. Clint, we don't need. Emma, we're good. Coconuts. 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 I can go into Elliot's house. Coconuts. I can go into Elliot's house. When did that happen? Oh, that's too nice. All right. Um, we got Carolyn. We have them. We're not going to wizard today. We're going on Friday because it's too far out of the way. Jazz gets a daffodil. We're running low on those. Now we got enough for Jazz probably. And who was the other person I needed? I looked at them and I'm like, I can get them this. And then I just forgot who it was. Uh, oh, Sebastian needs a frozen tear. To be fair, you're already halfway done with the 999 stream. I know, but half is half. I'm not going to go all the way. <laughs> uh, Elliot? I guess we're still stuck with light gifts for Elliot, huh? I don't think anything... No pomegranate, no lobster. Oh, we could get squid ink from drops. I mean, we need one already from uh, other things, so maybe not yet. Doug, a visit? Yeah, it's once per week because he's a little bit uh, he's a little bit trouble with the stairs, so I don't want to take him up too much. I have to carry him. All right, let's go. We are also looking for uh, Fall Forges today. So any that I see would be good. Hi, Marnie. Marnie, take my parsnip. Take it. All right, is Jazz still in here? I think Jazz is still in here. Nope. Uh, Jazz must be over by traveling cart. Or is she at school? I should actually check. Walking over here is a waste. Fall Tuesday, sunny. Oh, there's no uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday the 9th. Tuesday the 23rd. If not, no, that's not it. Okay. Leaves goes home, goes to the museum. Okay, she's at the museum right now. She's good. She good. I also have to go to the mines today and kill six slime, red slimes. But that's like super easy. I'm not worried about that. Oh, good. We have the board. 
Oh, the board's really good here. Only Sam's in here. Sam gets his pizza. Pizza time! <laughs> On the plus side, Marnie has moved far enough that I can now open this. And this. Okay. Haley gets a sunflower. Penny works on her birthday? I guess it's what she loves. I wouldn't work on my birthday. I hunger. What do you hunger for? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we're doing that one, huh? We need both, but that's a great one to start with. Having monster musk that early is so nice. Go get your Chinese food. Enjoy strawberry. Don't mess this up. Woo! Aww. <laughs> How can I not marry her again? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Mm. I have to marry Abby. <laughs> I married Penny last time. She's basically full though. That's good. The nice thing is once you start finish, finish, finishing gifting people, like you just get to ignore them from now on. <laughs> That sounds really bad, but like, it's so nice when you're doing gifting. Once they hit max hearts, you can just stop bringing them gifts. That does sound terrible, doesn't it? Okay, Elliot is a fruit lover. We don't have anything else for him yet, so... Dang it, Elliot. I'm like, literally inside you right now. Okay. You have served your purpose. Yeah, it kind of works like that, actually. Come on. Give me that forging experience. Alright, and Willy is a... Uh, that's it for things I just picked out of there, right? Yes. What does Willy get? Willy gets a. Let's see what bait he has. Lava eel bait? Oh, if I had money, I might buy that. Alright, um. Willy likes veggies? Sure. Parsnip for Willy. Uh, we got Leah already. Is Lewis back in his house? Nope. Okay. Let's get this family done with. Leak for George. Where is Evelyn today? Get a fruit, right? No, Alex gets a vegetable. I haven't done like the light gift thing before and uh, it's definitely worth it. I'm already going around gifting. Just ignoring people is pointless. All right, Pierre. Pierre gets a parsnip. And then all of these girls. Let's line this up. Not Evelyn, that's for sure. Not Abby. 
That's for Linus. Uh, oh, Spangle for Carolyn. All right, Jody is first. I think Jody just gets, uh, yeah, Jody just gets this. I already gifted Marnie, right? Yep. Alright, I wonder where Abby's at today. Oh, she's out by the wizard's hut, isn't she? I might have to get her on the way back. Yeah, Alex, I should be giving gold quality eggs to Alex now. I'm doing pretty decent. I think I did give him an iridium quality egg on his birthday, if he had one. That's why we have him so high up. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll get lots of prismatics. I'd prefer not to use them for this, though, if I can avoid it. All right, who have we not gifted yet today? Where is Evelyn today? Is she just right down here? She usually is, right? Uh, nope. Hmm. All right, so we need Sebastian, Linus, Demetrius Maru, Abby, Evelyn, and Dwarf. Oh, and uh, this one's pretty easy. Let's get Pam really quick. Abby, please, that's terrifying. Don't you usually stand here? Whatever. Did that move? I think she moved. Okay, and then let's head on up to the mines. Give the dwarf something nice to chew on. Oh, I love it when I see three people I'm looking for right away. Ten yet? You're only at five? Oof. Okay, and hopefully Maru isn't here. I think she's at work, though. Yeah, she's at work. Oh, I forgot about Harvey, too. Oh, work just closed! Oh, I walked right by it! I'm so dumb. I was going from building to building, and I didn't even think about it. Um, well... It means Maru will be heading home, right? Guess I can catch her on the way down. Pretty sure I'm not even allowed to enter here. <laughs> Gosh, that's so dumb. Close it for like everyone else. Stupid doctor. She's still in there. When does she leave? Ah, uh, hey Tommy. Uh, Haley Cat says she loves your 999 stack challenge. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome in. Anyways, bye. Bye, Tommy. All right, let's see here. We are gonna go for. Let's check Maru's uh, movements here. Maybe she just like stays in here. Oh, that's so annoying if she does. We are in fall. It is a Tuesday. Yeah, she doesn't leave until 4.45. What's she doing in there? They're not even open. Thank you, my friend, Lem. Let's see what Harvey does too. Oh, Harvey's in there too, right? What are they both doing in there with the door locked? Literally cannot visit Harvey today because he does not leave his house cleaning things. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just joking around. Uh, all right, let's find out where Evelyn is. Because I do need to find her. Tuesday the 2nd. They're in there right now. Evelyn's in there right now. But it closes at 3 for some reason, even though they're still working. Ugh. Gosh. Hi, Icy Diamonds. Analyzing samples with illegal drugs, perhaps. Half the people I need to gift are still in there. Actually, like, all of them I need to gift. I can't even gift Harvey today. I can't believe I forgot to go in. That's on me. That would have been everyone else. I would have been done. 
Alright, who's left? Maru. Oh, we didn't we didn't gift Gus, so I can go do that while I'm waiting. Gus is not a fruit enjoyer, unfortunately. But he does like veggies. Come on, oh, hash browns. Oh, we might be in a little trouble. How am I gonna get plum pudding? Check the cart. It's the only way. Evelyn, you made it. Uh huh. I almost want to wait here because Maru's gonna walk out this door in about um, 20 seconds here. There's nothing I can do but wait. Uh, I guess I can come up here and look for Forge. Haley's over there. I already got Haley. Come on, Maru. Eight! We're done! Woo! No more Maru. Goodbye, Maru. I'm tired of you. Oh, there's one forge. Whoa. Grab, please. <laughs> you you want to grab the hazelnut? That's our first person done. And now we can uh, go to the... Hold on, let's put our gifts away in the gifting area. There we go. We'll take our hazelnut. I guess we can donate this too, right? Yeah. We're also going to take some wood. Because I was smart enough to actually make some this time. And we'll take the leisurely route around. And see if we pick up any forge along the way here. Catfish are so mean. <laughs> They can be really nice, which is super annoying because a lot of the time they're mean. And when they're nice, you're like, why weren't you like this before? It's just random, really. We want broccoli. No one's seen any like seed things on the ground, right? I was looking for them. I didn't see any. Let's check up here. Uh, wild plum, at least. I don't see any uh, artifact spots. All right, I gotta run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, Stardew. Boom. Found it. Oh, I see worms over here. They won't give me the uh, thing I'm looking for, but I'll take a book. A book now means I won't get a book later. What's the um what's the forge we're missing? We have the common in there already. There's one more thing in fall. 
Anyone know it offhandedly? Because I can't think of it. Uh, hazelnut, wild plum, and... It's not blackberry, is it? I'll have to wait on that if it is. Yeah, we're going in anyways, so... Let's do our drop-off. Mushroom bla It is blackberry. Interesting. Take the free keg. Nothing there. Get that in there. What does this give you, by the way? Ooh, I'll take a jar. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, I don't have anything for this yet, do I? No. That's why we need the broccoli, though. And the only other one here is this guy. Oh, I always do this. There we go. I don't go fast enough. It is. So we do have to wait for blackberry season for that one. Oh, and we brought these on purpose, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Get that done. I think that gives us a... Yeah, a charcoal kiln. Okay, anything else to drop off? I think that was it, actually. Rather than walking all the way over there, let's just check. Pantry's looking good. Craft room's looking good. Fish tank. We're gonna probably need to get that lava eel. Uh, I need to get a... I have a trap bobber. I might need a fishing buff. They aren't a joke. Tiger trout? I can catch that now, can't I? It's a fall fish. And then walleye is a rain fish. So I need rain for that one. And then that's it. There's three fish we need for this bundle. And then this is the, uh, this is the toughie. What's nice is that friendship is two hearts, right? Like, that's a lot of friendship. It might only be one. So we're working on this one right now. We need 10k for this, but we'll have money soon. This appears on the 17th. The 17th of fall, there's free ones all over town. So we can get that one. This will just happen over fall. This is our tough one. We're basically waiting on this. <laughs> if we can find this before winter, awesome. If we can't, we're kind of... um. Kind of stuck, unfortunately. <laughs> so we're going to be checking Gus every day, and we're going to be checking the cart the two times it shows up. And Maki Roll, as soon as I get my house upgrade, I can cook that. And if it's in the cart, I might just buy it. Okay, nothing else is on me, so let's go. How's the gladiatorial combat going? might actually go to the mines. We've got some energy left and a little bit of time. Let's drop off this stuff first, though. There, that's a good spot for those. Then we can fit another bit up here. I'll put another melon in. And we'll put another four hops in. Good. I have one catfish, so not so well. How many do you need? Three? Ooh, that is rough. I don't know if I'd accepted a quest for three catfish. Uh, I don't need this. That's money for later. So is this. I guess it doesn't matter whether you accept it or not, huh? Ah, you just need the money. I see. Uh, let's go for another cloth. We will need more. We'll get some from our rabbits later on. At worst. Kitty! I didn't see any crows, so I think we're good on that front. 
Man, I'd really like that second maple syrup. <laughs> Where are you? Grow already. I guess I should have put two tappers on the maples. That reminds me. We should um, finish tapping all this if we can. 12. We got a bunch of acorns. A bunch of these. Let's get these grown up, huh? Rip my stone, but it's worth it. We need to get these kegs going. I think it's time to uh, fill this in too. So stuff stops spawning in between. I think I cleared this out this morning, actually. I literally cannot see. Oh, here's one. Okay, perfect. I just wanted the one here. Alright, let's go. on the undone seeds first yeah I didn't get all of them but we got some of them we got another acorn I think that's all of them actually <laughs> okay that's fun all right and yeah we might just make pathing now through all this I think it's some time to put down pathing anyways. All right, let's see here. We don't really have good wood pathing and that's kind of the only thing we can do with pathing right now. And by good, I mean pretty. I don't have pretty wood pathing right now. Trade Omni for artifact troves. I think it is more profitable to go Artifact Trove, actually, Sandor. I'm not 100% on that, but I thought it was. Just because the hits for Artifact Trove are so big. Like those treasure chests and pearls. Like, nothing comes close to that in an Geode. You have a 1 in 1,000 chance of a Prismatic Shard, but... You have a 1 in 37 chance of a... Uh, of a treasure chest with the artifact trove. If you sell an Omni, it's zero. Yeah, you, you don't sell Omnis. Keep them for trading at most. At worst. Uh, I do not have enough pathing. I also haven't bought the uh, good wood paths. I guess we can do these. I'd rather keep my wood though. At worst, I have to clear it out later. It'll be fine. Did you get Meowmere? No, I have not. I know where it is, uh, but I don't have an ancient doll. Even if I did, I would donate it first. My weapon, I already like the weapon I have better than Meowmere is, so <laughs> I'll probably just stick with this one. Oh, Geode Crusher doesn't need coal anymore. That's true, so it's free to open them. If you miss food, a Musa food recipe, do you have to start a new game? Uh, no, because there's a new way. First of all, I'm not going to miss one probably because I, I watch my TV every day. But also, there's a way to get all recipes early, serious. Also, you can get them from watching reruns as well. So even under the worst case scenario, like I can usually be fine with them. Oh, come in. Hello. No bombs. We gotta... <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. 
Well, it's a good way to use up my energy today. Nicely done. I actually didn't think I'd be able to fill up my... Fill these up today, but, um... We're too short, so we should be able to. Oh, hold on. Almost didn't see you there. <gasps> the slimes! I forgot about the slimes! I can't turn it in anyways. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Insane luck for a horrible luck day that we had. Like, that should not have happened as well as it did. Alright, I think we leave this here and head on out. Yeah. Can we get out of our inventory here? Good. All of it. Oh, yeah. We have to do that, too. Good to know. Woo! Yeah, you cannot open the troves with the crusher. Uh, <laughs> but with the um, trove book, it might be still more profitable. Ooh, there's, there's layers here. Like an onion. Onion's not here, though. Yep, I got them growing for you, Marnie. Don't worry. Now we got so much money coming in from this. A dehydrator good question mark? <laughs> I love the dehydrators. I think they're cool. I just think they're pretty neat. Maple syrup yet. It's still trying to grow. Come on, maple syrup. We need to get a duck. Probably today if we can. Get a duck. Also buy a bunch of copper to smelt. It's a busy day. Also gift everyone in town. Also check the luck. I didn't do that. Not great. Gifting today. Yes. All right. We'll do that then. That'll be fine. For Leah. Getting the gifting out of the way is super nice to do. Pam good, Lewis good, Maru all good. Emily. We're running a bit low on these, huh? Penny. She might be done here. We'll start using the gold ones because there's no reason not to. We save those for birthdays, but why not use them right now? In fact, that probably applies to these too, right? Like we've got so many, like just, just use the gold quality peppers. That'll get people up friendship so much faster. Why am I bothering with this? 
low quality pepper garbage. Uh, same with parsnips? No, one's for Pam's birthday, which has already happened actually. We'll use as many of those as we can. If you found any Easter eggs, I know about probably all of the marshmallows. Leah, we got Vincent, so snail, I'm sorry, grape, leek, one of these. Running low on leeks. This always happens to me. We'll use a grape. Until we're down to one grape, who cares? Really good. Pierre, as good as it can be. Haley, Sunflower, Robin, Peach. Sunflower. Oh, over here. Yeah, use the Sunflower. We're not getting back around to Haley's birthday. Use the gold stuff. Uh, Carolyn. Evelyn. We're running out of tulips for Evelyn, too. Fairy Rose are growing, but not very quickly. Internet's being rude. Uh, it's probably the power outages, right? Espresso. Have you done after the book, Melly? <laughs> I'm curious what that profit's gonna be. I think it might, like, it doubles the price of the artifacts, right? So wouldn't that technically double the amount you get, which would make it better? Uh, we got that one. Alex is good. Linus Coconut. Sam Cactus Fruit. Oh, I'm sorry, Espresso. That's unfortunate. Hey, Nutmeg. Do you have to all... Oh, sorry. Do you have to do all of the different types of wine and different sprites like row? Ah, I had to do them before that. So it's if they have different names, then I have to stack them. I'm not doing the stacking challenge right now, though. We're just having fun in 1.6. We're doing a different challenge. But yeah, in general, uh, I just have to get every single differently named item. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Oh, it triples the price. That's right. I forgot it. It's not double. It's triple. Oh, yeah. That definitely makes the artifact true. Oh. Oh, but you have to divide it by five, don't you? <laughs> or is that already taken into account? That might already be taken into account. There. All right, anyways, uh, who are we gifting? <laughs> Linus, Shane, Sam, we got. Marnie is just a parsnip. Sebastian, that's already taken into account. Okay, yeah, the troves are better then, which makes sense. <laughs> it's harder to get them. Uh, all right, Sebastian gets his frozen tear. I always forget that. And Sebastian... Clint, we're good, good. I actually have to remember to go see him today. <laughs> Evelyn, we're good. Carolyn, we're good. Wizard, we don't go to. Jazz is, I hate you. Um, <laughs> Elliot's good. All right, we're good. We do need to sell stuff for money, so we'll sell that today. That's a lot of money, actually. Do we need all that? We need to buy a duck. We should probably just sell it all, just in case. Put one of these in here. Poor Jazz. Oh, she needs a daffodil. Oh my gosh. I was like, I was, I have it set. But uh, I might as well just give her a daffodil. If I see her. There they are. Let's go. I don't hate Jazz. I just hate all the things that she likes. <laughs> Doesn't sound much better, does it? <laughs> I'm sure the wiki takes that into account. 
I don't think they sell for very much anyways, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Booksellers tomorrow. Good to know. Elliot's birthday is coming up. I'll get a squid ink for him or something. Kill two ghosts. I'll try. Alright, Pam. You're here. Alex is not fruity. He's parsnippy. Your hair is pretty, I guess. Uh, <laughs> congrats on your hair. range for a gold quality love gift oh no we're not we're close though all right i'm going in here first so i don't forget shut up barbie you keep dodging me man take my gifts all right go in here it's wednesday it's actually wednesday today Ooh, <laughs> not a fan of that. Okay. I wanted a duck. I guess we can still get the duck. Do we buy a wind way of the wind book tomorrow? We might. Yeah, I did see that seven. I just, I don't have a <laughs> anything for that. Uh, jazz daffodil. That's right. Elliot gets a fruit. It's not a spoiler seven. Yeah, I know about it. It's really, it's really convenient. It actually makes Joja Cola useful. It's a very short speed boost, but. Uh, anything else we picked up there? Looks good to me. Most people are in the early game right now. All right, uh, hold on. I just realized something. How much does a duck cost? Quack. 1200, I can afford that. I was like, how am I gonna make the money? I have a bunch of fish in here I don't need. Uh, three tuna, sell the, fl keep the flounder. We might need those. Three tuna, is that 1200? It might be, sell mullet. So one flounder. We definitely don't need the chubs, right? Uh, just in case. Just enough. All right, what else do we need here? Yeah, I mean, I'm going on vacation soon, so. Wait, why do I have two of these? I was supposed to only have one, dang. Uh, how are we even gonna get to Carolyn today? Does she even come outside today? I don't think she does. So we can't. Guess Willie just gets a parsnip then. I already got you at six hearts. Hi, Abby. Take this, please. Since we're passing by. And uh, I am going to go this way. To get Clint this. And we'll stop by 
the saloon to give Gus a gift. And possibly Emily or Haley. It takes Gus a second to walk down. So let's go this way first. All right, we're almost ready to date Emily if we want to. How far is Abby away? Her birthday is coming up though, so it'll be fine. Do you owe me push-ups? Do I? If I do, I'll do them. I didn't realize I did though. Where the heck is Jody? I can give Elliot lobsters. Jeez, Leah. I don't have enough yet though. But that will probably be the thing I do next. We already got Harvey today. Alright, Marnie gifting time. Oh, Lewis is here. I think I already got him, though. Marnie gets a... Well, let's buy first so we don't forget. We get a ducky. Alright, chat. Name the ducky. We're not naming him that. <laughs> What are we calling the ducky? We only need the one. Honestly, I should buy two, but... <laughs> Spam? Okay. Ah, oh, too bad, Onyx. Strawberry got it first with a shorter name. Alright. Marnie gets Parsnip again. Quacks. Good names, though. Ducky is a good name for a duck. I don't think anyone would dispute that. Alright, we've already gifted Jazz today. Who have we not gifted yet? Maru, because we don't need to. Demetrius, Pierre. I don't know, do we even see Pierre today? Does he not leave his shop? He might not. He almost never does. Uh, Robin. Yeah, we got that. We gotta go up to Robin's place then to get all four of them. Shane's working. He'll be at the bar later. I guess, like, everyone's gonna be at the bar later. I probably should go up to Robin's first. Is this only year one? Yes. <laughs> we're trying to go for a minimum day's perfection, so basically we're gonna try and get as much accomplished as possible. We got Evelyn. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Evelyn's there! Do I need Evelyn? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably did. Okay, I can do that in just a second, Unki. I feel slow. Oh, don't worry. I am. First of all, I'm very experienced with this game. But second of all, like, I am planning things pretty meticulously. Yeah, you should not feel bad comparing yourself to this. I'm also, like, not reading dialogue. I'm skipping cutscenes. I'm... I could even miss festivals. I'm trying not to miss festivals, because I think we're just having fun here a little bit. This isn't... I'm going not going for, like, maximum... Uh, hi, Maru. Please watch out. <laughs> Wood floor, please? I'd rather just hold out for the rustic plank flooring. Gosh, I'm gonna have to come through and buy all these later when I have money. Uh, friend friendship in terms of um, talking to people. Yes, I believe 7 Espresso. Friendship in terms of um, like, like going to the festival. I think the Luau does. I don't think any of the others do. Linus. Linus, please. Don't run away from me. Christmas does too. There you go. Yep. 
Good call. I haven't seen Sam yet today. I didn't mean to grab two of these. Where does Sam hang out today anyways? Sam Wednesday's sunny fall. Fall 11, not there yet. Regular schedule then. Forest, forest, <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. To death, to leopard. Wish I had known that earlier because I was just down there. Yeah, exactly what I was saying, fairy. I wasn't 100% sure if it counted the same, but I know that you, that's one of the ways you can get friendship. It's helpful because they're all just like laid out, right? Which makes it a lot easier to talk to as many people. Come on, oh, bean hot pot. That's actually not bad because it's Demetrius love gift, but I have enough Demetrius love gifts. Oh, please Gus, you just gotta give me that plum pudding. Okay, um, I am officially going to search the wiki and see if there's any special circumstances where you get plum pudding in. It's a jazz love gift. <laughs> the wiki says plum pudding is not used in any bundles. Thanks, wiki. Way to be wrong. <laughs> okay. Not updated yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, flower dance. Uh, I did not have the friendship for the flower dance the first time around. I could have gone for that. That's a steam achievement now, isn't it? Right, um, we're gonna quickly check Carolyn's, Carolyn and Pierre's schedule on Wednesdays. Do they just not leave? They might just not leave. That's so annoying. Pierre, I don't wanna buy. I just don't wanna, I just wanna walk into your shop. No, yeah, he does not leave his shop. Is this right? Oh my gosh. He only leaves his shop on Friday and only if it's not raining. What a busybody. Okay. <laughs> Carolyn, on the 3rd of fall, on a Wednesday. Oh, she's at the... Uh... Oh, she's out right now. Okay, sweet. I can go to her at least. Screw Pierre. We don't need him. Carolyn's right up here. Alright. I think we got everyone then. Everyone we care about at least. Oh, uh, Shane. Well, I did say everyone we care about. We also didn't get Sam, did we? Oh, that's where Sam is, that's right. Where's Jody right now? Jody Fall Wednesday. Uh, it's, she's at Joja Mart. Okay. I can make that work. Uh, there's going to be an ad in just a second. I'll see you guys on the other side of it. Sorry. Pops up every once in a while. Owned Shane. <laughs> I kind of want to look at Jody's love gifts again, actually. I do have chocolate cake. I might want to start giving that because I'm not going to use it for anything else, I don't think. I got none of this other stuff, though. Oh! Shane's here? I mean, Sam's here? I'm so confused. Well, Sam's here. And Jody. did are you sure Pretty sure that was yesterday i guess i gave him one 
Harvey we got today as well. So I must have missed Shane the other day. All right, we're good then. Oh, we'll go this way. Oh, there's our Blackberry. I forgot they can spawn on the ground. I thought I had to wait for Blackberry season. Shane owned, Shane gifted. All right, let's drop all this off. Do I need anything tomorrow? Tomorrow's a Thursday. We've gifted almost everyone in town. I'm just gonna sell this. Let's just have the money on us. Like. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt me to have money on me. Just don't pass out or die. Easy. Bread go here. Plums go here. Can we go to the mines? We have a lot of energy left. It's not like bad luck days affect uh, getting ore too much. Let's put this in here too. Uh, I think we're going to marry Abby, which is kind of a poor decision just because <laughs> it's going to take longer, but after her birthday, we'll be fine. Oh, that's right. It's a ghost. I have to kill ghosts. I can do that really quick. I just need a little bit more gold first. Diamond doesn't hurt. Yeah, there was, but um, can't be bothered with all that. Now, it'd be cool to see Marshmallow. I hope someone chose me. But uh, I've already married Maru, so I want to try different people as much as possible. <laughs> I will tempt CA all I want. Bring it on, CA. Is this update the best you can do? Double the size of my challenge, that's it? <laughs> the flickering lights. Oh. Nose for Ratu. Oh gosh, that's an officially super old reference now, isn't it? I know SpongeBob, okay. <laughs> Good. I'm glad someone here does. I was worried. Just double. Need lots of rocks for now. Eventually we won't need more rocks, but for now we still do. We need to start considering the house upgrade too. That needs to happen somewhat soon. House upgrade is 10k and 450 wood. I have the wood. And I have the money, actually. I should do it tomorrow. Basically, we want to keep Robin working, like, non-stop here. For all of fall. Hate to say it. Love Robin. But uh, we got stuff we could be doing. Probably Deluxe Coop will be after a uh, house upgrade. Oh, it's too late now, but I was going to buy uh, copper today. Oh, come on, really?
All right, there we go. Now we can go kill ghosts. We're also looking for a prismatic slime or something. I don't know. Let me know if you guys see it. Dude, screw the bat. That's one ghost. Nope. Diamond. Nope. Ruby. Either one of them could have been the prismatic slime in disguise. We have to root out all evil. dealt with. Who do we talk to about that? Wizard! Is it tomorrow? Can I go tomorrow? Yeah, okay. We're good on that. Okay, so now we want to hit 85. Slime check. Not changing color. Slime check. You look like you were changing color for a minute there, man. Slime check. Zero slimes. Back to zero. Change the color. Nope. All right, we read fishing books. No, we don't want to go here. Changing color slime. Man, I'd really like to get that today. I don't think we're going to though. Probably shouldn't be going for this if I wanted to get it today, but you know. Oh. Huh? Oh, it's slightly off color. That's a really good place to check. That's a good idea. Let's keep doing that one. Whoops. How did I even. I was 56. Come on, give me a ladder. I need a ladder. It was not 56. Was that 66? Or did the floors just change? <laughs> uh, a little bit, Marshmallow, but not like... If it was that stressful, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> It's mostly fine. Oh yeah, it was definitely here. I'm just dumb. All right, last chance here. Come on. It's a slime fork. None of them are prismatic. I don't know why I said none of them. Like it's ever more than one to begin with. Wow, my inventory is crazy. All right, let's uh, drop off the stuff here. Look 
looks pretty good to me. Let's bring some of these back with me. Not doing floor five strats. I think uh, higher floors are better. But there specifically, I was going to a slime floor. And it's more likely to spawn on a slime floor because there's just more slimes. I will do that strat later, Leah. Welcome back, Strawberry. Definitely not opposed to that strat. This was trying something a little different first. Alright, made it. Oh, I made some money, I guess. That must be my 100k earnings. 14,000, nice. Is the wiki being updated in real time? Yeah. It's a lot of information. Wait, it's raining today? Was it? Terrible luck. Okay, well, we're going um, fishing anyways today. Oh, prismatic slime. All right, let's take a look at our fall fish here. What do we absolutely need for fall? Walleye, salmon. Do any of these require sunny? Nothing requires sunny weather. Okay, we're good. Sea cucumber. Thank you for the follow. It was... Cat stalker. Welcome in. Alright. Fall fishies. We've got the snapper, so we're good on that. Salmon is morning. Walleye is night. Good to know. Worst luck does not mean more monsters. I wish it did. That'd be nice. No, luck does not affect monster spawns. Salmon, walleye. Let's make a list and check it twice. We don't need the eels. We have those done. Sea cucumber. Sorry, I have my, my stream information off right now. I'll thank whoever followed in just a second. Tiger Trout. Oh, we do need Midnight Carp as well. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark that down. And Angler. All right, we can get all those fishies today. We just gotta be good. Can I be good? Let's find out, chat. Thank you for the follow. Blondie, thank you for the follow. Jackie, welcome in both of you. I hope you're both having wonderful days so far today. There, there. Blackberry goes to the CC. Four hops, four melons, four now. <laughs> Let's grab the blueberries as well. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Snowy disposition. Hope you're doing well today. Get these going. Oh, and uh, let's not forget our milk pail. We're going to need that today. I was hoping that changed. I know. It makes sense that it... It worked that way, but it'd be nice to have like something you know you want to do on bad luck days. Right now it just feels bad <laughs> when you have a bad luck day, which I guess, I guess it makes sense <laughs> that it feels bad. Oh, there's my milk pill. Okay, can we milk the other one now? Whoop, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Did I see that there was, like, indicators now for, um... Really bad luck? Like, if you get the worst luck or the best luck, there's an indication of that now? I thought I saw that somewhere. Doo -doo. Plug all this in. Oh, 
Who do we need to gift today? Because we're probably going to walk by them. We have to go talk to the wizard anyways. So let's bring him a gift. It has to be today, so... Whoops, wrong ones. Okay. Uh, Maru, we no longer need a gift because she's at eight. Pierre, I don't want to even look at his face. We were going to do the house upgrade today, too. 10k, I can do it. Harvey needs a gift. Good call, good call. I've got my Harvey gift on me at all times, though. It's coffee. Shane needs a gift. Somehow I missed Shane earlier. Oh, yeah, let's grab it from here. Pierre. Pierre gets a parsnip, right? Yeah. Pierre, Shane, Harvey. Yep. Wizard. Good. Let's go. Uh, 450 wood for the house upgrade. That's almost all of it. Remember when I had wood? I swear, I just keep going from a billion wood to zero wood. Like, near constantly. Alright, and I should bring some food. Just in case here. That's not very much food. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Are we still on Kale? We're kind of low on Kale. That's enough energy. Alright, let's go. What perfection percent are we on? Not very much. Uh, we won't be until near the end. How far are we into the 999 challenge? We're not playing it today. I was at 95%. Um, now I'm not. Now I'm not even close to that. We have to update the spreadsheet to find out completely. I think it's going to be like 50. I could be wrong about that, but I'm feeling 50. I have 35 T-sets. T-sets are not the thing that takes a lot of percentage, though. Whole Queen! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! How was your stream? What were you all up to? Hope you all had a wonderful time. For those of you who don't know me, my name is The Algorithm. I do some different kinds of Stardew challenges. Right now, we're trying to get perfection in as few days as possible in the 1.6 update. Yes, and you guys should all check out Whole Queen. I'm sure they're a wonderful streamer. Oh, come on, be gentle. Oh, that was a catfish. That was the, that was so gentle. Restarted Meadowlands Farm. You restarted. Interesting. Did you like have better ideas of what you could do this time, or did you just start a new farm on 1.6? Is what you meant? Hi, sh. Hey, Shade Love, or Shale Loved, rather. Welcome in. I wanted the Remix CC. Ah, yep, yeah, we're doing Remixed as well. We got a lot of fun bundles. What year are you in? This is year one, Fall 4. We're looking for Salmon right now. Welcome in, Steph. Yeah, that statue's gonna take a while. Salmon or walleye? You're a salmon. Good. We got one. We need two salmon, actually. Oh, no, we don't. I think we just need the one, actually. Because we caught it, and we can use it. Oh, we almost uh, lost the perfect there. Well, we have two now, anyways. <laughs> can I catch walleye yet? I think it's not until noon. Yeah, this is still salmon. All right, let's see. We got our salmon then. Walleye, sea cucumber, tiger trout. Let's check those really quickly here. 
Uh, Tiger Trout is still available. Walleye won't be available until noon. Midnight Carp's not until very late. And then Sea Cucumber's obviously not here. Walleye's a night fish. Yeah. Afternoon, at least, it looked like. Well, let's see if we can get a prize ticket. I've forgotten. I haven't gotten one in a while. Okay, we need to... Is it just these two? Oh, because we already gifted people. All right, let's go gift our friends Harvey and our not-so-friend Pierre. Oh, we can also see this. Oh, the bookseller's here today, too. Oh, man. I would actually really like <laughs> a book. Uh, I have to pay. Blackberry for Marnie. I'm holding one, but it's mine. Shane working today? Yes, Shane's working today. That's nice and easy then. I'm gonna head over there anyways. Stuck in the die bunder. No cacti or iridium yet. Yep. That's a tough one. Eat the pepper, Shane! Eat the pepper! Why don't you like Pierre? I don't actually dislike him, but it's a meme to dislike him. He seems fine to me. He never leaves his house, which is a little unfortunate. I might like him more if he actually interacted with people. I can afford these. <laughs> uh, oh, it'd be really nice to have that. Oh, I can afford this. Yeah, we're buying that. Ta-da! I know the price of everything. All my homies hate Pierre. I'm also gonna go buy a telephone. Got my walleye. Uh, what's that's for a bundle? I don't think it's for anything else, right? Let's double check here with a search walleye. Hello, it's person. Bundle, quality fish bundle. Nope, nothing else. Nice. Thank you for the follows, Trixie Days, or. I guess it's just starry days because uh, the X is an A. Welcome in. Hey, Petite, welcome back. Oh, we have remixed. But we do have the bundle that has the walleye. Hey, Blariar. Tiger Trout? Oh, this is a Tiger Trout, too. Oh, we are on fire. Dude, where's my CC run? Okay. Now we just need the angler, which is the whole reason we came over here. Can you catch the angler in the rain? I'm going to assume yes. There it is. I'm actually goaded. Easiest, easiest fall fish of my life. <laughs> okay, we're done. My remix pantries, uh, I can't even check, I don't think. Uh, this one goes in here. This one goes to Marnie. This goes in here. This goes in here. Tiger truck goes in here too? Salmon doesn't go. Okay. <laughs> that was annoyingly easy. I agree. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go buy a house upgrade and a phone from our good friend Robin here. You see me, like, obnoxiously hiding behind that bush with my big-ass hat. I didn't know the meteors could give you that. Maybe that. Maybe that's new. 
tomato argument. Shop first. A telephone is 2,000? Okay, I guess we're not buying that then. Uh, that's unfortunate. We'll just have to keep checking for a while. Where's the wood chipper? Oh, wood chipper's not available until winter, right? Why is the telephone 2,000? I can't sell anything to get that. Ugh, fine. Just upgrade my house, girl. It's the legend that you can only get in the rain, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, they only produce twice after festival, unless you have speed grow, in which case they produce three times. Oh, meteors are guaranteed in the new update? Oh, that's so cool to have a prizzy. Serious, thank you so much for the follow. All right, uh, a few things we gotta do. We gotta give this to Marnie. We have to go check Gus's shop. And ideally, we go catch a sea cucumber, but I think they end at four, which, you know, with our fishing luck, we might want to even give that a try. Oh, they go to seven. Okay, yeah, we can go do that then. We need two midnight carp as well, but that shouldn't be too hard. Honestly, we might want more just so we can have a... Uh... I don't like to try and catch the glacier fish without a seafoam pudding. <laughs> We'll have to um, cook one anyways, but just having a second would be nice. Where's Gus? <laughs> Alright. Gus? It might be his um, appointment date, huh? Specifically, Fall 4. Alright, he'll be at, back at the bar at 4. Where is Marnie? Marnie on Fall 4, Thursday. Raining Thursday. She's working. Who could have guessed? Can I sell anything? I don't need another duck. Dang it, Sam. I really wanted to open those trash cans. I'll get them on the way back. What's 10 hours? Oh, streaming. Yeah, we hit 10 hours. Sweet. Uh, we have no money. Why is Penny teaching you cursive? Teach her something useful, like computer programming. Trash. Trash. I guess I already hit these. <laughs> Do not recall that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we're getting for our prize ticket today. Oh, that's really important. Oh, I should have gone here first. <laughs> oh, there's a fish smoker in here. Sweet. I don't even have to buy the recipe. Well, I do, because I have to craft it. Oh, uh, because people are new. Um, it just increases friendship gain. I think only from talking. I'm not 100% sure, though. Your power is hanging by a thread. Hold on tight. It's gonna be rough. Alright, Sea Cucumber. I need two of you, and I have three hours. What can you do for me? I don't think that's a sea cucumber. Penny doesn't know computer programming. I don't know physics. I still teach it. <laughs> Who's going to read the old documents? Well, that's like a specialized thing, right? You can learn cursive in college if you, if you need to read those old documents. You have a laptop, thankfully. Yeah, unfortunately, the laptop isn't uh, internet equipped if uh, the power goes out, right? But yeah, you can still play Stardew. That's good. 
You're still streaming? Yeah. Welcome back, Kitsune. I imagine we won't be going for too much longer here. If this is a sea cucumber, I'll stop streaming at the end of the day. Nope. Okay. We're going. <laughs> actually, it might be. I don't remember what the pattern is, actually. <laughs> I'm acting like I know. Okay. How many of these sardines, anchovies are we gonna get? A lot, apparently. Hyperfixation? Enjoying myself, you mean, espresso? That's what I'm doing. I'm having fun. That's one. Need one more. Wait, do I? I don't think I do, actually. Alright, let's sell before we forget here. Salmon bait. No need. I could buy this. Um, I think we only need the one sea cucumber, actually. If so, I'm just gonna leave. Sea cucumber. Uh, lucky lunch. And that's it. It can be requested as a delivery. So... It's actually probably a good chance of that. I'll do one more cast. If I get it, I get it. If not, we'll move on. Fun in this economy? Uh, six and a half more hours is a lot, Chunky. <laughs> Alright. We'll spend the rest of the night trying to find that prismatic slime. That gosh diddly darn prismatic slime. Be nice if we got that today, too. Oh, yeah, that's all fish except for Midnight Carp, which we can't even catch until midnight. Which I can do that, too, actually, today. Because it'll be right next to the mines. Saloon! Oh, my goodness. Good call, Blariar. Oh. Good chatter. <laughs> it's so hard to remember all this stuff. Hey, Moose Wolf, welcome in. Back to back. All right, give it to me. A uh, red plate. That's not the thing I wanted it to be. Oh, it's 10 p.m. Awesome. It's probably till 2 a.m. I don't think it would stop at midnight. Okay, that's good that we have a little more time then. All right, let's drop some of these things off here. Uh, Alright, yeah, we bring the rest of this with us. Along with um, some of these for food. Eat the kale first. It'll be good. <laughs> yep. The catfish is so random. Sometimes it's just the evilest thing in the world, and sometimes it just sits there. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I caught a... Uh, <laughs> caught a bream, and <laughs> it's a catfish. Like, what... What are you doing, Catfish? Do your job. No slimes. No slime. Come on, Prismatic. There's a diamond over there. That's gonna be hard to ignore. Standing inside me. Yeah, they're usually rude. It's just the the one 
one time out of ten when they're just like super randomly nice to you. <laughs> that really gets you. Random people, randomly. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I'll take more diamonds. This is a good floor for uh, combat XP. Dude, die please. Okay. Not randomly switching colors. Okay. Was this worst luck day? I think it was just normal bad luck day, right? Hi, Debbie. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. I'm having a great stream. Thanks for asking. It was the skull? Wait, what was the skull? You're scaring me. If I miss a prismatic slime, I'm going to be so sad. I'm, like, taking my time on floors. I keep hitting my spacebar. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Oh, it was bad luck. Okay, thank you. I see what you mean. Sorry. I really want that prismatic slime. Oh, where are you at, boy? Not color shifting. Five. Fifteen. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, it's dark in here. Forty-five. There's lots of slimes. None of them are changing colors. This is a far cry from the last time I got I did this. I got it on the first floor I went to. I forgot I even had the quest, I just saw it. <laughs> Not today, though. I guess that's what I deserve. You look like you're a different color. Anyone? There's so many slimes. Prizzy slime and slime and I know. Yeah, fishing did eat up all the luck today. Uh, yes, musk would help, but um, notably, this is the quest that gives you musk. <laughs> so, really, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Didn't get one this entire time, but. Not Diglett. Hey, he dropped a yam, okay? It's his fault for holding such good stuff. Oh, I can't turn this down. There's a lot of coal. We're almost in the post-coal post era, but not yet. I want to make sure we have a bunch for when we start Skull Cavern diving. Dude, I am not doing a good job with my uh, movement right now. That's probably because I'm tired, actually. Thank you for the follow, Brunette Blob. Hello, my friend. Oh, you're... You're a liar. You dropped gold. Might as well be pyrite slime. The joke is that it's fool's gold. Because he looked like he was a prismatic slime. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I know it's Midnight Carp time. This is much more important than Midnight Carp. I can technically get Midnight Carp on the island. It'd actually be kind of funny if it could- it has a small chance of dropping Pyrite <laughs> when it died. Actually, this is luck-based. So it might just be better to come back on another day. How many of these days do I have left? I really don't want to miss this. Four days? I'll reset the last day until I get it. So I might as well wait till the last day then. Alright, time to go fishing. 
Yeah, pyrite is fool's gold. No, is that right? I think that's right. This is just a regular carp, I think. This midnight carp are exactly the same. That was a weak bullhead. Be safe, espresso. You are so wise, Algo. Teach us new things every stream. I try. If you look under your seats, you'll find a manual on how to overthrow the... Walnut well, can be in here? Interesting. Come on, Midnight Carp. I just need seven of you. Not Bullhead. Oh, I actually do need that. I've gotten very few artifacts. Cuteness and aggression out of the rubber ducky. It's a very cute ducky. Is that a regular carp? I don't want the regular carp! What do you call a ghost doing origami? I have no idea. Ghoul's full. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Hey, we got one! Okay, um... We technically only need the one, I think. But I'm going to try one more time here. That's all of the fall fish we needed, by the way. I said I was going to try one more time, and then I went again anyways. I missed the button. Try again. Uh, I have not yet caught the legend. It'll be like the first thing we do in spring. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Fishing 10 as well, yeah. You got the puppy yesterday. You're struggling while figuring out the 1.6 update. Oh, that's so exciting. I hope you're having a good time. Okay, we are going to check one more time here. Change your color? Nope, okay. Do they change color when you're paused? That'd be a good thing to know. Click the wrong button. 85 is what we wanted. Oh. Nope, okay. 95. Possible squid ink, but later. 105, dang. All right, we're outie. Red Labrador. Oh, is that the dog you went for? Oh, oh my gosh. I thought you meant like in game you got a puppy. You got a puppy IRL? Oh, that's so cute. Hope you're having a great time. Oh, you got him yesterday and he's still comfortable enough to snuggle up with you? Oh, that's so cute. I'll keep that in my inventory. Puppies are so cute. Weather tomorrow, normal, okay. Met her in advance, but yeah, aw. Hi, Mel, Mel, Mel. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Come on, Fortune. Oh my gosh, that's two in a row. And during Prismatic Slime Week too. Oh my gosh, Leah. I still can't skip this cutscene. You still can't skip this cutscene. How'd you miss this one? <laughs> uh, it's called How I Feel About Algo. And it's shaped like this, for some reason. There's only like six ways I could read this. And I'm gonna be honest, all of them are not great. <laughs> I 
Oh, that would be actually super cute. Put that in there. We're actually done with this too. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's keep those separate. Well, this is how I feel about you, Leah. I'm gonna put it right up here. Got a fairy dust from the treasure chest? From a gold treasure chest, okay. That's not OP. <laughs> fairy dust isn't that great. It's useful. It's very useful if you're running behind on something and you need it, but I wouldn't call it OP by any means. All right. Who are you marrying? Probably Abby. You're on summer one? Wait, how did you get a gold treasure chest then? What gold treasure chest are you talking about, Mel's? I am OP. Well, it's definitely not going to be OP if you had to mod stuff in. <laughs> Already have mastery? In year one? In summer? That's pretty impressive. Nicely job, Melly. Did you go Joja to get to Skull Caverns earlier? Nope. Oh, you just did straight money vault. That makes sense, yeah. I see now. Don't tell me. Uh, it's not a big deal, Kian. Some of the trees can just do that now in the fall. If anything, they're actually worse because... Uh... You don't get any... Um... You can't tap them and it takes away some of the trees you were tapping. These are ready, huh? I've got nothing to replace them with. I don't know. I might just leave it there for now. Dang, I need 10 of these. It's going up kind of slow. <laughs> he told me! <laughs> if you're here, you should expect spoilers, to be honest, Kiyun. Sorry if that spoiled anything for you, but are those new stacks? The trees? Or... Alright, we're switching to this now. I'm used to it. Hold on. Rip my coffee, by the way. Were you playing starting for 10 hours? I was. The first two, out two hours we were looking at new items. But yes, we've been playing for at least 8 hours. Wait, so the new colored artisan goods. What about them? Oh, are those new stacks? They were already stacks. Uh, they got updated, so the old ones that I had are now colored. Thanks. Is it Abdunge? Abdun, maybe? Hope you're doing well today. Um, hmm. Bad luck today. Don't like that. Man. Well, let's check the traveling cart, because we're definitely going to do that. Night market better for octopus? It's probably better to get it in the morning in summer, to be honest. I don't think you can get the octopus in the night market. Super cucumber you can get. Can you get octopus, too? It would still probably be better to get it in the uh, summer, though, if you can. Those are so expensive. That's 2,400 per cake. I was gonna say, oh, that's a love gift for Jazz. Uh, oh no, it's not the right one. It's not the right one. I need plum pudding. Oh, 
Rice pudding. This game hates me. Okay, well. Yes, okay, so you can. Yeah, it's probably more common to get them in the summer mornings. Fax no print. Uh, Fax no printer. Thank you so much for the follow. I thought that was a prismatic slime at first. It's about to lose my mind. <laughs> it spawned here. I know she loves pink cake, but um, I don't love her that much. <laughs> That's a lot of money. It was 2,400 per cake. I can't even afford one right now. Uh, what's a new better way to make money? I don't think there's any better ways. There's different ways now. I thought that pine cone looked weird. It had a shirt on it. <laughs> the dehydrator is pretty good. You gotta be careful how you use it though, because it's not always optimal. Kitty. You got two prizzies? I can't even get one yet because I haven't reached the bottom of the mines. Uh, alright. Well, I think we're... It's worst luck day, <laughs> but I think we're still going to the mines. Very unfortunate. Well, this is my food. I'm going to turn all of this crystal fruit into gold. Interesting. If you can get fruit trees to work, that's awesome. I find them that they I find that they just don't make that much money, unfortunately. They take a long time to pay themselves off, too. having the town landscaped. Um, what do you mean by that? I don't think so. Yeah, burglaring is really worth getting early on. Basically, you can fix your coal troubles with just the burglar ring. Well, that's worth going for. stop looks barren oh you mean like with all my stuff not there no no I, li I like the town as it is <laughs> I'll probably remove my kegs anyways I'm not gonna be making money that way anymore well I'll need them still for a little bit yes the burglar ring does stack with the new book It does. Why would it not? They do different things. Uh, as far as I can tell, the burglar ring, which I have on here, just re just rolls an extra thing on the loot table. So it just rolls one more time on the loot table, so it has a chance of dropping extra. 
And this one just has a chance of doubling all of the loot you get, I think. Oh, that is not the right one. I'm like just looking at that slime waiting for him to move. move. Come on, slimy. Change color on me. Oh, we didn't get enough ore. I thought I had enough. Oh, that was beautiful. going desert festival really shot my tree farm in the foot uh it doesn't ruin your tree farm you it'll it's just like the night market the desert will go back to where it was after the festival so it doesn't destroy anything there even though it's kind of feels weird that it doesn't good floor don't accidentally go down ladders I'd rather like reroll the day on a um, good luck day here for <laughs> prismatic slime. I'll use today to just get a whole bunch of gold here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying my second round of pumpkins with just gold, so we need to make sure we have a bunch of it. I'd like to use iridium. This dream is so soothing. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Um, we're gonna go drop this off, I guess. We don't have any geodes, do we? We have one geode. Yeah, it's too late anyways. Ah, we don't need to drop that off yet. Just do it tomorrow, when we're actually gonna be going around places. Puppy went straight to sleep, that's so cute. Hey, there's my broccoli seeds. Where were you hiding? We gotta get those planted tonight. I kind of forgot about that. We don't have any. Oh, we can replace the bok choy. Perfect. Probably put a speed grow on it too. Do we have 45 yet? Nope. Need 45 gold. Uh, the mystery box cutscene happens after you do something specific. I can't remember what it was. Oh, first prize ticket. It happens after you get your first prize ticket, I think. Oh, it's a person. Pegged, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Or, I think if you don't have a prize ticket by, like, end of summer, you get it? Something like that. By day 50? Okay. Have you not gotten a prize ticket yet, though? You need to actually get a prize ticket, I think. I am loving 1.6. I hope you are, too. 
right now we wait Ooh. I will take a diamond and we're gonna go plant that broccoli seed in a minute Wouldn't mind finding another broccoli seed. I also wouldn't mind finding that darn prismatic slime. Okay. Ten slimes over there. And by ten I mean three. And none of them are prismatic. I would love the Prizzy slime today. Alright, I said I'd go do this first though. Let's go get this planted before we forget. The real price ticket was the friends we made along the way. I can do both. <laughs> Yay, congrats on your ancient seed espresso. That's awesome. We grow. Okay, we only need the one broccoli planted because it's uh, regrowable. And we only need one broccoli. <laughs> Maybe two? Yeah, we need to ship it too. So we need two broccoli. That's fine though. All right. Nope. I think I'll be selling gold bars for coffee soon. It's definitely worth it. This is full. Well, it's not quite full yet, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna ship this bok choy, just so I don't forget to ship it later. All right, let's go back. Yeah, disco chicken, it appeals more to me too. I'll, I'm going to do a perfection speed run at some point. But this is... It's almost more relaxed. <laughs> like, at any point, you can just do this, right? And be like, okay, give me a second. <laughs> I need to breathe. Whereas that can't happen in a speed run. It soon. Oh, we can make a dino. Do we have an incubator in the deluxe coop or the big coop? Oh, it might. Yes, okay. We need to remember to go do that. I have the dino egg. Ancient seed. Oh, good thing you caught it. Let's go. Lots of bombs. Yeah, I had to grind for mine. We got it though. got the uh, savage ring which honestly uh, I'd like to wear if I could why do I only have two ring slots at 
Why did Yoba curse me to only have two fingers? with time to incubate the dino egg too you gotta get that going we haven't gotten a uh, void cut void chicken cutscene I'd like that too but the dinosaur egg takes a while to incubate if I remember correctly like over a week so we gotta get that going honestly I don't know oh, I do need two actually Does the golden mystery box mastery mean you'll never get a normal? No, Chunky, it does not. There are still ways to get normal mystery boxes, festivals and such. Also, I feel like they just randomly drop too. I don't know. It's hard to explain. go I drafted it home I'm so dumb I do this all the time I gotta not keep the coal here this is too common of occurrence yeah I'm not leaving any coal here if I need to get it it's more often that I just don't need to get it all right let's go Let's get this incubating. There we go. Yeah, there are ways. They might not drop anymore, but they might. But even if they don't, there are ways. Like every, a lot of the new festivals, and I think some of the old ones now, have ways of getting regular mystery boxes. Keep that there, please. Uh, we can bring these back with us. We're probably going to need these eventually. Everything else can stay, I think. Bring more of these. That's fine. Let's go back. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that, Sandor. Yeah, you can. <laughs> forgot about that. Not a single one and you're on spring 10? That sounds like a bad luck issue. 110 gold for my bok choy. Good old bok choy. Never lets me down. Oh, we still got a day on the upgrade, huh? Oh, these are ready though. These are not. Okay, we do have artichokes growing down there. How many artichokes do we need? Because I only see one, two, three, four. I don't think we need them any more than that. At worst, I guess we can uh, grow them later. Uh, it is in two meals and I have to ship it. That's it. Okay, good. So four is enough. Okay, we're gonna grab that. This is ready, cool. We're still um, not getting enough fish row, by the way. For Kind of forgot about that part. We need that. We currently have seven fish row. We also still need the, um, 
We still need to grab squid ink from the mines. We also need to get down in the mines. Good luck today, hopefully. Maybe finally we get some good luck. Yes, okay. So today is a reset day for Prismatic Slime and Bottom of the Mines, I think. I think we do both. Yes, I did do remix bundles. So we're waiting on Fish Row and, and Squid Ink. We can find Squid Ink pretty easily, though. Oh, do I need a second pond? I don't think so. I might need more sturgeon to put in this pond, though. I don't think I have any, but I can go catch them. Yeah, so then we've got this bundle. This bundle will be done soon. We already have this. We have one of these actually too, so we're just waiting on the broccoli. Uh, crafts room, we could finish that blackberry. And then it's just this, which we need the greenhouse for. Uh, fish tank. Actually, this bundle is done. And this bundle's done. I left the stuff at the CC, but I haven't turned them in yet. And then I just need the lava eel, so then this can be done. Uh, I'm not in a hurry to finish this, though. And then this is our troublesome one. We need a Maki Roll. We're upgrading our house now, so we can make that at any point after our house is upgraded. We need the plum pudding. That's the problem, child. Um, the only way I know how to get this item is by luck. And if we don't, we have to make it to winter and... Winter 7 is when this recipe becomes available, but also we can just get these by winter as well. Uh, this will happen around the 12th for the blackberries. This will happen on the 17th. There will be jack-o'-lanterns out in town on the 17th that I can just place. And I'm getting the milk every day, and then I just have to spend 10k on the sweet flour. So it mostly just comes down to um, yeah, it's really just getting this row and then I can get the rest of it pretty quick. But um, I have streamed plenty today, I think. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's been almost 11 hours. Let's find you somewhere to go. Let's see who's live. Who wants to chill out with y'all? If the person I hope is live is live, we can send you over there. Oh, yes, we can. All right, I'm going to send you over to my good friend, hey, Terp. Thank you so much for your donation. I believe it is Terp's birthday today. So, get your happy birthdays ready as we launch in here. That'll be our raid message. So, let's go ahead and... Copy. Channel dashboard, manage my stream, raid channel, raid terp, start raid. All right. Thanks everyone so much for coming by today. Say hi to terp. Say happy birthday to terp. Terp's incredible. Looks like uh, terp's doing some speed runs today on Stardew. It was nice to meet you too, Pegged. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Chunky. Bye, Seven Espresso. Bye, Burnett. You found the spring onion spot. That's awesome. Good night, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Good night, Disco Chicken. Good night, uh, Marshmallow. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you all in the future. Bye for now, everyone. Night, Sean Lame. Good night, everybody. Make sure you type your happy birthdays. Copy this if you need to. All right, see you guys over there. Bye. Bye, Chunky. Bye, Baron again. Awesome to see you. See you later. Say hi to Terp.
Just be checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I'll go. Yo. Birthday red. Oh, hi. What is up? Can we get a shout out for Algo? Oh my goodness, finally. Oh, is it a club? Okay, we'll check to see if there's still like clubs in 